And welcome back to Nat 19 Campaign 2, session 53. Shouldn't have run up all those stairs. <laughs> what? Did you mute me? No. Oh, that's a bad decision. I mean, I got through the intro. <laughs> Anyways. So, I'm going to turn the music up slightly. I am going to roll to see who's going to recap us. This will be an easy one, all things considered. Whamp. Three. Aaron, what happened last time? Previously on the Net 19, uh, Diane and uh, Mazzy Nickelback, or sorry, Artemis and Mazzy Nickelback, went on a tour of country to go see Sapphire. I like this. They I love it. it up. But they learned I... lots of stuff about things they already know. Then they went to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, <laughs> we all fought Jude after stumbling across a Malaclips hiding in a bush who was watching us like a weirdo. Um, and then David did, I'm gonna stab you a bit. And he's all like, I'm afraid. And then Jude was <laughs> like, I got you this time, Lancer. And I'm like, magic resistance. And he's like, no. I'm like, oh, no. And then David's like, Dispel match. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best moment. It was so oh, good. Uh. I feel like that makes up for a caster. Uh, <laughs> Just a no. little bit. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, you was... petty bitch. <laughs> then Nothing some ultra violence. Uh, some things died. Uh, a dragon boy showed up, who's definitely not looking for his booze. Uh, even though he said, hi, I think that's my booze. Uh, and then I broke one of Jude's fingers and told him to fuck off. After he gave us some intel, vague intel, but intel about where Quantavius might be. Oh, and Boozle was there too. Yay! <laughs> fuck Boozle. Alrighty. Fuck Boozle! It is stupid bullshit ability. Oh my god. Alrighty. We have to kill him. And that is the recap. Starting the timer. Yay! So, uh, which side? I'm just gonna look at the times. I mean, didn't it end on me and Buddy? So it really should go back to... I mean, uh, it, it, a lot of it depends on like where you guys are in time. Um, curses. Ow! Curses? 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 All right. Awesome. Ian and Diane will wake up at 9 a.m. <laughs> the rest of you are at 3 a.m. Yeah, we'll do the... We'll jump to uh, Ian and Diane and what their day is, and then we'll jump back in time and get to you guys, because I have a feeling you guys will be taking a long rest at some point in the near future. Um, yeah. Um, ag again. <laughs> um, Shut up! Uh, he keeps dying! Or at least a short one. I blame you entirely, Logan. That's fine. Oh, I thought you were going to say me. Yeah, and I'll blame him. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you can, you can oh, blame me all you fun. want. <laughs> Alrighty. So in that case, uh, Ian and Diane, it is the morning of June 25th, 1920. Oh. Uh, how how oh. shocked would you have been if I was just like, it is the morning of June 25th, 1936. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did we fucking do? Oh, no, I think we've we been asleep. The war still isn't over. The war still isn't over. I told you not to drink a sleepy time last night. <laughs> Right. I'm sorry. You fall! <laughs> to give you a general reminder of stuff, the uh, uh, Sapphire's performance starts at 6 p.m. and runs until 10 p.m. Ah. Uh. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we wanna oh. do some more investigating till then? Yes, that sounds like a good idea, yes. Oh, yes, uh. we're still doing me. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot of what. I oh yes, we are I, Russian. I forgot. I forgot that I started this. <laughs> I would have loved you that to be in front of fucking... someone, just being like, "Fucking walk out the place and be like, all right, thanks for the room. Well, goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Oh yes, 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 goodbye. <laughs> is what I meant in this way." <laughs> I just imagine. I just imagine Ian waking up and being like, "Oh, hello, Diane," and she's like, "Wow." Method actor, huh? No, dude, I was thinking the same thing that, like, because they're like in their room, that she's like, fucking, it's just me and you. You don't have to do it now, you fucking loser. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, doing oh, what? Like, this is just who I am. 
<laughs> you never know who might be listening. I cannot stop doing this accent, you so, see. Somebody may be spying on us, who also for some reason is not aware that we are not Russian. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's specific, I grant you, but you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking god. Speaking of which. No. <laughs> okay. I'm throw you so... guys, I won't throw you guys back on the combat tracker just yet. There's no point to that. Um, let's, let's see. Let's get our, our disguises back on. Indeed. Alright, so then you guys have what? Like. Hmm. A, how long would that be? One, two, three, four. You got like what? Unless, nine hours. Would there be stuff that? Oh, hmm. Do you want to like get stuff? I. That's like a really vague question. But I mean, do you want to um, pick up some stuff for tonight? Oh wait, I, we should do this in character. Yes, so, we should. <laughs> yes. Hey, Ian. Yes, oh. Artemis. Okay, uh... You're so bad at this! <laughs> Hello, Artemis Glass is your name. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Ian, we're still in the... You know what? Okay, Mozine, let's... let's Fine, I'll play along. I imagine every time he says Artemis Glass, Ian just, like, looks over his shoulder, looks over his older, other shoulder, just like, Oh, wait, right. nobody heard me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fucking, do you want to, like, get supplies for tonight solely because we are going into a dangerous dangerous situation? Why, Brian? What are we doing tonight? <laughs> That might be a good idea. Um, what what do you think we uh, need to prepare for exactly? What 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 exactly is your uh, plan for tonight? Uh, I mean, most of my stuff is I I cast spells. I don't really need weapons or anything like that. I don't think we're going to get any type of health um, ailments here or medicine. So it really would be if you need something, I suppose. I am generally pretty well stocked. I should be able to uh, keep us healed up at least a little bit. Okay. Uh, she's gonna like rifle through her bag. I've got my rope. I've got my. Uh, okay. Uh, I I think we should be good. But saying that usually invites the complete opposite from happening. Yes. Um... Actually, do you think there might be a need for a giant carnivorous jello cube? <laughs> you know, when is most of the not... situations that your cube has shown up, we haven't necessarily needed one, but it's helped. So, if you want to make one, go for it. Perhaps. Um, can I also make my permanent extracts? Uh, um, are we like still on like a? So the way I'm gonna look at that is pretty much, um, because you can change it every time you take a rest. You can just tell me when you want to use that on a spell, and that spell will be the permanent one until your next long rest. Okay. Cool. I will. I'll just mark off the spell slot. Hmm. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. Let's get to investigating, I suppose. Yes. Time to begin the mission. Oh, yeah. In quite a mission. few hours. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my you're, you're, god. You're still on the same page. Thank yes. <sighs> All right. All right, let's let's do some investigating, my boy. All righty. Yeah. So, so we established before you need to pass a certain investigation check, but that Diane just does. <laughs> she just can't yeah. fail it. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. so uh, have a roll for net twenty, just in case. <laughs> yeah. What we're gonna do is, um, Ian, and, I'm still want, I still want you to roll, uh, Ian. Uh, and if you succeed, I'll roll it twice. And if I'll pick one, you guys don't know if uh, one of them is one that you don't know. 
Word. Right. Did you uh, know Sapphire is playing? <laughs> yes! We know Sapphire is playing! <laughs> oh my god! Why is Why this all anyone talks about? Because, just, no. <laughs> because she's really good. Apparently! I would laugh so hard if you rolled that twice. So go ahead and roll me an investigation check, Ian. Okay. Okay. Uh, how many rolls do we have in this time period? It takes an hour for each one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna roll this twice. I have a request for at some point. Okay, let's see. You guys already found out that one. <gasps> oh, that one. Yeah, that'd be really good. Uh, what's the button I have to click to make this work? Um, I think it's. Oh gosh. <laughs> Is it that one? No. <laughs> it's not that one. <laughs> it's not that one. One sec. I need to look up what button makes this. <laughs> Makes this visible to you. Dragon Minute, 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 <laughs> you search around, and whilst thinking about supplies, you manage to find some people who are- they're not mages, but they are, like, herbalists who are aware of mage stuff, and in bringing up, like, supplies and whatnot with them, they tell you that there is, in fact, a magic item vendor, a person that deals with, like, um, potions and extracts. He's, in, uh, mostly, um, deals with, uh, like, supplements, healing potions. Uh, disease potions, but he does trade in some other magical goods as well somewhere in Biaska, but no one really knows where he is and he tends to just show up wherever he uh, wherever he wants to He's only been there for a couple years But if you guys want to try to find him there is a magic item vendor around uh, So I don't know about I will not know about you, but I think investigating that for the next however long we have would be prudent. Yes, you never know what kind of useful things he might have for sale. That sounded really ominous. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting into character. Is the right. really I ominous? Imagine, I imagine Mazin has a shadowy past. Well, well you see, Ma Mazin Nickelback was a hobgoblin, you see. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Apparently from Russia. Yes. A Russian hobgoblin. <laughs> you never know. It could happen. And now I'm going to roll for this. Okay, nothing cool. Alright, so you guys, that takes you to 10 a.m., but you find that out. I'm going to give you um, guys pretty much right up until the show to do whatever you want to do before we flip back. Just because I don't want there to be, like, such a huge gap in time between the two groups that it becomes, like, hard to... Manage it. Yeah. yeah. I would like to investigate where this guy is, or this person, or these people. Okay. Uh, are you also gonna go along with that, Ian? Uh, yeah. Let's try and find this. All right. I'd like one of you to roll me investigation. Uh, hey, hey, Izzy. Yeah. You think I should do that? With your plus fifteen or whatever. <laughs> Plus 14, besides the point. Plus 14? Fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's... Mm. What a garbage roll, and you still did great. Oh, yeah, don't you fucking <laughs> put down a 19. How about you die? <laughs> no, I just saw the 5. Listen. Hey, Listen, plus fucking 14. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Shut up, buddy. You don't get to say <laughs> dick, okay? <laughs> All right. So as you guys are searching around, you end up finding yourselves in the uh, market district, as it were. And I'm doing air quotes here that you can't see because this is still the Levantina district, and like the idea of a town having like anything refer like regard like district size is sort of laughable. But you end up in like the town market, which is a pretty 
Uh, respectable farmer's market. Most of it is just booths. Uh, some of it's people selling things out of wagons. There's a couple, like, storefronts that have opened up to the public. Like, uh... A market square. Yeah, pretty much a market square. Um, as you come in, you guys, uh, let's see, it would be 11 a.m. by the time you guys come upon this area. So, most, you know, these are farmers. Most of them have been here already for almost, uh, six hours <laughs> selling their stuff. Uh, the majority is vegetables, some lumber, um, some meat. I'd like, uh, yeah, sorry, before I get to that. Ian, could you roll me perception? Uh, yes, what kind of perception? Oh, no. Uh, based on sight. Butts? <clears throat> Shit, sorry, I give myself a disadvantage. You know what, the other one was a 20, I'm just gonna give this to you anyways. Um, Sweet! As you come in, you see a, uh, a group of people as you're searching around trying to dig up information regarding where this magic item vendor is. Uh, you f stumble upon a group of people that catch your eye, yours specifically, not Diane's. Uh, roll me, what would it be? Roll me just a straight up intelligence check. Okay, dokie. That's way more than enough. Woo! You recognize some people wearing clothing that doesn't look native to this area. Uh, it doesn't take you long to try to think about where you've seen their particular, like, style of clothing before. And then you remember! They're dressed like the, the uh, natives of Adelia were dressed. Oh! Okay! Oh! Um, anyone I recognize, or just the, just the clothes? Just, like, the style of clothing. Um, you don't recognize any uh, specific individuals. They appear to be just moving around. A couple of them are pulling this large cart behind them um, that they seem to be, like, loading up food and whatnot onto. Kill them. Uh, is uh, is yeah. Diane uh, close by, or is she in the job. She'd be with you, we could say. I'm here. Alright, I'll, like, subtly, like... Like grab her like sleeve or something to get her attention. The, uh, uh, Artemis. Yes. Artemis. Yes. I uh, I'm pretty sure I know who's selling the magic items. Friends of yours? Hopefully. Uh, I mean, who can say? It um. You you maybe want to talk to them, just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can handle that. Uh, point me in the direction, and I'll, I'll take a crack at it. You, uh, you see those people wearing the, uh, sort of, kind of strange clothes? Yeah. Although... They are, say... uh... <laughs> Never mind. Go on. They are from, uh, let's say another world. Oh. A world yeah. that I may or may not have had a hand in. Did you all vaporizing? Did they tell me about Adelia? I think we've been over this. Uh, we uh, mentioned Isla before that I believe have, that you've been yeah. briefed on Adelia. No. Oh, okay, cool. oh, they're from Adelia. Oh, oh <laughs> shit! Oh, I'll good. go talk to them. <laughs> you uh, stick around, I guess. Don't get lost. All right, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll, like try and like stick somewhere like inconspicuous, but where I can still, like, at least, like, keep an ear out for them. Alrighty. I walk up to the people in robes. How do you say the people in robes? Uh, in the, the... What did, what did Ian say to me? They're just wearing, their, their style of clothing is just, like, they have, uh, some interesting patterns on their clothing, like, they look sorta... Oh, Magical Logan, they have to have a robe. <laughs> well, they're not all mages. Um, they're wearing just like stuff that is of brighter colors, uh, has certain like designs that you're not used to seeing. It's not robes, right. it's still pretty okay. commoner outfits, but they look like they take more care of their clothing than most people do. Um, and they wear certain color combinations, like particularly very bright, warm colors, uh, as opposed to most farmers here who just settle with whatever they can get. All right, I walk up. I don't know where robes came up, came from for me, but I walk up to them. Made this. Uh. uh, excuse me. Uh, I 
happened upon the information that someone in this area was distributing uh how do I say this? It's not drugs. <laughs> no, it's not drugs. Oh yeah, but I don't but what if they're not well, you know what, as a player I know that okay, I know they're mages. Uh magical items. Is there anyone in particular I should talk to about this or and as you walk up to these people, um, a couple of them, there's about eight of them in total, pretty much equally divided between men and women, all adults. Uh, they look to, uh, they look to a person that seems to be in charge at a glance. You notice this person has a, um, little sa uh, satchel on their belt that is probably where they're keeping whatever money they have. Uh, they all look to this person who, uh, looks over to the uh, nearby vendor and just puts his hand up like, sorry, we'll, uh, uh, we'll be back to finish our transaction in a minute. And he just motions to you to move away from anyone who might be within earshot. Yep. I follow what he asks. I do. That was weird. Some lady came up and started talking about magical items. I'm just trying to sell fish, man. Uh, if, uh, I'll also, uh, if, if they move out of my earshot, then I'll try and subtly move closer. Okay. Uh, you roll me stealth, just cause. Alright. Hmm. Alright, you're fine. Hey. Sweet. Yeah, they take you off to the side. The other seven seem to talk to each other almost nervously, as if they don't know what to do about the situation. The one that is, uh, that you were talking to stops once you guys are, like, in the middle of the market. Like, uh, position-wise, where there's not a lot of people around you. So, you're looking for magic items? What makes you... What makes you think that we'd be selling any magical goods? Let's say I have my ear to the wind very often, and the little birdie gave me a tip. Well, your little birdie was wrong. Oh? Though, if I may ask... Uh, what about us exactly gives you the impression that we'd be selling anything like that? The fact you're so nervous and walking away from regular people. <laughs> Dare I say a hunch, although apparently it is incorrect. They although I wasn't necessarily looking to buy, if not to sell. Uh, well... The only person that I can think of that you might be talking about, uh, he doesn't exactly sell around here. What are you looking for? Oh, nothing in particular. I have a few items that I don't see myself using in the near future that I would like to perhaps exchange for something a bit more useful. Well, I'm pretty sure he's not interested in buying. Hmm. I've got a couple C's to dis to blow on some magic items. Hmm. Can he uh, looks to the others that are around him and just seems to go to the side and confers with them. You just hear the faint murmurings of like, I just uh, clearly she's a maid, but no, it's we can't get him to walk all the way out here. Just we don't even really need money. It's, hmm. He was friends with outsiders, though. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Don't worry they, about it. The one of them glances like Buddy. out of the crowd over to you, and then uh, like sticks their head back into this little circle that <laughs> they formed. And then the uh, the guy, this man, turns around, comes back to you. <clears throat> Normally we wouldn't do this, but Aww, we do have someone. We do have someone among us that has a certain soft spot for outsiders. <laughs> really? He's not here right now, though. Is there a place that we might be able to find him? Ah, uh, well, he lives with the rest of our. Uh, he like looks to the other Adelians, our tribe, as it were. Not really sure what term you, uh, mainlanders use for people like us, mm, but... Tribe, interesting. You certainly do not look like you're from this area, if I may say so myself. 
Yeah, we're from the north. <laughs> of here. <laughs> the far Damn. north. Like, what a place you haven't heard of. I'm sure. Somebody. Oh, how foreign. <laughs> You just see, like, I do love foreigners, if I may say so myself. And he's just like, try <laughs> me. What? This is why you need David. We heard that there's, no. we heard there's someone that hangs out in this city that sells magical items, but we also have a guy. So if you want to meet with our guy, we could send him, uh, we could send him in next time we do a food run. And he could meet up with you. Is there anywhere in particular you all frequent that I can meet up if needed? Here. Fair we enough. On, we only really come into this market to pick up food and then head back to where we stay. Try to get a name. And if I were to bump into this person, would I hear a name <laughs> that would come to mind? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks back to the others. Oh, come on. I promise that I'm... <laughs> Fred, Fred, don't make this weird. Gosh darn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to find someone who's... No! <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'm no harm. Just a simple mage passing through. All right. Well, if you want to look around here for the guy that just is in Biasca, I heard that his name is Alessandro. But if you want to wait for our guy, his name is Briar. <laughs> <laughs> It's a boy! Who's Briar? The love of my life! That I never... Well... He, he's cool. Who, who is Briar again? <laughs> what would I, uh... What would I, uh, roll to see if I keep my composure when I hear that? Uh-oh. Roll me a wisdom check. Wait, what was wisdom, the other guy's God. name? Hold on. Alessandro. Uh, I don't know how to spell that. It's pretty solid. It's pretty. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about buddy. it, buddy. What? Oh, oh, you don't know. He's from the Italian void. <gasps> oh, I forgot that he came uh, like two. after then. Okay. He's oh, also man. he's yeah, also another favorite NPC. <laughs> <laughs> God damn you, Logan! Uh, uh. Cool. I can't wait to meet him and then kill him. <laughs> no! We will be on bad terms, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> maybe he's made better briar gins. I mean, fucking maybe. So at 15, you keep your composure, but upon hearing briar, you do freak out a little bit, like, internally. Hmm. <coughs> How I do you wonder. spell the name, my dude? Hmm? The second one. They're the first one, not briar. The not briar one. I put them in chat. Oh, did I? I I'm just blind. My bad. That's all right. You We're all a little bit just blind. Like one of the other, just one of the other seven blind. Adelian people like looks up, like looks over toward where Ian is. Like, hey, did you guys notice as soon as we said Briar, that guy choked? <laughs> <laughs> you don't worry about it. I think he's listening to uh, us. Uh. Oh gosh! Where At I? that point, I'll uh, I'll maybe try and walk up natural age, like I'm going to, to Artemis. Uh, as she notices, she'll she'll walk over and sling an arm around him. <laughs> uh, pull close and be like, "Ah, allow me to introduce my uh, friend. This is um, <laughs> this you fucking is, um... throw your arm around him, put him close, and you say friend." <laughs> Yo, shut up, Yo, shut up. <laughs> it's, like, it's just, I don't know what to think anymore. This I don't know if I ever did. This is Mazine Nickelback. Oh, alright. The great Mazine Nickelback! Well, nice to meet are... you. I assume that you're a mage as yes. well. Yes, pleasure to meet you. And, um, sorry, I was, as I was walking up to my friend here, I couldn't help overhearing. Um... If you would, if you wouldn't mind, if, when you see your friend Briar again, tell him his old friend has some new tricks he can show him. The and moment she hears this, she's like getting away from him, like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and the Briar gin worked like a charm. Okay, uh, I will tell him that for you. Thank um, you. Next time we'll be doing a run back into the city to pick up more supplies. It will be probably 
Next Tuesday, I think. He looked back to the rest of his group. A couple of them confirmed with him. Yeah. None of us will be there. We take shifts. We try not to have the same people come into mainland towns when we can avoid it. But we'll make sure that Briar comes with, and I'm sure that if you look around, you'll find him. The guy tends to stick out. Does he now? Well, I'm oh, looking you for say that. If you know what to look for, anyways. <laughs> Elbows, Ian. Look, shut up. Don't say that shit. You don't know this guy. <laughs> Didn't he just say that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his old friend. And then now you're hitting. Ah, uh, that's fair. Ah, <laughs> uh, I wish well. one. I wish one of you two was a master right now. Oh, oh no! I believe we should get back anyhow, to our room. Anyhow, like now, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go finish our finish our business and then take off. And safe travels. Thanks. Thank you for your time. No. Well, Thank you for your possible business, I guess. <laughs> Definite business at this point, most likely. I'd like both of you to roll me a perception check. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> I'm gonna become an only child! What kind of perception? <laughs> uh, we'll say that it could involve hearing, so go ahead and roll it with advantage, Ian. <gasps> oh! 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 We have to leave! Uh, so as yeah, as they turn to leave, um, you guys, uh, Ian, you notice like a footprint embed itself in the ground, like in front of you guys, not like in a hostile way, just as if someone was walking there. And then as the groups turn to leave, you see this faint shimmer, and um, you see the image of who you recognize to be uh, Kyosuke, one of the the Braves. Uh, sort of shimmer out of being invisible and then back into being invisible following the group of Adelians. Is that the one I like? That's the one you like, yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, you it both seems... you both noticed that he was hanging out invisible with them. <laughs> we just like suddenly like look at each other like from the side of our vision, like you saw that too, right? Like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they they look at each other, there's just a conversation through eye looks. Exactly. And who are who are Brad and Izzy? I don't understand. No, okay. Two Nat Twenties. <laughs> My knows? God. Jesus. If this is not foreshadowing for our death, I don't know what is. Yo, right? Everyone's <laughs> death. This is the last oh, fucking no. game, man. <laughs> no, it'll be it'll be fine. We just have some wacky hide. The only one who will survive mm. is Deco. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It seems that our dear friend is keeping an oh, sorry. eye on. Sorry, I gotta yeah, go. I gotta go grab first. a thing across the room. Bear back. <laughs> I'm also gonna be right back. The only one who survives is David. <laughs> Fuck Fucking David. the way you were playing, I doubt it. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's what'll make it great. <laughs> hey buddy, how yeah, about David goes and does a long rest right now? Wait, what'd you say? I said, how about David goes and and, and, and does a long rest right now? Uh-huh. And six feet under. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey, uh... Uh, two uh, nat 20s, my rest. god. That is beautiful. Ever, like, ever holy shit. You ever rest in, uh... In, in, um... In, in bed? In bed. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagining Malaclips is stupid fucking... Hey, you ever been to, um... <laughs> Uh, okay. So you guys, that takes you. You are currently at 11 a.m. Um, yes. What do you guys wanna? What do you guys wanna do? Should we look for this Alessandro, or wait for your friend Briar next Tuesday? Mm. Well, I mean, they're at completely different times, and do we have anything else to do right now? Besides relax? Probably not. And I don't think that is something that I'll be doing anytime soon. Yes, I understand. If I wasn't uh, keeping myself in character, I would probably be losing my shit right now. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> so, what do you think the Adelians are doing here, anyway? 
Well, I mean, their homeland was destroyed. They have to go somewhere. And Do they know trying to find a new home. about what caused their homeland to mm, this become what it is, or the lack of what it is now? Hmm. I'm so not when... entirely sure. We uh, kind of got out of dodge as it was happening. Didn't really stick around to see how people handled the aftermath. So you don't know it's, if they it's... blame you or not? Not exactly. Just, uh... It's a possibility. Perhaps you should keep Mazin on the... Up and go for if we meet up with Briar. I don't really see a need for me to hide my identity. If he's so interesting. <laughs> it's fair. It's... I feel like we can trust Briar, though. He's, uh... He's a bit odd, but he's good people. Famous last words. <laughs> Watch out, he Shut might up. be the second character to betray you. Yep. <laughs> if Briar betrayed us, I'm just done. <laughs> <laughs> I can never trust again. <laughs> <laughs> On that note... <laughs> Let's go look for us, Alessandro. All right. Yes. Ba, 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 ba. Both of you roll me investig. Well, one of you roll me investigation again. You can just say Diane roll investigation. Diane roll investigation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. That takes us to twelve. All right. So. As you guys uh, continue onward, you search around, you try to uh, bounce um, around to find people that might know anything about magical happenings, uh, mages, pseudo-mages. You don't find a lot. Leventina doesn't have many mages. In fact, the Grail War coming here has uh, more than tripled the number of mages in the entire district just because of the masters. But you do manage to find some information that leads you to this... Uh, uh, what seems to be a storehouse when you first approach it. It's a little bit out of town. Uh, it's uh, far enough out of town that, like, some forests actually... Like, some of the forest actually encroaches on the area and, like, it's surrounded by trees. Uh, coming to find it... It's where you were told he was, and following instructions going there, you know that uh, this particular storehouse itself is uneventful. There's nothing interesting actually in it, but around the back of it, there's a stairwell that goes to a basement area where... Uh, this guy supposedly works out of. Well, okay. Let's see how this goes. And she's gonna, like, but... start, like... Oh! Ah! Oh. I don't like, oh. But. <laughs> so, I have to... This is still written in gold, so I apologize for the fact that this is written as gold and not dollars, but... Uh, as you guys are moving around town, you also, just random encounter-wise, uh, you guys pass by a, uh, town bulletin board. Um, one thing you notice on said bulletin board is a poster that was put up by Audric that, uh, just reads that the, uh, the cavalcade has been, uh, they've been losing animals. Specifically, wow. uh, lions, tigers, and other exotic creatures, and he's offering a reward, uh, oh in the my. amount of $250 for information regarding where they were and free tickets to the ca the cavalcade, but... I you... literally was gonna be like, $25, this is bullshit. $250. <laughs> but you guys already have an in with him, and you you guys already have a deal with him, so it, yeah. it's not particularly mm. useful information. No, but you hate to see it, you hate to see it. I hope he gets his animals back soon. <laughs> Indeed. I wonder how Sterling is doing. Hmm. I hope he's okay. Fucking same. I'm sure he's fine. Ah, uh, and then, uh, is it still like? Can we still go to the basement? Yeah, you guys could go oh, there and cool. Try to get in if you want to. Oh, <laughs> Diane's gonna like completely like groom herself a little bit beforehand and just like you know make sure that the, the boobs look good. You know all of that. Do that uh, shit. The bips. Okay. People just are nice to you when you're looking your best. Okay, let's let's give no, this not lying. let's give this a go. Oh yes, I uh, should also I'm also going to note that uh 
based on the amount of searching and traveling you have to do to actually reach this place, it's going to take more time than you would have thought otherwise. Uh, this is going to take you guys to 4. So you guys just oh, see you know, we're at 4 p.m. Yeah. So it's okay. 4 p.m. on the 25th? Yes! Yes. Okay. As soon as they hit six p, as soon as they, hit, as soon as they hit six p.m. and they say like that they're gonna head to the, to the uh, performance, then we'll switch back for a bit. Uh, no, I was just wondering. Um, how long again did you say it takes to go from wherever we are to the, fucking Santa Maria? Uh, from where you are to there, um, assuming that you have to take full travel time, just gonna open up this from where you are is eight three it takes like the better part of a day it takes about yeah eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh fourteen hours from where you are straight to the santa maria oh shit really fuck what about is just so you know for you guys you're still at 3 a.m okay good <laughs> i remember yeah. but i'm just like jesus <laughs> Uh, for 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 Izzy from Biasca back up to the Santa Maria takes what is it? Is it half time? So it's uh, or quarter time? So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. But then divided, so that takes about four hours for them to get back up there. You lucky bitch. Because they have huh. a car. And it's like yeah, uh, you, that thing isn't on the until the twenty sixth, right? That's the next day, yeah. Yeah, but if it takes fourteen hours for me to get back. <laughs> How? Hurry, Isla. Fucking pull a carry, and I'm like, I'm so sorry I'm late. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sorry. <laughs> you piece of shit. Uh, we're gonna. It's like in the shadow of sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna attempt to go down to the. Alright. Going down the shop. stairs, you go down about, you know, one level, not too deep down. Uh, as you go into the stairwell, um, well, it's not like a stairwell, but as you go down these steps, you do feel like you pass into a very rudimentary uh, bounded field. Like, nothing complicated, nothing that tries to push you away, but um, as soon as you enter it, you do suddenly get hit by this uh, this collection of, like, um, alchemic scents and whatnot, like the smell of sulfur and other uh, extracts and whatnot, as well as you feel mana in the area. Clearly, the bounded field is only there to... Uh, keep noise and the smell and like other emanations from within the storehouse uh, within it at at the bottom of the storehouse oh fucking Fukai Mori's playing cool that's good for anything uh, at the bottom of the stairwell there's just a steel door with a uh, peephole in it that has a steel slider on it uh, it looks heavily reinforced okay uh let me handle this <laughs> this must smell like home for you though Oh, you have no idea. This is very comforting. All right. Uh, <laughs> Diane's going to go up to the door, lean up against it, and go like a good. Let me knock on it. Uh, yeah. you, you hear some noises coming from inside. It actually takes about four minutes. Every time you guys feel like maybe no one's going to answer, you hear like more shifting and moving. At one point, you actually hear the sound of what sounds like something very large being pushed across the ground, seemingly right in front of the door. And you hear a clanging noise as if something was put up against the door. And then you see the slider pull to the side and just a set of eyes that you can't tell much about them. Uh, just a set of like blue eyes looking through. What do you want? Well, hello. You have customers. Wasn't supposed to have customers. <laughs> well, you do now. This guy, like, looks uh, over to you, looks to you. What you buying? Whatever you're selling, mayhaps. I don't like that answer. What you buying? Magic items. <laughs> Who said you? No one. We're here for our own accord. Are you one of those crazy mages that's been tearing up the district? <laughs> Heavens no. Prove it. I promise I'm all good. Why don't you open the door and find out? No. Too risky. <laughs> You're sketch as fuck right now, Diane. And he just Yo, sl he slams the slider shut. Mm. How the fuck am I supposed to show that I'm a man? Do you take money? 
No, it, uh, it opens right. back up slightly. Funny, bitch. Everyone takes does money. It, does it show how hospitable I can be if I give a bit of cash before coming in? I trust rich people the least. Mm. Who are you? You can get over here and be a puppy dog in front of this man. Yo, if you're right. Why is a rich mage in Levantina, huh? Who said I was rich? <laughs> you're trying to bribe me. That doesn't mean I'm rich. Just means that I'm friendly. If you want to get in here by way of money, you're gonna to have to give me more money than exists in the entire district. I don't what? have that. Flaunt your beautiful boobs, Diane. Come on. I mean, she's gonna she's gonna lean back from the door so he gets like a full view of her. Are you saying <laughs> I don't look friendly? Damn. And she's gonna like put a hand on the, one of the titties, like almost like she's offended, but it's like obviously to bring the eyes to like. Ooh. There's a second, and then the slider slams closed. I would never ah! let you in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You are you sketchy, sketchy as fuck. shit. Go I, love, I love that you use the phrase, she puts a hand on one of the titties. I learned from you, Carrie. I learned from oh, you. That's fair. She's, she's gonna like... <laughs> How and go like, God, I fucking hate people. Okay, Ian, you're up. Or, mm, mm, wow! Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, who is Ian? <laughs> that is only Optimus and Mazi. <laughs> this is why you need David. He's built for covert <laughs> operations just like this. I'm sorry that an idiot is driving this. Machine, <laughs> goddammit! This machine! Fucking Fucking this character! All the stealth I characters are come. away from the social encounter, and all the healing I, characters are away from the combat encounter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good at being swat. I really should not have played Diane, ever. <laughs> <laughs> this was a mistake. I was like, let's play out of our comfort zone! No. And this happens. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, doesn't Diane have a twenty charisma? <laughs> I just use that shit. I mean, I don't have a twenty in charisma, <laughs> so it's a little hard. That you're using your charisma and roll uh, that shit. I mean, uh, you still have to overcome his better yeah, instincts. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he gets to be like, "All right, your numbers say plenty for you. Come on in. I can't beat a twenty. Let's go." <laughs> that, that's true. That's true. She's just gonna kind of, like, be like, just fucking, come on. Like, she wouldn't have said it, Ian. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> come on. It's, uh, it's like, sure, I'll uh, give it a shot. You, I'll, you uh, like all knock. the alchemist bullshit. You fucking, I can't with people. I'm, <laughs> she's gonna, like, go to stand yes. up, yeah, up the on, stairway you. a little bit. See where that see gets where that you. <laughs> 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 My scene doesn't that... take crap, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, is that sulfur I smell? I love sulfur. We have so much in common. <laughs> Let me in. Let me in, darling. He's like, you one of those. He's talking to Ian. He's like, you one of those mages that's tearing up the place. Ian's like, not anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Deco. All right. I'll go forward and I'll knock on the door. As you knock on the door, you just hear from inside Go away! Please, sir, we- I, I'm- I'm sorry of if we've offended you in some way. Um, would you perhaps be interested in- in trading or, you know, sharing secrets? You hear an I'm exasperated- a, I'm an alchemist! You hear an exasperated sigh from inside and the slider slides open again. You and that call girl there can go <gasps> tell Jack. I want nothing to do with his business while he's here. She's gonna march at the door. Did you say Jack? Oh fuck. Yeah. What we are no friends of Jack's. Yeah. I'll Trust show me. you not. Oh yeah? Do you want proof? Oh shit. How much do you know about him? Uh just that his people have tried to rob me several times. <laughs> oh, oh, of course the fucker would! And that he's surrounded by magical girls that, frankly, you don't seem that dissimilar from. Oh, yeah? What? Yeah? Well, guess what? I'm not one of them anymore. Very your convincing. Accent, what happened to your accent? 
Yep. Optimistic. Look, I'm really not going to keep secrets here. If you're an enemy of Jack, then I'm interested. I'm not anyone's enemy. I'm just trying to do business. Yeah, but you want him to stop robbing. Don't you? Aren't you tired of the harassment? He'll go away eventually. <sighs> As for you, tiny alchemist boy. <laughs> tiny? <laughs> yeah, tiny. I'm like 5'8", that's like not that short. You should hang with a better crowd. <laughs> He's, not, He's wrong. not wrong. He's really not wrong. I think you're making a lot of assumptions about her. You don't, you don't know her at all. She's not with Jack. She hates him more than anything. Hmm. He's not wrong there. My Prove whole it. goal here is to. How? I don't know. I mean. We're going to one of his call girl's shows specifically to see if we can find him. Or to find out information. All right. I... <sighs> While we're there, could, <laughs> is there any perhaps information that uh, we could pick up for you? I'm gonna go ahead and assume your accent isn't real, and you can just go ahead and stop. Based on your friend. I figured that, but it's honestly kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, kid. But all right, sure, okay. Technically, this accent isn't real either, ironically. <laughs> Ridiculous. I don't uh, know how to show you that I lost everything I had to Jack, but. Let's say he was an old flame of mine that I plan to take revenge on. Roll me persuasion. <laughs> don't fuck uh, it up. Well, I don't think I can. Oh no! Oh no! Why did you <laughs> say that? I it up! I mean, it was a Holy shit! Oh, but I, but I, I, was, but there's, hold on, check. there's no nat ones on skill checks unless I want there to be, and I don't unless it's, you know, there's a good reason, so I just rolled his DC against you, just, I was like, I'll randomly determine the DC, he rolled a one, apparently he's feeling particularly empathetic today. Yeah. <laughs> Lost everything. Wow. And what Even do you mean sense. by that? I used to be... I guess what they would call me now is this fallen Asimar. Hmm. Jack did that to me. I lost everything from my home. I had to live in my car for God knows how long until I track these... this one down. I wave. All right. Oh, cool. I can just bang around on my desk and it sounds like I'm doing things. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Neat role playing thing. One sec. I need to get something. Where is it? <laughs> Hold on. And she's going to look really, like, annoyed that she had to divulge the information. This goes on for several minutes. All right. <laughs> It comes back, and a slot in the bottom of the door that looks like just, uh, it's meant for, like, handing, uh... It looks like a little, like, two-way lockbox. Uh, what's the term for them? You know what I mean? Like, they're in, like, prison cells? Yeah, where, like, like they're sliding one... food through and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this is the sort that, like, only opens one side uh, Oh, like a, a mailbox slot. Kinda. It's kinda like the thing in the basement in you. Carrie oh, knows I never, what I'm talking about. Oh, I haven't watched that yet. It's like it's like a two two sided yeah like box like that cool. but like only one side can open at once so uh, he you hear him like put something it. inside then closes it open that Mazine um, do you want to open it um, I don't want to put myself in sir. danger you see I mean I can open it but like I okay. Certainly, I'll, I'll do it. Don't worry, I'll, I'll do I, it. I can do it myself. God, Sounded fine. Like I slipped into the <laughs> accent again. <laughs> I never took you for an actor. 
You Seems hear like you're really taking the a, other side of the door. an interest to this. <laughs> But sure, I'll uh, I'll open it. Open it. I mean, you I see, can... there are two rings inside. Put them on. What are they? In shorts. Put them on. Picks one up. Uh, can I do an Arcana check mm. to see what magic might? be held within the rings? Uh, you can discern pretty immediately that they are magic. Exactly what nature, you'd have to spend a long time with them. Ah! Fuck it. He's been talking about Jack. She's gonna put it on. I... All Look, right, I'm not the one trying to fucking get right. into your house. Put them on. No, that's completely understandable. Yes. We will do this. I hope this shows how much we were putting our trust in you. It Put shows it how much if I want to rot your arm off, I can. That's good enough for me. Oh! oh. <laughs> Looks down at the ring. <clears throat> Cringe. <laughs> when he hears that, like, noticeably puts it on his non-dominant hand. <laughs> oh yeah, switch his hand too. <laughs> That's a good idea. Alright, as you put them on, you feel them tighten around your finger a little bit. Oh. He uh, closes the slider. You hear a bunch of noises from the other side, a bunch of latches, like an unnecessary number of locks being unlocked from the other side. Um, Ten and then go by, and the locks are still going. Then, <laughs> then almost like an air, like uh, and like an air unsealing sound, like a tss as the door opens. You see inside, uh, it seems to be relatively dimly lit. There's a couple, what look like magical, like, magic-esque light bulbs. Like, they're clearly not electric. They're just sort of stones giving off the same amount of light inside. Uh, you see there's, like, shelves and several doors and, like, a main business area with a bunch of workbenches. You see uh, different items that you can tell they're magical in nature, but not what they do along the walls. Like, masks and, like, uh, tribal-looking things, like little totems. Um... Just look, it looks like a large collection. Inside, you see this uh, rather scruffy-looking, um, like, mid-40s man walking away from the from the door. Uh, he's wearing what looks like, uh, almost lo looks like a halfway point between mage robes and, like, a modern outfit. Like, his shirt looks like it was a mage robe that was, like, cut off at the bottom and refashioned into, like, a proper shirt. So that he wouldn't like look like he was going around wearing a cloak. Um, the sleeves have been cut off at the elbows. And he has a whole bunch of like scratch marks and burn marks along his arms as well as gloves. Um, uh, gloves on. Well, well, well. Wow, this Welcome. place is amazing. Glad you think so. So tell me. You don't much care for Jack. I want to see him six feet under. I see. So why, if you want to see him dead, are you supporting a show that makes him money? I didn't buy the tickets. <laughs> I'm taking it as an in to one of his call girl shows I have intel that something's been amiss and mm. I want to see if perhaps I can get any information that'll help me now when you say one of his call girl shows are you referring to Sapphire yes I think you might be confused as to the nature of her relationship with Jack Perhaps you can say blissfully ignorant by choice. I don't know much about them on a personal level, but the people that you call call girls, the ones that occasionally have tried to harass me, they're people that that Sapphire lady has been training for several years to work for Jack. And I hate them. Sapphire herself. She uh, won't allow herself to be called a call girl. That's a name that Jack gave her students. Well, she's seen as one by me, that's for sure. All right. With how he treats people, that's what she'll end up being by the end of it. 
So what are your names? Diane Winters. Ian McCracken. All right. You don't have to give him information. My name is Alessandro Esposito. I just, I, just love, I just love Diane's look looks over. It's just like, you don't have to give him anything. I'm just imagining Ian just lifts his hand up, like showing the ring, like I do. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, mean, I don't want to mess with him. I like him. I agree. That is, that is fun. So, suicidal missions aside, what do you want with me? I heard you had magical items. I have a few things that I like to sell, and perhaps make some purchases so that this becomes a little less of a suicide mission. He sits like back into his chair and puts his feet up on his desk. Well, I don't exactly have a lot of money to throw at you if you're looking to sell anything. A trade. Trade would be a better word, I'm realizing. Alright, what are you after? She's gonna take out her brooch of shielding. I haven't really found much use of this since I made my purchase back in New York. And since I went shopping that day with our dearly beloved, she rolls her eyes, I'd prefer to be without this item. Alright. And what are you looking to trade it for? I don't have anything in particular that I have in mind, but... I, too, take interest in statement pieces, I'm sure you can tell by my apparel. I guess. I'm not really one who's into the arts, I'm afraid. Anything that can help on this mission would be a good trade, in my opinion. He looks to, uh, he looks to Ian. How about you? You have any idea what you want, or did you just come here to waste my time? <gasps> eh, I mean, I'm not totally sure what I might be looking for, but I'm I'm always interested in seeing what uh, what other creators are cooking up. If I, if I see something I like, I'll be more than happy to make a fair offer. Oh, well, mostly I deal with things that can help people in the surrounding area with the day-to-day -day lives. Potions that can restore their health, cure diseases. Health potions are something that does pique interest. I generally try to operate in the realm of uh, anything I could sell as medicine to those that are willing to not dig very deep into it. So, if that's what you're after, I could certainly sell you that. Then do you have anything that cures poison? Do, 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 do. I imagine. Because that would be great, because that's been something that's been kicking our ass a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Well, yours. <laughs> I, I was dealing with it for a little bit. There. I thought you were immune to poison. Or is that that's, only Isla? That's, that's Isla. Okay. Yeah, she Lucky chose like, immunity to poison. I chose uh, enhanced senses. Sure. Ah, gotcha. I mean, yeah, if we're just talking about rudimentary poisons and not anything incredibly uh, ridiculously complicated, uh, then certainly I could sell you... Um, a brand of antitoxin that works on the poisons of most magical creatures. How much would that run? Well, how much do you think that that thing that you're holding in your hand is worth? Oh no, I'm a bad player. I don't know. What What's the item you have? Brooch of shielding. Oh, dropped a pen. Oh, I found it. Okay. It's up to 500 gold pieces. It's like $5,000. In this currency. He's right. About... I, I want to split it so that he's not like, 5,000, that's ridiculous. $3,500, $3, mayhaps. 
Keeping in mind that it was previously used. It's fucking 1920, dude. Like, damn. That's if you're just looking it's for, insane. if you're just looking for anti-poison. Well, yeah, but it's all based off of our current currency, not the 1920s currency. If you're just looking for anti-poison, then I would trade you. Hmm, let's ballpark eight doses for that. Do you think we can come up with a ratio where we also get health potions? Maybe four poison. Uh, <laughs> See, that whatever. will run you a bit more. One second. Also, Ian can make health potions. He goes off to the side and he starts uh, looking into a book. You can give me one sec. Thought I'd remind you. Boop. Uh, when you say health potions, could you just clarify what level of health potions are you maybe thinking of? Because there's basic, there's uh, there's greater, there's superior, and so on uh, and so forth. I feel like greater, like would be great if we had like one or two of those. Uh, okay. Yeah, what level can you make? At this point, let's see, I can... I can make potions up to very rare, if I have enough money to do so. Uh, the... I think that's greater. I can make a potion oh, of wait. superior healing. Oh, fuck, yeah. That's if you're looking to but trade... But it cost me 100 gold. If you're looking to trade that... I would say. Only a hundred gold? I'd give you maybe two for that. What you're asking for is potent. Right. Hmm. You can make superior for a hundred gold. That's fucking amazing. It's true. I know, right? Oh. Is that taking into account the other potions we've discussed or no. just the healing potions i'd say in return for that little bubble i would give you maybe three anti-poisons and two of the healing potions and that's me being generous and i can appreciate that i believe that we have a deal all right Watch the next thing we fight have force damage. <laughs> yeah, takes it. One second. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Do do do. Do 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 do. I'm gonna write in a very basic description for this because I'm basically just twisting antitoxin. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. So. <clears throat> Here is, I'm throwing three of these at you, and then potions of do, 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 greater healing, I'll throw two of those on you. Do you already have a couple of those in your inventory, incidentally? I don't know. Hmm. I have one potion. Let's see, do you have greater healing already programmed onto here? Because if you do, I can just go in and... Do, 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 fire, fire, shooting, items, 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 magic. You don't have a potions heading at all. All right, so we'll put. I'll program that in later on. Oh, whoa. This is something that I have, um... Oh, what is it called? When you're attached to an item, or like, um... Attunement? When you attunement. attunement. Oh, I can attune something now. I do have that staff of healing. Ooh. You're right. I know what I'm You're doing next round. Right. You're correct. As for you, redhead, if you don't know what you're looking for, then I'm afraid that business is going to be difficult. This isn't exactly a window shopping place. That's fair enough. I'm sorry about that. Do you mainly just have potions, or do you have any more like concrete magical items? If you're looking for something else, I have certain connections outside the city. I could order something in for you. Do you I, have any... Uh, oh. I try not to keep too much dangerous stock on hand. I see. Oh, what are they called? Are they speaking stones? Something. Oh, like stones of, uh, stones of sending? Yeah. Do you have any, uh, long-distance contact items that you can call in for? 
Yeah, that would be very useful. Uh, do you have any sending stones? I am. Uh, why don't you roll me one d one hundred, Ian? Doing it. Mo. Uh -oh. Damn. I think I have a couple, a couple sets. Hey. How, much, how much would that run? In cash. Hmm. Three thousand dollars a piece. Oh, and by that I mean a set. Oh, oh, you mean. Are you willing to put items on hold? I have a friend who might be interested in making that type of investment. There's not exactly but... anyone else coming here to buy things. <laughs> you must excuse me, I'm used to much more populated areas. I imagine there's a lot of mages in New York headcanon, sorry. Welcome to Leventina. The only mages around here are the ones fighting in that silly ritual. And not many of them are in particular need of my services. <laughs> Have you heard anything of all of that? We're trying to avoid what we can of it. I've been keeping my head down. A smart choice. Would you be willing to rate, uh, lower the price if, uh, we were to barter a bit? Well, that depends on the bartering, doesn't it? Do you like gemstones? Because I've... Huh. Uh, it depends. Quite the collection. Certain gems possess magical qualities that I might be interested in. Mm, let's see. I have. She's gonna rifle through her bag. Carnelian, Cryoprace, Hermitite, Adonix, uh, Moonstone. Exactly what have you been doing that you've just been picking up all sorts of random gems? <laughs> I like things that are beautiful. I Doesn't say. everyone? You got something against random gems? <laughs> <laughs> do do do. Well, nothing that you're saying is of particular interest to me. Star you, um, Rose Quartz? Obsidian? You said you're you're mainly interested in carrying things um, that can be sold as herbal remedies, things people would look too uh, highly into. Yes. Um, could I maybe interest you in some of my recipes? My, I come from a long line of alchemists. It's possible we know a few things that uh, might be able to help you out, be quite profitable for you. Sounds interesting, but I'd have to know specifics. Um, could I, like, pull open my... Uh, my notebook, jot down like a potion, like a, like some kind of like healing potion recipe, and just like, does this uh, hold any interest to you? Do 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 ba Well, your work is certainly more efficient than mine is. Hmm. All right, you leave this with me. I'll cut your price in half. Oh. Well, now we're certainly talking. 1500 for a set. How much money y'all got? I've got 5,500 5, gold. Or, yes, money. Dollars. Yes. Dollar rose. Dollar, uh, oh, what do they call them? Cabbage. Yes. <laughs> what? It, it's in the 1920 slang book! Damn it! <laughs> oh. Okay. One guy ever oh, said God. it, so it's in the book. Oh my God. <laughs> I have a lot of C's, which stands for $100 bills. I've got like 55 C's worth of money. I've got $1,105. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll do the 1000 You can pick up the 500 how does that sound? I could do that. Note that half of the cash she's putting on the table is from the carriage. Ah, <laughs> shit. 
All right. He takes the recipe and, like, folds it and puts it into his pocket, takes the money, counts it. Being certain. Just all right. One dollar at a time. <laughs> one. Oh my god, they're all one dollar bills. <laughs> three. Four. Five. Well, it looks like we might six, miss the show. Eight. <laughs> so as Get, this gets, is to, gets to 15, <laughs> just skips ahead. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> he uh, goes in, he takes out a key, um, and like unlocks one door, both by opening up like a normal lock on it, and as well as putting his hand against part of it that glows briefly. When he takes his hand away, his handprint actually remains there glowing, and then disappears. Oh. The door like, uh, creaks open. He walks in, comes back out with a couple of stones that he uh, comes over, puts on the table in front of you. They're both a bit bigger than a... Uh... Jeez, what would the description of these things be? Well... There, have a picture. God, that cool. so weird. Yeah. I never yeah, imagined this someone weird looking. looking like this. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> upsetting. Can we literally make them look like anything else? Oh. Yeah, if you want to. if I mean, if you wanted to give me license, he would just bring out a couple that have, uh... They both just have, like, these really uh, decorative-looking arrows effectively painted onto these, like, small gem-looking stones, like these oh uh, solid ones, but the arrows are, like, facing in different directions. I just thought of something really stupid. What if, like, they're malformed to the point where you can put it in your ear so they're just, like, mage airpods? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. Rich. Gross. And you're fucking not. I do that. Here, borrow my sending stone real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, I, I think that's. Ew. Is there anything you would like to look into, Ian, or do you think we're done here? Ah, uh, I, I think we're probably done here. Out out of character for a second. I was considering like, how many sending stones would you trade for an actual genie? Easy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then I, looked... yes. <laughs> then I thought better of that. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it bad that I immediately thought, think how many Mars bars he could get with an Efrit bottle? <laughs> like, that was the thing that came to mind. Why? <laughs> I don't know. He seems As like our the business... kind of guy who'd appreciate Mars bars. Is our business concluded then? Ian? Diane. Alessandro. Ah, oh, fucking yes, we're done. All right. Lads, endless <laughs> night. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> yes, I, I think that'll about do it. Um, thank you for your time, and uh, I hope that recipe uh does the people around this town some good. If it makes it so that I can make more of a profit while selling my things. Uh, at a discounted value, I'm sure it will. And if it turns out that this is not some kind of scam, then feel free to come back. Perhaps we can do more business. Do you think you can, um... She's gonna wiggle her finger that has the ring on it. Since we'll be taking our leave, we certainly don't want to run off with any more of your magic items. As long as you leave the bounded field with my blessing, then you can just take those off. Once you're outside, toss them down, and I'll pick them up. Hmm. As Sounds long as you're within the field, they won't come off. Gotcha. You know, I could make an investment on these. Imagine these at my mansion. Hi. <laughs> what? You know, why not? Are you... Like, sell. Do you know what? They cause you. They make you decompose, is what those yeah, I know. do. What are you. Why what were you set? Why? I'm very confused. Why would you, you want never, that? You want oh, them. you want them for your mansion. To make sure that. Get, to when you let people. They're not for sale. <laughs> you know what? I don't want them anymore. Oh, Thank shit. you. That took a while to get there. <laughs> Thought she meant selling them. Like I could sell them out of my mansion. Like, 
But I digress. <laughs> Just toss them down, please. Cool. Well, Ple pleasure doing business with you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Take care of yourselves. We can you too. certainly try. All right. You guys leave and head back up the stairwell. As you do, the door closes as, in behind you. As we're going up, Diane's going to take the sending stones and give them to Ian. For what, when you see Isla again. <gasps> don't, don't you want to take one of them? She's your sister. You should ah, stay in touch. Ah, ah. Thank, well, th th thank you. I'm not doing that out of kindness or anything. You are. Inside. Sure. Ba There's oh. no other thing that you could be doing for. Ba 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 baka. Damn it! Oh, yeah. Oh, Izzy, come on. Did you really have to roll? Don't misunderstand. It's not like I like you, Baka. <laughs> well, she I sounds just, convincing. I just think if you have family, you should stay in touch with them. Ian would believe it. Not to mention, she seems to be running off with David quite a lot lately. Oh. Uh, well, thank you. Um, I was honestly worried about trying to keep in touch with her. It's, it's yeah, a lot harder since we, uh, since we mm. lost Tanaka. Oh, you need to stop. Oh? <laughs> so we're going to say that your entire excursion in there took about an hour. So you're at five. Show starts oh. at six. I'm sorry about Tanaka. Oh. It was my fault. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I still appreciate him coming back for me. Didn't really see a point in any of you doing that. So I appreciate it. He was a good guy. He was a fool. Right till the end, but... That was his way, I suppose. He that was by my his way. way. <laughs> oh. How dare you? <laughs> Fucking bright one. I guess I could say I wish I could see things through his lenses, his eyes. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Jesus! You can do it. <laughs> Twenty charisma. This is what it looks like. <laughs> you say that, this is peak like charisma. It. <laughs> you may not like it. <laughs> <laughs> peak <What>? charisma. <laughs> but this is what peak charisma looks like. She's good at looking good and not talking. No I'm kidding. Uh, she's a woman in the twenties. She doesn't need to be talking. <laughs> oh! She doesn't have the right to be talking. Oh! Right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Coming from Isla. I fucking <laughs> no. A woman in the uh, 20s who, like, would be, like, just, you'd be deported from the United States if you lived there. Even I if you were a citizen, they would just fly you now. somewhere else. They're like, no, clearly you don't belong here. No way oh, they would let me live. <laughs> like, oh, my god. Want and desire for rights. <laughs> <laughs> we should gather ourselves and get ready for the show. Seems like it's going to be an interesting time. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We should, uh, we should probably get over to the, uh, to the venue as soon as possible. Uh, uh, she's gonna put a hand up. No, we have to be fashionably late. What are you talking about? Ian Amazing. looks profoundly confused. No, okay, Ian, let me break it down for you. Amazing. If we show up early, it's gonna look peculiar. If we show up exuberantly late, it might raise some flags. Fashionably Late says that we went out to dinner and had a great time and are showing up to the show to enjoy ourselves. I like how you missed on time on purpose. <laughs> on time is irrelevant. You don't want to arrive on time. But on time is irrelevant. Ian, you look like the type of person who... Ian, you surely are the type of person who shows up on time. <laughs> we need to fix that. But, I mean, it would be rude to just show up late, especially on purpose. Ian, do you remember who's performing in the show? Do you I think mean, I gave a rat's ass about being late to their performance? 
<laughs> we will fucking, be fashionably Are you forgetting late? that we're fucking with this bitch? God <laughs> damn! <laughs> yeah, because she's really gonna hate it when so two bad. people show up late. Shut up. <laughs> but no, fashionably gonna... late. Fashionably late is so that when we walk through to our seats, oh, no. people she see us and has are... my money. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> You're like yeah, the like, whatever she late. do. Get there late and loudly. Interrupt that shit. <laughs> Walk in. You don't know what I'm gonna do. You don't know. Uh... That's fair. That's fair. Anyway, oh, let's yeah. be fashionably late. Be cool, Ian. Come on. Damn. But I mean, if we show up early, we can pick our seats. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! You fucking dork! <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Ian? You know what, Ian? I can't- Fuck! That's the best thing. You are such a fucking dork! <laughs> the most insane <laughs> so, For some reason, that is like your entire character in a nutshell. It's true! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you the most easy that one thing. phrase is everything we all know about your character. Oh, Ian. <laughs> oh. You know what, Ian? I usually, I would understand your sentiments. <laughs> I really would. Would. But right now, I really would. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been doing a British accent for this fucking show I'm in. It's rubbing off on me. It's either the Boston or whatever. You, you never know what you're gonna get with me. What? <laughs> what are you doing, die? <laughs> We're going to be fashionably late, okay? You fucking broke me. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that to fucking kill it's you guys. Die! <laughs> <laughs> So perfect about it. Uh, you know, I never thought you'd say something that defines you. Tears. Damn it, Spencer! Brian's <laughs> trying so hard to role play. <laughs> Buddy, I'm sorry, Spencer's laugh is too good. It's true. It's fucking true. It's so infectious. I'm lucky. Oh. Oh, it's true. It's true. Anywho. But we can pick Shut up. up. Don't be in fashion Shut the fuck up. Like, you can leave for a minute. Like, please. <laughs> I'll go on mute. I got an idea. I got an idea, guys. Alright, everybody bring it in. Let them finish. One of, you, mm -hmm. one of you wants to be fashionable. If the other one wants to be early, just be on time. No, I refuse. Only goobers are on time. Right. Ian, Ouch. I'm trying to help you. Well, it, do you not know that you're a nerd? I'm are you unaware? It to be a negative. I never said it was. I mean... Your tone says it all. <laughs> I think that's actually very fair. I'm a goofy gooba! Rock! But I mean, it, it's it's your it's your mission. I'll uh, I'll follow your lead. Uh, we can be like <laughs> maybe two minutes late. We can be fashionably late. Okay, okay, Dan. We can do what you want to. Mm. <laughs> 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 <sighs> uh, you're making it so difficult. So no, he's not. He's literally saying, "Do what you want." Fine, we're gonna be fashionably late. <laughs> Fuck you! How, how late is fashionably oh. late? Like... 10 minutes. I want to say everyone's seated, but the show has not started yet. It's like 10 minutes. You're clearly late to the event, but you're not missing the actual performance. So, like so everyone's minutes. already in their seats, so you're making them like stand up and move while you're shuffling. In. I'd say 10 to 15 minutes. minutes. It's, it's 10 yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Okay. God. I'm gonna be right back. In the, well, we're gonna in switch to the other group now, anyway. Oh, this is so good, though. Hush, <laughs> oh. oh, you. We need to see. I love. No, I was not covered enough. <laughs> My stomach hurts. Oh, <laughs> good. You know what? We're kind of riding the oh, edge of a break, break anyway, <laughs> so why don't we take it a little bit early, then when we come back we'll switch to the others so that people can recover from what just happened. <laughs> yeah. I'll switch us over. Oh. 
which means it's time for the Dear Ashley Show. Yeah. Bam. Yay. Yay. <laughs> dear First one in like a few weeks where I'm actually, where she's actually alive. Yeah. Yay. Dear Ashley, what does it feel like to still be alive? Damn. <laughs> All existence is pain. Still be Yay! alive. To be alive <laughs> again. <laughs> Oh, fuck. You guys. You guys. It's a video and pictures chat of a bunch of criers. <gasps> Hold up. Oh, oh my god. How many criers? Uh, like at least eight. <gasps> Look at all those criers. Oh my god. I literally read it as wild bunch of criers, and I was like, that's not what that says. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those cuties. I'll put it in the Project that Mouthwash video. Discord videos chat so people aren't like, what the fuck? What the fuck are Dear they doing? Dear Ashley, about? why are you ripping off Sa uh, Sasuke with your curse mark? Listen, Sasuke is not a trendsetter. He <laughs> didn't get the curse mark to be a trendsetter. I have it, <clears throat> and it looks good. He had it, and he looked like an emo freak. So, I'm saving the curse mark. <laughs> I'm making it cool again. <laughs> Dear Malaclips, how does it feel to be in a party again? Um, not really a, a, a party. <laughs> oh, I should write that one down. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking uh, love Malaclips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm back. I love the reaction of like, ugh, I fucking love him. <laughs> <laughs> he brings me pain, Dear but it's Ian, a good kind of pain. Opinion, where is the best seat in a theater? I'm back. <laughs> You're back, oh my god. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, everything what do you hurts. Think, Ian? That one statement got me so fucking bad. <laughs> oh, Eric, no! Why do all my friends have such good laughter? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh <laughs> Dread! I enjoy uh. Logan's usual cackle. It's like a cackle. <laughs> Dear David, are you going to kill that skeleton jester when you get the chance? Uh, fucking yeah. <gasps> <laughs> oh, he deserves nothing. Fucking but Boozle, pain. more oh, no. like dead again. But Boozle's kill. great. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I can only kill him by killing Quantavius, can't I? Fuck. Well, I, mean, I just I go up that's... to Quantavius. Tell him he had a good death! Tell him! <laughs> right now! <laughs> he had a good Boozle death. He wants to have fun, guys. Hooray! I can die! <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally free from the. Terrible agony of existing! Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> uh, oh, is that why he makes jokes all the time? To cover up the pain of existence? <laughs> Ian! But then we can pick our seats. <laughs> <laughs> we can choose our seat. We can choose our seats. <laughs> <laughs> if we're early, we can choose where we sit. Alright. <laughs> Is that is anybody gone currently? Uh, uh there he is. That I needs see. to be a heckin' a heckin' quote. Dear Ian, why are this pure? Why are this pure? He's so That's pure. What it says. <laughs> like I don't He's cheating. I agree. I agree, Dodge and Dust. It is the most bullshit ability I've seen in D. &D. And I didn't make it. <clears throat> You didn't have to include it. <laughs> sure, I did. You. <clears throat> what do you want this game to be, Malibu. buddy? <laughs> how did you? Fair. It is fair. Fair. Fair says the guy with lance. Fair says the guy with the lancer servant. Hey, you gave me that. <laughs> <laughs> and I gave him that. That's stupid. You use it on servants. Fuck you. <laughs> I only like my unfair. Guys, guys, guys. I don't like any other unfair. Deer exactly, like, Eric gets it. It's like the sunny in Philadelphia <laughs> screen. There's a deer boozle. Spencer gets pissy. Uh, deer boozle. 
Dear Boozle, do you know you're acting like a major antagonist Boozle? Jester from Devil May Cry? What? I've never even heard of Arkham! <laughs> Somebody did say Arkham just now, right? <laughs> no! <clears throat> Who said Arkham then? Somebody did! Uh, God. That ability is more bullshit than most noble phantasms. I would, I maybe not, maybe, the maybe not that is, much. So Boozle is obviously meant to be someone we fight basically near the end of the campaign, I think. If you want to, sure. Like, it seems like, it seems like we're not supposed to beat him right now, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like, he has overpowered abilities, and it, 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 <clears throat> it doesn't really, it didn't really affect the servant of the party. It, it just, it just, it just seemed, it just seemed like if we're going to fight Boozle, we're not supposed to fight him right now. Yeah. It's fair. I feel like we could take him, actually. Take him right now, but he's like basically could, a yeah. lich. Oh yes, you could. Kind of the, the reason you that he committed suicide the first time you met him is because he was entirely confident he would lose the moment he tried to fight you. Yeah. yeah. Again, it just it doesn't seem like <clears throat> we're supposed to, if I, if at all, fight him right now. Like that that kind of makes up like in my head makes like the reason why his abilities are so fucking overpowered. Let me reword that boozle. Are you Arkham from DMC3? See, there it is. There's Arkham. I knew somebody <laughs> said it. In the future. Oh. Well, shit. Bah humbug boozle. Tell me a good joke. Look, Lancer. Okay. Uh, after watching your master reach near death right away in these last two encounters, have you considered starting every fight by throwing David out of the encounter? <laughs> I, I mean, got back literally just to hear that question and <laughs> answer it totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> what he needs to do is get a bag that he just How shoves high David can I in. throw David into the air? How many rounds will he be up there? <laughs> it's fair. Get in the battle sack, master. <laughs> <laughs> Made of adamantine. Uh, Where good. is Gary? Gary's here. Dead. What? Oh, well then we're good to go then. Jeez. Perfection. Alright, well then we're going to return to Gimme the Game. I know. Gimme the Games. Audi toast, folks. What if they're on keto? They can't have toast then. Yep. Alright, back in we go. Friends, and also friends, because you're all only friends. We are going to go back in time to 3 a.m. Right. 13 hours prior. There's my dagger. So yeah, you guys had just finished your fight. Uh, you had your encounter with uh, with Judeka, with Boozle, and with two chain demons. Uh, Boozle ended up running away, letting himself ash into the distance. Uh, during the fight, Rayburn, a blue dragonborn, had come down to assist you guys because he heard some commotion on the mountains. Um, you guys are laying, mostly <laughs> dying. Um, I'm pretty okay. I'm fine. On, on the side of the uh, Can we get mountain. That map again? Double click yourself on the combat tracker. That particular map? You just double click yourself on the combat tracker. Oh, okay. <gasps> Neat. There we go. Yeah, it's a cool thing. You're yeah, a cool I'm thing. I'm gonna share this with Moon Moon. That's so, that so untrue. Oh. <laughs> you just He's so uncool, he is cool. Uh. It's true. See, that's what it is. He's like best nerd. Oh, oh that's you true. Know. That is my boss. And I will not stand for that. <laughs> I am so. the biggest brown noser you will ever be. <laughs> I don't like not being able to move me. <laughs> no, no. Oh, is it because I... There you go. Since we're Yay. not in combat, I unlock the tokens. Um, so yeah, this, this dragonborn, uh, <clears throat> initially beside Lancer, walks over and starts sliding down the uh sliding down the slopes leading down towards where you guys are eh. eventually brings himself down eh. he's wearing a uh, fairly large cloak like a very very baggy like very basic looking uh cloak that it looks like could be pulled over his head as he comes down to you guys he actually pulls it over and it uh covers like all the way over his snout um uh, which he seems to like lean down to give his head a bit more of a 
like, humanoid shape to it, although having seen that he's a dragon, you're not fooled by it for even a moment. Mm. Walks over Did he the... ever, like, introduce himself, like, during the fight, or did he just fucking show up? He did not, he just showed up. I uh, thought that. Walks over to the two of you, uh, he has this, let's see, what was it? He has a pretty big great axe, like, one that's much larger than any farmer or, or uh, woodsman would need, that he just sort of sticks into the ground upside down and walks towards you. This guy's really, really big, like... Uh, seven and a half feet tall, so he towers over you guys. Are you well, guys gonna... alright? Oh. I was gonna be all like, I'd go in front of David and pull out my crossbow, but then he was nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm gonna start what making my way to this tree for no he reason. He asked if we were okay. He was like, are you guys alright? Uh, I cough up blood, spit it on the oh. ground. Oh, and peachy. You look it. Mm. Who are you? My name is Rayburn. Oh Yo, my Ray god. Ben. Oh, uh, thank god. Take your fucking cask. Take your cask of alcohol. He like look <laughs> can assume that it like he brought it down with him since he passed by it earlier. Yeah, I figured this Mateo. was proper. Also, go visit Mateo. He misses you. Uh, I can't. Why but, not? Uh, thanks for delivering this. As soon as I smelled it, I figured Mateo was trying to come up the mountain. He's the only one that makes it. Uh, if he would have, he would have died. He would have died. Yeah. Bringing this to you. Tell you what, you all look pretty beat up. Why don't you come back to my place for a bit and rest? Looks at David. Like, does that seem like a good idea? Can I roll an insight check on him? Go for oh. it. Oh. Fuck! Um, it was right there! <laughs> oh, yeah. A practice I want to get into. Uh, when you guys roll deception and insight checks, uh, roll them into the tower. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. I am going to start not letting you know what you rolled on things. <laughs> No! Okay. Because on those ones, I, I feel like if you roll like a 10, and I'm like, no, you believe him, it sort of devalues the point of the entire thing. Um, That's fair. That's I have a question. Yeah. yeah, what's up? No one's paying attention to me right now, right? Correct. <laughs> Are you trying to sneak away, you son I'm trying of a hide. <laughs> Alright, you hide. No one, uh, uh, Lancer is aware of you because you're directly within his sight. Oh. Uh, but, That's uh, why, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. If I if I if I'm right in front of Lance, I'm not gonna like attempt to hide. Yeah. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> My place isn't that, that far away, away from here. Hmm. Well. <sighs> yeah, it's fine. That'd be much appreciated. Let's see. What do you think, Isla? I mean, you're in more shape than me. I feel like what? you can no. find a place to get you all fixed up. It's a uh, good call. Yeah. I'll take you up on your offer, Rayburn. Yeah, well, at first I wanted to hate you, but then you were nice to us. I still might hit you. We'll see. As long as you're not here to try to kill me. I mean, not yet. You're majors, right? I mean, given what just happened, I can only assume that you must be. I thought you'd yeah. teleport. Yo, oh, yeah, like shit. <laughs> hey, it's out of the bag. <laughs> you poofed into dust and I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Dull. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. majors. Like shrugs, yeah. Yeah. You know what a dragonborn is? I, I yeah, I assume so, right? Yeah, he, he, well, he's, you would, absolutely. No one dragonborn say, I've, I've heard of them, but I You don't would know that within this setting, one. dragonborn yeah. are very, very rare. Uh, typically hunted by the Mages Association if they're in public, but as long as they keep to themselves, uh, no one really cares. Um, they're considered to be dying out, and will probably uh, be like a lost race by the end of the century. Oh, no. Darius is the last of his... Of his kind. Oh, we must buddy! Breed Darius. <laughs> Get on it, Mabel. 
So, uh... Crete's freak, baby. <laughs> Repopulate. Yeah, they definitely couldn't have babies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, he escorts you. Uh, Malaclips, what are you doing? Well, I was going to hide, but then he looked over and saw Lancer was looking at him, so he's just going to nod and stand there. <laughs> From what he thinks right now, he's basically a prisoner, so he's just not moving. <laughs> <coughs> Rayburn looks over, like, up the cliff. Hey! Are you two coming too? I look over at Lancer. Are, are, are we coming too? Lancer disappears. <laughs> oh my god. He just looks well. forward. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is the best thing ever. I think he's a ghost. I think oh, he's, he's a ghost. A ghost. <laughs> that man's a ghost. I think he's a ghost. Oh All yeah, right. no, he's totally a ghost. Hold on. Technically, I'm correct. Yeah, yeah. Oh my stuff. god! <laughs> <laughs> um, so he escorts you guys through the mountains. Uh, not not very far. Um, he seems to know some like pathways and whatnot that he probably like um, made himself, and takes you guys pretty high up. Like there's a pretty amazing view of the Levantina district from where you guys are, but uh, since it's so late at night. Uh, your view is pretty much dominated by the fact that no matter where you look, you can't help but notice that giant, uh, that giant hole in the sky that's just looming in the atmosphere. Oh. The hell's that? <laughs> yeah, it's like, weird, huh? I'd like you guys to, uh, I'd like you guys to roll me in an intelligence check. Hey! Hey! Oh, Malaclips! Take that it was in, a save. Oh, Carrie! That was a save, Malaclips! Oh, that was a save! <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's whatever. He would have had high enough with that. Yay! Um, yeah, moving that way. Uh, you guys do notice, now that you've seen this thing from some different angles, um, the specific, like, in space, it is looming. You know, it's in the, uh, the lower atmosphere. But you can tell that it, its position... Uh, it corresponds to the Santa Maria de, uh, del Castello. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Like, if you, it is directly, no matter what angle you've ever seen it at, it is directly above it. Wait, do I know that? Because I got a fucking one. You don't know. <laughs> would I have even? Oh I'm not sure no! how much I've seen it in this place yet. Would I know? Would I know where the ch where, about that church? Uh, you probably don't know about the church that much, but you uh. Like, you definitely, from where you are, you can tell, like, just by, li like, you can see the church as, like, a dot in the okay. distance, so you yeah. could, like, notice that it is pretty much directly up above it. This is bad, y'all. <laughs> You'll be fine. Does anyone know what that building is? That's the, uh, that's the church. It's a church, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a church. Of, uh... Uh, Santa Maria del, del right. Castello. There we go. Just, just call or, it the Santa Maria. Or is it, or is it del Castello? Because you know that's how oh. you pronounce stuff. In. Yes. How to you both. pronounce double L's? Every time I've seen this while out here, it's not really moved. It's always been right over that building. Yeah, I've noticed the same. Hey, Rayburn, can you see that thing up there? What the big hole in the sky? Yeah. By this point, you guys can oh, see he's, like, taking you, like, up this slope up to, uh, up to, uh, a cabin. Yeah, I can see it. It's so cute! Hmm. Um, you know what it is? Was it? Any ideas? Uh, no. No idea. Yeah, that's fair. Magic stuff, maybe. There's been a lot of strange things happening around lately. Was it Boozle or Jude who said it had something to do with my dad? I... I cannot recall specifically if either actually commented on it. Right? But if one did, it would have been probably Boozle, because Boozle I, actually yeah. knows about war things. 
that's kind of what I thought. Jude is just kind of like, fucking Quantavius, your kids beat me up. Help me get him. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, sure. My kids are fucking awful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> little shit. <laughs> I should have beaten them more. <laughs> <laughs> should have killed their mom Rayburn, twice over. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know of um, Darius, would you? I never heard of him. Just assume all dragonborns know each other. My god, Malakalibs. <laughs> no, he, I, he, he, I, was, uh, I know, I'm making a joke. <laughs> comes up and he opens the door to his cabin. Motions, like steps inside, motions uh, inside of it. Goes in. <laughs> I imagine this entire time, like, David's had his sort of arm wrapped around uh, Isla, sort of just keeping his balance. I'm nodding. Yes, that's, that's fine. She's holding them up. Yeah. Yep. His this looks like a good spot. <laughs> no. My insides feel like liquid. Ugh. Yeah, we, we should, should fix that. We should get you patched up. <clears throat> uh, I'd appreciate that. You should probably lay down. Do you have somewhere for him to lay down? He can use my bed if he needs it. It's not very pretty, though. It's just, it's, you know, some... I can deal it. with not pretty. Basically, just hay and a blanket. Oh God, that's fine. I've slept on worse. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the group we can take a short rest. Um, so I'm gonna short rest you guys. That's initiative. All right, I'm going down the list. Lancer, do you want to recover any health? Me. How much do you want to use? Four. Go for it. One. Oh. Two. Three. Four. Oh. All right. David, how many do you want to use? Oh, fuck. What makes you think I want to heal? No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm f fine. I'll use, uh, I'm going to use eight. All righty. Go for it. One. Oh. Well, two. That's pretty good. Better. That's pretty good. Better. Great! Better. That's pretty good. good. All right. Okay. Hmm. Ow. Oh. Ah. Ah. 60 wounds. That's nice. fine for now. There's a story oh. in several parts right there. <laughs> Isla. Um, I'm pretty okay. I use like maybe fucking three. Go for it. Me? Oh, nice. Hell yeah! And then well, we still, then right, so we still need to take the other one off of you. Bam. Uh, Malaclips. I'm trying to determine my average because I, I have two different ones. <laughs> uh, one of your averages would be seven. The other average would be six. All right, I'll I'll, I'll go. For, technically, uh, it's seven point five and fucking. Or no, I'll technically for, it's I'll seven and six. And I won't use my I won't use my warrior one. Alrighty. A. Two. Oh. Three. A. Four. A. Five. No. Six. A. Seven. A. And, yeah, and then A. I'll and then I'll mark off the last one for you. Bam. Alrighty, um, and that's you guys. He's, he takes you inside, you rest. We can just, whatever you guys end up saying, we can assume it just takes the hour. Um, he puts a cask, like, on the table, and he immediately goes and, like, pulls out a mug. And, uh, just, he, for a second, he looks like he's gonna uncork the cask, and then he just looks at the hole in the side and just pours some out through the hole. Ew. Never thought I'd <laughs> see any of this again. Uh, thank Matteo in person. He really misses you. Would it be all right if you all did that for me? Why won't you see Raybird? But why won't I? What? Why won't I see Raybird? Yeah, well, I lack I know. I lack. I lack a mirror. I lack a mirror is why. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> why won't you go see Matteo? He like he drags his table noisily into the little bedroom area of the cabin, 
and uh, takes out two chairs, puts one down over in front of uh, in front of Isla. Uh, looks, Sit comes in, like looks over to Malaclips. You staying out here? I'll. He looks around. He doesn't know if Lancer's here, and he's like, "I'll be where everybody is." <laughs> yeah, right. That's fair. He like fair. he points at the uh, he points at the chair, uh, and then at you as he comes into the room, then walks over and just sits down uh, against uh, on the ground and just starts drinking. He will take the chair. <laughs> Why won't I go see Mateo? It's not like that I want to. Just. Not safe for me to do so, really. It's not safe for I mean, you, you at all in this place, well. is it? Well, I came here a long time ago because I was trying to get away from, you know, poachers and civilization in general, being what I am. Mm -hmm. And a long time ago, I had a desperate need for some supplies, so I came down out of the mountains and. One thing led to another, and I stayed in the Dark Hats very briefly. I wore a big old cloak, so no one would see what I was. Everyone there was great. Mateo was friendly and warm. And, uh... Inviting. But... Lately, there's been a lot of majors around. For years. And Mateo's not a mage. If he's, a, he's aware of mage things. Um, um, if he is, he pretends not to be. Turns a blind eye, and I'm sure that's... Where any uh, non-mage that found out about me might be hunted by the Mages Association. They might be killed, or the memory might be erased, or I don't, I don't know what you guys do, but... Whenever I saw people hanging out, and I saw mages <laughs> beginning to come to the Dark Cats, I decided it was best if, for Mateo if I just stayed up here. It's fair. Oh no! Do you know what's going on around here? Not a clue. Hmm. I occasionally you see some pretty flashy lights out there in the valley, but apart from that, I mostly just stay up here and hunt for food and such and stay out of that everyone's way. Be somewhere where people can see you. Why? You're very quiet. There's already been two dragonborn missing in the past several in the past several weeks. One of them named Darius, the other Yormir. I think Yormir, right? Yormir. Yormir. I see. <laughs> I came up That's here because here. I heard Yarmir. stories that potentially one of them was staying here, which means someone knows that you're here. Uh. And there's someone going around collecting your kind. That's fine. Hmm. I'd rather That's they come here and get me than me put Mateo and the others at the cats in danger. Hmm. Well, you seem to be in his territory. Nobody's bothered me yet. Not yet. Uh, hopefully you can manage to avoid him. I was gonna say, in this entire time, has he been, uh, like, outside? <laughs> uh, <gasps> no. uh, like, uh, by entire time, do you just mean, like, you're during your stay here? Oh, just he. His token was like outside of the. Oh yeah, no, I just forgot to move it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, Rayburn, you haven't managed. You haven't seen anything like unusual uh, around these parts, have you? We're actually trying to find someone out here. Just me. Just you. Hmm. Have you seen any strange, like, magical creatures or, like, animals or anything? Uh, not around here. But like we're pretty high up. A lot of stuff doesn't come up here. 
I uh, once or twice I have seen uh, what looked like a dragon flying down through the valley. But, that makes uh, sense. But I figured that was just like an illusion or something that one of your kind was doing. Avoid that. Yeah, you should avoid that. <laughs> yeah. I will. <laughs> I just took it as all the more reason that I should stay away. How big was it? <laughs> Huge. Like... A it, dragon. <laughs> like, massive. Uh... Like this house times like six. I don't know how to big, <laughs> real <Yeah>. big. <laughs> yeah. yeah why with words? Knife. Why with words? <laughs> <laughs> it's towards the knife. Starts thinking about how the fuck he's gonna kill something that big. <laughs> oh, Malakle. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We don't know hmm. him as Malaclip, so we know him as John. <laughs> That's true, John! Listen, I understand you came up here to... Probably pass on the good word from Mateo, but you go back, you... Maybe it'd be best if you just told him that I, like... Left. I'm not gonna lie to him. It might... might... might break his heart. Another one of his friends uh, left him really pretty recently. He was pretty uh, heartbroken. Oh. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. Honestly, yep. Mateo's the best friend I've ever had. Of course, I can count the amount of friends I've ever had on one hand, so... That's... The same. Yeah. That doesn't dilute the fact. Mm hmm. Yeah. He's good people. That's why I don't want to put him in danger. Plus, that inevitable day will hap will come when I slip up and he sees under the hood, or somebody else in there sees under the hood, and they scream about what a freak I am, and then they all come at me with pitchforks, and I run away, and then the Majors Association catches wind, and they swoop in, and they all get killed for doing nothing. I can't let that happen. I mean... Okay, like, you don't have to go and, like, stay like you used to, but... Could you visit? Just drop in and... Yeah, say hi to him. You don't have to stay a whole day. What about a letter? I feel I feel like he wants to see Rayburn. Mm. By the way, uh, he like keeps drinking the stuff from that cask. I feel like I should apologize for you getting attacked over this. I don't know why there are dragons in the in the Levantina district, but uh, this particular type of ale is something that specifically my kind likes. If uh... if I had known that there were other dragons, I would never have taught Mateo how to make it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'll um. I'll I'll try and tell him that he shouldn't make it anymore. That's for the best. Or I mean, dragons like it, and we're looking for a dragon. Hmm. It's hmm. fair. You said that this. Yeah. Uh, he just kind of like he just kind of looks looks over. This uh, barkeeper knows how to make this. Yeah. How much do you usually pay for something like this? Uh, not a lot, really. I usually trade him things like wood, lumber. Hmm. If I make it back down, I'll see how much he needs. Yeah, it might be the act 
looking over at David and Isla like, You alright? You know, we might need a lot of this. That's a big if, so. <laughs> well, uh, if you're hunting a dragon, it's the way to go, I suppose. I was more thinking a present, but yeah, but also help with that. Uh. Oh, right, yeah. Your friends. <sighs> it just ends so badly. We're like, all right, let's get us a dragon. We got all the dragons! This was a mistake! <laughs> <laughs> it brought every single dragon? <laughs> no! It's no! fine. Now they're all fighting each other for the ale. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wouldn't that just be great? <laughs> all right. Oof. Uh, what should we do? Uh, uh, this is out of character. <laughs> Just like, um, come up with a, a game plan for what we're doing after this. I, I love, um, like, wants to, like, fucking talk to you, but there's, like, so many people around that it's like, oh, I can't. <laughs> Which might help with figuring out the game plan. Yeah. <laughs> Go! Hmm. Oh, fuck, and you're still all fucking hurt and shit. Ah, uh, it's fine. <laughs> He's so pretty fine. badly hurt. You're pretty hurt, my boy. Alright. Did you did you mention to David that uh, he has that Isla has a, a meeting with Duncan mm, that she needs no. to be somewhere? No, cool. that's what she wants to talk to you about. Cool. <laughs> oh, oh. Nice. But we oh, have two new Duncan friends is. that she shouldn't be talking maid shit about in front of. Yeah. Why we're all mages here? Sure. <laughs> you don't know that he's not. Guy. That's true. I mean, you... He's a dragonborn. Well, then that's even that's even more why reason care? why I shouldn't be talking about this shit in front of him. Yeah, I'm aware of mages. Yeah, he's a fucking dragonborn. I wish yeah, I, I mean, wasn't. There's... <laughs> yeah. uh, Wait, okay, so neither of these guys. And I already mentioned that, really that I'm from a beige family. Okay. So, I, I was gonna, like, fucking go over to uh, David in the bed, and she's gonna, like, take oh. his hand and, and look super, super sad and be like, <laughs> Would you guys mind leaving us alone for a minute? Ah! <laughs> hey. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I know you. I know you um, told us to put this in the in the in the dice tower, but I, but this is just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> As he I'm walks just, out, I'm like look, I'm like, am I allowed? <laughs> he like reaches down yeah. and like grabs you by the back, like just like the back ah. of your collar, and like lifts you up. I don't think you're allowed. Come with me. No, I, I, no like, like he, they said for him, they said to leave. He's just like, am I allowed? Like in the next room. <laughs> they... You're in fact encouraged to leave. Right. <laughs> as soon as they're out of sight, I like yank my hand away, and I'm he, like, like, okay. So he closes like, the yeah. like a makeshift door to that room. <laughs> just, like I, I just like wanted to get rid of them. It's it's uh, whatever. I don't get worry it. about it. Okay, oh, it's cool. fine. It's fine. <laughs> God, I love them. <laughs> so what will be what will be a over here uh thing? Probably like perception, but if you're yeah. like leaning against one of the walls, Rayburn would take you off and be like, stop that. Let's well, yeah, rude. I'm what a good boy. A I'm yeah. a good boy. Mm -hmm. Rayburn's a good boy. That's fine. I love him. <laughs> That's He's right. mostly just like, I just want to know if they're gonna kill me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I don't wish probably. Now you'll go. never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um. Yeah. Um. I was just wondering what you think we should do now. <sighs> well, can't. I don't feel comfortable. At least going after. Berserker, uh, yeah. with just, uh, I guess four of us now. Um, yeah. 
we could I go still, back. I, I wouldn't want to do it without Ian and Diane. Yeah. Especially because you keep dying, and I don't know yeah. how to fix it. I wish I could fix it. God. It's so annoying. I mean, that's fair. Stop dying, My insides st stupid. hurt all the time. <laughs> Stop dying, I'll kill you. <laughs> Why, are you um, worried about me? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Whatever. Mm. Shut up, Eric! <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, if you die, I'm not gonna have any backup, and, like, there's, like, no reason for Lancer to not kill me, because I'm not helping you, so just, like, don't die. Makes sense, definitely. <laughs> Thank you for not rolling your text. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's it feels like a, it feels earlier. good to be an outsider on this. <laughs> <laughs> now this, this is what peak charisma looks like. Oh, <laughs> you may like it, but this is what peak <laughs> charisma looks like. <laughs> You may be powerless to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. okay. Um. Um, could go back to the die cats, wait for them. But it's pretty much the only plan I can think of at the moment. I don't really have any leads. I want to talk to you about something, but I'm. I promised Ian that I would keep it a secret. And okay. I need to know that I can trust you. Well. <laughs> it would be unwise to uh <laughs> for me to say you can trust me. Um I'd like to think you could. She looks all sad when you say that. <laughs> it's hard to prove that. It's hard to prove that you could trust someone. Okay. Um. How about I trust you with this and then you don't fuck me over? Uh, sure. Alright. Uh, sure. So, um, me and Ian got a letter from Duncan. A little while ago. His eyebrows just raise. Yeah. Um, do I still have it? Or does... I think Ian has it. Fuck. Yeah, I see it in my inventory. I also have it in my inventory, though. I think Ian has it. I think I dropped it in yours just so you could conveniently read so it. So I could like, look at it? That's yeah. fair. Okay. Uh, he... He wanted me and Ian to meet him at the Santa Maria. Uh, tomorrow at uh, 10 p.m. And he requested that we not bring any servants, which obviously we can't now. Um, and to not tell you. Hmm. So, so uh, I don't know kinda... if that affects what we should probably do next or not. But yeah. Um, Do you have any idea what he wants to talk about? I don't know, but... I mean, I... He helped us out in Adelia. And I'm curious what he wants to talk about. And honestly, for a hunting berserker, it'd be good to have Archer on our side. It would. Hmm. I should say, he, he did say in his letter that if you were to find out about it, he would have a plan in store. Hmm. So I don't know what that means. An arrow goes through David's head. Yo, right? <laughs> <laughs> like right now, as soon as I'm telling him stuff, HOW?! <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Mission wow. accomplished! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
damn it, the sexy boy was killed by the cute boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. Give me just a sec. I'm reading through something of my own. Uh. Oh. <gasps> Do you also have secret plan? He also contacted David? me. <laughs> Secrets? Never. <laughs> oh, why are you the fucking worst, man? <laughs> he's throwing a surprise party for everybody, and he's like inv invited them all individually. <laughs> just just get... put down your walls! <laughs> <laughs> you just like arrive there. It's like a completely dark room. The lights all just go out, pitch black. Spotlight comes on on you guys. Spotlight comes on on Dunk Engine, just a white suit with a microphone. He's like, I've had the time of no! my life. Stop it, Duncan. Get and I've never you. felt this way before. You're gross. <laughs> You're gross, Duncan. Aw, yeah. oh, he just loves us and he's weird. <laughs> it's the yeah. truth. And I I'll wait on you. David's joining in with Duncan. We're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a secret. David secretly like just a singer or something. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Isla. Dave. I appreciate your. Uh, I I really appreciate your honesty with me. Uh oh. I feel like I should probably do the same. Um, <gasps> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Fucking Brian. <laughs> Bring it in. Bring it in. Okay. Mm. Uh, David reaches into his bag and pulls out a letter of his own. <gasps> and I assume it has the same seal on it. <gasps> Motherfucker. Assumedly. Oh. Assumedly. Shit. Oh, y'all are bitches. <laughs> we all are bitches. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is, uh, real weird. Um, oh, yeah. Duncan has. Duncan and I have been, um, uh, writing letters to each other. He, um, he was the one who, uh, allowed me to summon, uh, Lancer as my servant. Right? That's what it was? Yep. He gave you the catalyst. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my and, fucking God. And in order to, uh, you know, get that catalyst, I had to, uh, I had to tell him where you guys were. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not make any, uh, not make any moves on you, uh, on you, on the twins, until uh, until he was ready. So, till we were both ready. Hey, Isla. Oh. Yeah. Roll me a wisdom check. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe Isla's about to kill David. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. They don't know what they were gonna do. You were gonna actively fucking kill us. <laughs> oh! <Yes! no! laughs> so, as soon as he mentions that, and he brings up that Duncan helped him summon Lancer, uh, something that's probably been nagging at Isla since, like, first seeing Lancer will click. Mm -hmm. That being that, um... You've seen Lancer's halberd before, in that it was the <gasps> same one that Gael used, except Gael's was like worn out by time, and like broken down, and chunks were missing. Lancer's halberd is the same one that you guys found in Adelia that Gael used. Holy oh, shit! Fuck. Oh my fucking god! I don't even know how to fucking process this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit! Oh. Oh.
Oh my god, I'm so sorry! <laughs> it's <laughs> fine. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> oh my god. So it's, a, it's a bit, there was a bit there. There was a little bit of, a little bit of information. <laughs> man, a lot of ancient artifacts made their way to a <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Something from Great Britain <laughs> made its way over to fucking and Japan. <laughs> and Jap yeah, and Japan. What the fuck? How? How did you and Duncan even know each other to set all of this up? Uh, it's something I have to ask my DM. Hold on. All right. <laughs> That's fine. Yes, hello, I I'm DM. I need a fucking minute, man. <laughs> David and Duncan would have known each other because whenever whenever you guys were fucking... Well, what would the exact chain of events have been? Um, you guys would have probably been keeping tabs on Duncan, and he would have been relatively aware of that. Um, mm -hmm. Idelia would have been a storehouse of information or storehouse of, like, artifacts and whatnot, and one of the other sets of masters would have, you know, been in Adelia, so you probably would have bumped into Duncan once he came to the mainland, trying to either be like, could we kill him and take out Alquam, slash, could we get information on other masters and servants? And mm -hmm. during whatever that meeting was, he would have probably offered this, offered to exchange information and a catalyst, which, you know, would have been Gael's uh, halberd, which would have been in Alquam's possession, in exchange for uh, the deal of keeping an eye on the twins. I hate that bird. Kaka. The bad I, bird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I relay um that that info to to uh, in in the terms of like yeah we met a <laughs> we. Uh, our organiza my organization mostly knows Duncan. What with him being on a Alquan being on a list of things that their entire purpose is yeah. to get rid of. Yeah. So when we were fighting him and Archer, that was all just some big show. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. To be fair, I didn't know he was going to be the. Me did a good job. Yeah. That's why you guys did pep, did puppy dog eyes at each other. <laughs> so Carrie, sudden memories yeah. of uh, David trying to plead with Duncan that they didn't have to see that battle through to the end enter your mind. <sighs> Fucking, it's such <laughs> it's such bullshit. I'm not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh! The time of day changed while I was being oh sad! <laughs> you took three hours being sad. No, no, no. This is Isla only seeing red. <laughs> uh, oh, I mean, shit. yeah. That makes sense. Uh, what time is it by now? It's around 4 a.m. So, you guys were just, like, what, keeping us safe and having us help you until we took out most of the servants and then you were just going to take us out? What happens when it just became you and Duncan? Then we try to kill each other. Hmm. He mostly just wants, as far as I'm aware, he wants revenge on you guys. I want to ask why, but I feel like I know why. Yeah. Mama Stonewalker roars in the background. <laughs> That's fucking fair. <laughs> <laughs> fucking murder the guy. <clears throat> I, um... I... I guess I want to... I want to say that I told you this because 
I think you you guys are um, better allies than uh, than Duncan could be. Can I insight that? Uh, I mean, yeah, go ahead and roll it into the tower. <laughs> oh, fuck, okay. I mean, you feel like... Go with your instincts on it. It's... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's nice of you to say. How do I know you aren't just saying that to Duncan, too? No. Yeah. Oh, shit. Can't. But, um... I... don't feel like protecting Duncan. Why not? <laughs> he can clearly protect himself. And, uh, you know, it's my enemy. It's your enemy. I didn't think he was. I mean, I'm not even a master anymore. Uh, doesn't change his perspective, probably. It only makes you easier to kill, probably. I wouldn't let him kill me easily. I would hope not. It's hard killing you anyway. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> so what do you expect to happen now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was mostly waiting on your reaction to, to plan further ahead. <laughs> um, but um, I understand if you if you can't trust me anymore. I mean, I barely trusted you before. It's fair. You shouldn't have. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I was keeping it secrets. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, it's that I, I wanted to be able to trust you. I know. I um. Yeah. At, at first, I didn't have a problem lying to you, but um. Then I show you my hot tub. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your butt. Uh, no. <laughs> it's a gun gun butt. <laughs> Lancer, while they're doing this, roll me uh, perception, please. Oh, 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 oh the cat! Oh, no, the cat's on the back! He's gonna fucking kill me! Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Fuck. You think your cat's out of the bag? Oh. All right. I'll eclipse you too, but do yours with disadvantage. Mm. Uh, yeah. How long has this taken, by the way? Well, it's still around four. No, I meant like uh, the conversation so far, because Malakus wouldn't just be sitting staring at a dragon. Uh, yeah, I mean, you'd have time to do pretty much whatever you wanted to do. Like Rayburn would probably be like, look at probably, I'd probably just have him like walk out because they they didn't say that he was going like he was going to be like. All right, in, in that case, roll it with uh, roll it normal. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just making yeah, sure, because, like, he wasn't just going to sit in there if he was told he could leave. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, perception? Yep. So you, uh... I'll throw an, I'll throw an inspiration on tower. <laughs> I'll throw my one inspiration on I hear France is nice this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wouldn't know. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. All right. I basically just want to have him, like, <laughs> chill out out here somewhere. Go over to a tree. Somewhat stealth. <laughs> so we're dead is what you're saying. You're going oh, to kill us shit. again. Shit. I'm not going to oh, kill shit. you again. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm a stealth in this tree. That said, uh, Lancer. Mm -hmm. So as you guys are talking, uh, just so those inside know, you will become aware of what's going on outside momentarily. 
But, uh... <laughs> Oh god. Oh fucking god. Come what, on. What, what, what kind of night is it? No, it there's so, there's it's... so much roleplay to be done! This, we I bet. weren't done yet, you fool! I, I'm, I'm aware that you weren't done yet. And yet, um, Lancer, you have this brief moment of like, um, it's night, it's hard to see shadows, but there's still like stars, it's a, it's a clear night. You do notice this, uh, very large uh, shadow that's it's hard to determine its exact size but it's pretty big passes over you and you react to it but not quickly enough um you and Malaclips are going to enter into a surprise round uh -oh. Oh, shit. as you guys hear this roar coming from up above you uh, I need to target mm. the two of you oh no oh no oh this is good <laughs> First Oof. of all, well, you're both oh. frightened. Can you be frightened, Lancer? I can't remember. Do you have a thing against that? I don't remember. It doesn't come up a lot. I believe I can be. I think it's charm. Yes. Like, uh, yeah. All right. So you two outside, you are frightened as a dragon descends. <laughs> I have Does to sneeze. Me in <laughs> the tree? I uh, it's aware of you, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking dragon. As it crashes down in front of you, I'm gonna give you guys a better picture of this thing. Bip, bip, bip. As this big old boy, his total body and wingspan dwarfing the, uh, dwarfing the cabin, crashes oh, down. He looks like a bigger Just version of- the alcohol! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, he looks like a bigger version of the ones you guys fought before. <laughs> uh, and he's gonna come in, and he's gonna go for some attacks on you guys. It lands, gives a roar, as it does you two back up. Uh, Lancer, you probably more so, because it's a dragon. It like, a full dragon. Last time you saw one of those, bad things happened. And da 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 it's going to move forward, and it is going to go at, well, first thing it's going to do is it's going to, ah, I can't do that yet, right? It's going to, what can you do, friend? Right. Right. One target. That's bludgling. what you can do. It's going to go for a bite on Lancer, which it goes for, and it misses! It takes a snap at Lancer. Uh, Lancer, you manage to uh, react in time that you stop its jaws with your halberd. Uh, even though you're invisible, it seems to be able to see you relatively well, but um, it can't uh, It can't exactly pinpoint where you are, so it has disadvantage on the attack. It's then going to go for a claw attack on Malaclips. <laughs> that one hit. Uh, do I have a... Do, can I use Uncanny Dodge? Uh, to half the damage? Uh, yes, you can. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hit half damage here. I think you can, you can half the damage after you see the damage. Oh. I don't it know. did the minimum possible damage. You take yeah. five damage from this thing's claws as it rolls. This uh, isn't that bad. <laughs> it rolled, it rolled ones on all of the die to hit. It's then going to go yeah. for one more claw attack. And it hits. No, it doesn't. Shut the fuck and up. And that one was better. It <laughs> strikes you. Uh, those inside, you guys hear a roar. I'm gonna roll proper initiative oh, for I'm everybody. Probably... Uh, roll all initiatives. Oh, good. It's first, but we'll consider that it's first turn. Lancer, it's your turn. <laughs> You're being so nice. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's do this. Fuck it up, boy. Uh, I don't the, know. Wait, sorry, is it on the ground or is it in the sky? Uh, it has landed for this brief period okay. of time. Excellent. Four round of fear attacks. Oh. Alright, go for it. That's a hit. How do you have advantage? Uh, I should have in, in, Invisible. You'll be coming out of that after ah, this one. Yes. Right. And that's a hit. You do 17 damage to it as you strike it with your halberd. Go ahead and uh, we gotta take you out of being invisible. And boop. All right. From here on, you'll have disadvantage. Both 18s. Oh. Good job. Oh you my hit it. god. Deal your damage. <laughs> no, fuck you, disadvantage. 
<laughs> That's a hit. Woo! Alright. And last one, I believe. Yep. Alrighty. And that is a miss. Dang. Alrighty. It's gonna take a legendary action. Well, how many do you have? Alright, cool. It's gonna take a legendary action to use a wing attack. So everybody that is within a certain area of it, that being you two, Dex save time! Wah! Yay! I think it will do <laughs> no damage. I think it does nothing because of this. Yeah, yeah you, I, uh... I have you, you both have evasion, so... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, Lancer, you don't take any damage because this particular attack uh, was just straight up bludgeoning. And, uh... It, it couldn't infuse this particular attack with magic. Uh, at the end of my turn, do I save against my fear? Uh, yes, or sorry. Is it a yes, uh, go ahead and roll me a wisdom save. Come on, Lance. You Dang are still it, feared, I'm afraid. Spooky. I fear I fear you're afraid. Spooky. Yeah. Spooky, scary scoops. <laughs> Alright. Is that your turn, Lancer? That is my turn. Isla, you hear a large crash as something lands outside, and then through this window, by the way, there's a window right here, you see the form of a dragon, like, you can only see, like, its chest and claws on the ground, its massive, uh, copper tail, like, whipping around. I'm gonna, like, look out the window and then back at Dave and be like, We are not done! You stay here! And then I'm gonna run outside. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go uh... ahead and, uh, lock tokens, <laughs> so go ahead and show me what path you're taking. I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, the door is, like, in that other room, like, next to the table, right? right here. Yeah, okay, fuck. Go out the window! Gosh, <laughs> not <Action>. have <laughs> All right, Just and open then... the window. <laughs> That's far better. <laughs> is that as far as you're getting? Yep, that's All my right. 30. All right. <laughs> she correct. Okay. Um, I am gonna throw a bomb at it. Uh, a debilitating bomb. Oh, but what kind of debilitating oh. bomb are you gonna throw? I'm torn between trying to blind it or trying to poison it. I'm leaning Tor? towards. I'm leaning towards poison. I feel like I might poison. That's a good idea. It. Yeah, I'm gonna try and poison the boy. Alrighty, so just gonna. Is it a con save? Uh, I don't know. One sec, let me. I mean, blinding it might not have a big effect on it if it could see people. Yeah, that's true. Anyway. It had a general idea where you guys were because of a perception check that I had it roll, uh -huh. where uh, it it doesn't have true sight or anything. Remember that when it attacked land. Constitution. These things can apparently see invisible things. Well, like I said, the bomb, it, uh, yeah. that was uh, I had to do a perception check to account for like when it landed, it would have kicked up a lot of dust and it would have seen his silhouette. Ah. Yeah, yeah. buddy, the bombs are a con save. Yep. So it just Probably came down to fuck with me. It. Fuck well, off, yes. dragon. I well, actually, it, it, well, it came down. <laughs> fuck off. It came down to get into the cabin, and you happened to be there. <laughs> I mean, it just saw a dude walk out of a cabin and said, "I'm gonna eat it." <laughs> in, the, in the blinding, is the blinding one a uh, uh, con save as well, or uh, all the all, all the debilitating bombs are cons? So yeah. Ah, okay. So I can either I can blind it, it, deafen, or poison. I mean, poison him. All right, so you wanna? Anyway. You can also remember yeah. you can throw two bombs if you want to. I can, but they'll both be just. It's true. <laughs> I'd say do the poisoning one. <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what I wanted to do. Anyway. All righty. So first of all, you got to uh, roll to a hit. I'm. De I'm thinking about maybe throwing two because I can, but I don't know. You know what? I'm angry. I'm gonna throw two. She would right. throw two. <laughs> She's fucking mad. All right. So hit, yeah. Shit. So hit, hit disadvantage and throw your first one. Fuck it. Da 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 da. That's a hit. Oh hell yeah! yeah. All right. Roll your damage for that one. Okay. Uh, that's the 5d6 plus 2, right? Uh, yeah. And make sure you tick off a use of it. 
All right, you oh. throw it at it. It explodes. Uh, go ahead and roll for uh, with disadvantage for the other one. Oi. 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 That's a miss. Oh, uh, yeah, it's But fair. you hit it with one of them, so tick off a... Uh, by the way, what type of... You didn't determine what type of damage that was. Because uh, I have to roll the normal bomb damage, and then I have to put. No, the you need to pick. You need to pick a type of damage. It is fire, acid, cold, lightning, thunder. Remember? No, it's de no, it's not elemental bomb. It's debilitating bomb. All I'm your bombs are elemental bombs. Poison. What? All your bombs so forever are elemental bombs. All right. I'm just confused. Too cold. Look at look at your damage field. Notice how there's no type yeah. there. Yeah. That's because you have to pick one. So what, do I just, like, hit effect or what? Like, fucking, my cheat's confusing. I don't know what you mean. You see where the five effects where it says choose damage? Yes. Yes? Carrie? Yeah, I'm sorry. Me and Eric are both looking at my sheet trying to fucking figure it out. You know the word it says damage? Yeah, there's two parts that say damage. One says 5d6 plus two, and one says six. Go down. You see the yeah. three things that say debilitating bomber? Yeah. Look at the five things below that. Yeah. Before you, you before you roll damage, you have to click one of them. <sighs> this is something you've always okay. had to do. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go cold. Okay. I need to check if uh, he's resistant to cold damage, or if he's... Alright, he's not. But yeah, you gotta remember to do that. That's what I'm confused about, because they each have separate effects. So would I also use cold when I want to use debilitating, even though I'm no. trying to poison it? That's for your I'm damage really type. Okay. It's not like a spell, it's part of... Oh, never mind, I'm confused. Whatever. I'll do as you tell me. Everything... yeah. Alright, thank you. Because other, it's an explosion. It's like an element. Your bombs are always an elemental explosion. Like uh, normally, um, when not using that effect, like they'd be fire. Like Ian's do fire. But you, okay. because you have elemental bomber, you have the ability to choose whatever they are whenever you do. Uh, whenever you do it, you can make them either fire, okay. acid, cold, lightning, or thunder damage whenever they explode. This is not okay. part of debilitating bomber. This is a secondary effect. This is well, it's the primary effect rather. It's, okay. I thought uh, that I could only do like. Either or. I didn't know that I could. No, do it's elemental <laughs> bombers a feature that lets you pick which of the elements you use whenever you deal damage. Cool. So remember to do that always. All right. This is not the first time this has come up. I'll kill you. Forever and always. Forever and always. <laughs> All right, now. I'm sorry, I made you so upset with our conversation earlier. <laughs> no. Now She's roll. Mad. Now roll that con save against the dragon. It succeeded. Of course it fucking did. Uh, yeah, I uh, thought so. It's a dragon. Yeah, <laughs> make sure dragon. you make sure you expend uh, the second bomb use and the uh, second level spell slot you needed to do that. Done. All right. Is that your turn? Me. All right. It's gonna go legendary action. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, indeed. All right. Do, 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 do. Of a gun. And it's going to use it to do a tail attack. <gasps> it's going to do its tail attack on Lancer. Oh, <laughs> no. in, in that one. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna Die. roll off the fumble, fumble table, and it, do it doesn't get anything off the fumble table. What? And nobody ever gets fucking anything. Off the fumble table. Uh, how big is this building? Uh, the building behind you. Yeah. Um, like tall, you mean? Yeah. Like ten feet. Okay, cause I'm in a tree. So. Oh yeah, we'll say by the way that you're like. Can I go out there? There. Yep, you can leap over there, no problem. I'm gonna leap over there. Whee! And uh, I'm gonna go like around like about this part of it, like diagonally from it. Okay. And I'm gonna start shooting it. <laughs> Alrighty, go for it. It I'm is Lancer adjacent. Pipe. It is Lancer adjacent, so you can get sneak attack if you hit. Well, I mean, I Hell won't yeah. have um, advantage, will I? No. 
So, like, don't I not get sneak attack on the time You have an ally that's next to it. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, oh, shit. This clicked off. All right. I'm going to use my... I'm going to use my... Or if uh, someone is next uh, to it. It's a dragon. I should probably not use the rifle. I'm not sure if these things are resistant to non-magic stuff. We'll try. I'm going to use my rifle. I'm going to shoot it. All right. Go for it. Be you, oh, hey. yeah, you, uh, you hit. Boy. So add your sneak go. attack damage and go ahead and hit. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, and... you had disadvantage on it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, well, you said you're you specified that you didn't have advantage. Uh, but oh. yeah, since you have disadvantage, you wouldn't be able to get sneak attack. My bad. Blech. I apologize. Oh. I was rooting for you. I wanted you to... No, now you've got two sneak attacks. What are you doing? I don't know how to turn off the... I got rid of it. Just die. <laughs> it right, does nine damage. You fire at it and you deal nine damage. Pew. Pew. Uh, uh, I have a question, Logan. Yeah, what's up? Did the bullet seem to adequately pierce the target? Yes, it did. Okay. It so did not, not seem resistant to, to anything that you just did. It lets out a roar as you hit it. Um, roll me a wisdom save. B. And yep. you are, yeah, you're still, oh. still afraid. I'm afraid. All that ten wisdom you have. <laughs> uh, right. Eleven wisdom, thank you. All right, David. Okay. I didn't roll for these so stats. Been... Slogan gave me these stats. So I've been told to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> you would best do as you're fucking told right now. But I could help. <laughs> you're also you hurt. Also die. And she's I'm mad not. at you. I could help from inside of the shack. Then do that. Stay you said there was there. a window or something, right? Yep, absolutely. It's the slightly differently colored area. Uh, it's okay. So right if there. I wanted to cast say, uh, hold monster on it from in. Could I just do that? Uh, yeah, you could. Cool. I'm gonna do that then. I'm gonna go ahead and shapoopy. 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 I can't tell if he saved or not. Uh, he in fact failed. <gasps> <laughs> All right. Oh, enjoy that. Enjoy that. All right. Shut up, David. So, paralyzed. Bonus action. <laughs> bonus action. I'm going. All right. Oh, oh all bonus right. Action, go, he's bonus action. He's gone. Bonus action. He's gone. He's good. Oh, did I, oh, did I cut out? Oh, yeah, you did. He did. He oh, okay. I'm gonna uh, hexblade curse him. All righty. Okay. All right. So it is stuck in place. I uh, use hold person. You do that. It freezes in place, seemingly like creaking to a halt as it tries to resist the effect of it, but it can't break free from it. Is that your turn? Yeah. Uh, re uh, uh, remind me. Oh, wait. Attacks on paralyzed yeah. creatures are criticals, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Melee attacks, anyways. Yes. All righty. I. You is it is it all attacks or melee attacks? I'm pretty sure it's melee attacks. Okay, cool. Because that's how it works for down Enjoy things. That. Enjoy that, Lancer. All right, Rayburn's turn. He's gonna hear this. He's going to look outside, or uh, he's going to uh, yeah, probably one, two, three, four, six. And he can get up to there because he has slightly higher movement than all of you guys do. He rushes oh, out, he sees this thing outside, grabs his great axe. Is that the dragon you were talking about? And then he just rushes forward to attack it. No. No, the other <laughs> one was bigger. And he's going to fly into a rage. The other one's bigger. Fucking what? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's impossible. <laughs> attack. I mean, to be fair, he's seen it, but uh, he's going to go for an yeah. attack. He goes for an attack and he hits. Oh, this is going to be Hell gross because yeah. it's paralyzed. Um, yeah! <laughs> fuck him up, Rayburn! All right, Make so. it gross! Make it gross! Make it gross! So, uh, let's see. He does how many attacks? He does two and then one extra while raging. 
So, yeah. uh, which one do I, I'm pretty sure I have to hold. All right, he goes for the first attack, he hits it, he deals 31 damage as he cleaves into it. He's gonna go for his second attack. And that's a hit! And this is just stuffed barbarian. <laughs> this is like... That's another 22 damage, and now his final attack. Oh, he's, oh, he's a berserker. Yeah, oh, he I is. I would like for Rayburn to stay with us forever. <laughs> and he got, you know what? He got a, nat a natural critical hit on that one anyways. Oh my I'm rolling god. Nothing off the cri Oh, I didn't roll off the critical table the other two times. One sec. Hey, guess what, everyone? Uh, Rayburn just gave everybody a D8 Bardic Inspiration. Oh, hell everyone yeah! Everyone within 30, oh, everyone, by, by being just so savage. Alright, last one. Oh. oh, and he is going to, target suffers ongoing damage equal to, it's to your level, so in his case, Rayburn, you are, uh, not that high. Uh, oh jeez, why is your, what is it, what are you? Nine, right. Um, so, nine... The damage that he did was- Oh my god! This dragon's gonna take 22 damage on each of its turns from him. Oh! Hell yeah! Dragon, no! You were dragon, supposed to yes. be like a mini-boss dragon! Demi Geo! Get full dragon. You're supposed to unite the hold, boss, not hold monster. into chaos. Thank All right. you, hold monster! Thank god, hold monster! And he's gonna deal his last damage, and he almost maxed that. He deals 27 damage on that one. Um, Alright, bam. Uh, this thing can make a save to end that damage. Um, so back up to the top of the turn. So it needs to make a save, a con save against that. So he needs to save, uh, make a DC... 19 saving throw. Can you do it, dragon? Yes, he did. <laughs> Obviously. But, but he did take that damage, though. That's good. At least he should have. I'm glad. Demigio. 22 slash. It, it hasn't registered that oh. it's his turn yet. There it is. Alright. That's gone. He can't do anything else on his turn. He's gonna go straight to the end. What's your DC for him uh, beating hold, uh, hold monster? 18. And it's which save wisdom, right? Yep. Well, here he goes. Ramp. He did not succeed. He's just gonna stay there. Yes. <laughs> Lancer, oh, you have God. a bardic inspiration, and also it's paralyzed. Oh, this thing's fucking dead, man. <laughs> Take him apart. I just want to point out, for every combat that you guys have had, David's whipped out a spell that was not expected and fucked up the entire <laughs> encounter. I fucking what's, um, no. What's He's the die disgusting. on the Bardic Inspiration? Uh, the, the die on the Bardic Inspiration? It's a d8. Uh. Oh, Alright, cool. so go ahead and add that, and just so you know, if you use Endless Night, add that to, you know, all of them. <laughs> how close, like, how, how bad is he looking? The dragon? The dragon is looking like he's paralyzed and can't really give many reactions to anything. Oh, like, is he looking bloody? or? Yes, he, uh... he has several very large gashes from Rayburn's great axe across okay. him. Cool. It's not It's not showing, like, the, the bloodiness on, on his token, so... Oh, well. Murder the murder out of him, Lancer. I don't want to do it while I'm. I, it's like I'm running straight right now because I'm still afraid. So mm -hmm. I'm not yeah. even. seven. You did roll a seven. So. Oh! oh! Fuck! Gonna that's go a, ahead. That's a forty-one hit. <laughs> One sec. Servant critical. No, no special effect. Um, oh, my dragon. Go ahead and roll your damage. You're gonna my add first. <laughs> Oh. Ah! All right. So, gross. so he Ooh, actually yeah. doesn't. You use prana burst. You notice that almost all the force that comes out of the prana burst, like the force damage, doesn't seem to really affect him. Hmm. Oh. Well, butts. Indeed. That is butts. Die. That's a hit. Yay. Die. And. Die. Uh, I'm gonna roll servant critical, one second. Remember, these are all criticals, because oh, yeah. he's paralyzed. Oh my fucking god. Uh, okay, you got something, for once. 
<laughs> it happened! Attack me to cripple random target. Uh, target must make a DC 20 constitution save. One sec while I make that for him. Bip. Good luck, He dragon. succeeds. Uh, do you want to negate the damage and me re-roll as a critical, or do you want me to just roll? Um, uh, I'll roll? negate it, then re-roll the critical. One sec. Yeah. One sec, I'll just... And negate value. Yep. All right, go ahead. Yeah. All right. Third attack. This poor dragon. No, don't you feel pity for this dragon. He got hit. Serving critical table. Rolling. Bleeding wound. Attack pierces a vital part of their body. They take damage equal to your attack roll, not with critical damage. Oh, so, uh, at the start of each of their turns for one minute. Um, oh, so... Dead, it's fucking Crazy. dead. It's amazing. <gasps> Additionally... Wait, the attack roll? Hold on. <laughs> Additionally, uh -huh. and you guys are going to fucking love this. Uh -oh, except uh -huh. for those that aren't there are not going to love this. Because this is a- he rolled a 19 on the Servant Critical table out of 20, so I also added onto this one. Entire party gains a point of inspiration. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, everyone that's there, gain a point of, like, inspiration, please. Fuck yeah! Roll your damage, please, Lancer. Alright. I love you, Lancer. I love you so much. Maybe that much. minus 7, so that would be plus 11, so it, the DMGO is going to be 13. All right. There's so much shit on him now. <laughs> Last attack. Uh, Last attack. That's a hit. Servant critical. <laughs> Didn't roll anything special. Deal you damage. Oh, he's not doing well at all, man. Die. This poor dragon, uh, man. All right. Is that your turn, Lancer? Uh, roll wisdom save. Hold monster, my new favorite spell. Wow. And you oh are God. free from being what? frightened. <laughs> I mean, how are you going to continue to be frightened after that? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> That's... Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty uh, sure my frighten shifts over to Lancer. Isla, <laughs> what 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 do what it do, Isla? Fuck, sorry, fuck. Uh, fucking. I guess I'm gonna try to void strike that boy. I guess. I know, right? Let's try that. that sounds huh? pretty fucking badass. You know, already? <laughs> okay. So, we you passed it. Uh, so, first of all, we. <clears throat> do, 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 I gotta, do, I gotta do. attack that boy. We'll put that on you. Um, yeah, so go ahead and uh, let's see, roll the spell attack against him. Uh, sidebar, um, I'm gonna cast it at uh, level 4 if I can. Okay, go ahead. Uh, level four, so the damage increases by one d eight for each spell slot above. So. Is it a melee attack? Uh, one uh, second. Ranged. Fuck. Ranged. Oh, oh, by the way, with the whole okay. petrified thing, as long as they're within five feet, it doesn't matter if it's ranged or melee. But at that point, you might as well do melee. Yeah. That is a miss. Oh. On a seventeen. Fuck. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, it wasn't Do I yours. I have advantage because it's dim light. Is he in dim light? You had advantage oh, you, anyways. You, you, oh, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, because yeah, he's because he's paralyzed. Oh, he's, oh he's right. Paralyzed. You want to roll the bardic inspiration yeah. and add it to it? I'll let you do that. <gasps> oh yeah! Fuck! Oh, okay. Yeah. Shit. Uh, that's one d8, right? Yep. Yep. Cool. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you hit. Woo. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and roll the uh, 5d8 necrotic at him. Also, one sec. Uh, da -da, da -da, uh, da -da, bolt it, darkness, make range spell at... attack. Wait, no, I did it at level four, so it would be CX. Yeah, I'm, I'm, re I'm just reading what it says in the thing. I was like, so oh, hit okay. it, and it's also frightened of you. Huh? <laughs> There's so much on this dragon. <laughs> go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll your damage. I already applied the extra damage thing. <laughs> the dragon is frightened of Isla. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is, boy. Uh, That's a smart dragon. Yo, right? smart dragon. What a fucking smart dragon. And you fire this blast at it. It hits it. Um, it takes twenty-eight damage from the hit. Oh. Just die! Just die! Malaclips, your turn. Die? Uh, I'm frightened, so I can't die, go forward. Right? Correct. All right, I'm just gonna go over here shoot then. It. Do my shoot. 
Alrighty, there you go. You'll just, have sneak attack on this if you hit just him. Gonna, just gonna, as, like, you know... <laughs> It doesn't really do anything, but you know, in the meta, he would be moving around the moving around the top of the house. Yep. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, and I'm gonna shoot him. All right, do him a shoot. Shoot, shoot. I believe in you. Uh, bard against inspiration. Kill him. Oh yes, roll your bard against inspiration first. We'll think you're and super then, cool if you kill him. Add that. <laughs> we'll think you're super it's cool true. if you kill him. Sure you will. Only if you kill him. <laughs> Only if you kill him. And bam. That's definitely oh. a hit. So, um, yes. go ahead and apply your sneak attack damage, Yee. and then, uh, make sure you roll this as a critical. Or wait, no, you wouldn't, sorry. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not within that. Yeah. Go ahead and roll damage. Mm -hmm. Bah. So, you know. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you, fi you fire at it, it goes through, uh, this thing, like, opens its mouth to roar. It's, uh, like, creaking as it does, because it's stuck the way it is. And your bullet just passes through its mouth and out the top of the back of its head. It wobbles for a second and then collapses down to the side. Hey, Miles, Hell you're yeah. a mage. How come you're not using magic? Shut Nothing up. Nothing personnel, <laughs> Can't believe you just fucking headshotted a dragon. <laughs> that is intense. Now you have value. You're right, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You guys needed to see I had some value so you didn't fucking kill me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean, we're too distracted by our own fucking drama right now, so you're okay. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Also, I was everybody. frightened of that thing, so, like, after I shoot it and kill it, I just wanted to, like, set up for a second and then go... Ooh. <laughs> if it had gotten one also, more Also, it died. Turn. I get hit points. Hooray! Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my fucking uh, god. Really? Fucking... So, if it had gotten another turn, it was going to breath weapon the entire cabin. So, good job saving Rayburn's cabin. Oh, yeah. yeah. But if he didn't have a cabin, he could have went down to talk to his friend. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> Bring it back so it can destroy Rayburn's home. <laughs> Damn it! <man. laughs> you accidentally, like... <laughs> You accidentally kick over like a candle. Oh no, the dragon! It did something. Oh no! I'm gonna, I'm gonna have him get up to the edge of the house and just kind of sit down. <laughs> Detonates the C4. Uh, okay. Yeah, we have control of our. <laughs> can we have control of our tokens now? There you go. All right. Just gonna have him Goes sit back like, over right here in the corner. All Patiently right. waits. Walks back in. <laughs> Do I catch him sneaking back in a bed? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Hold on. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> roll me, roll me perception, Isla. In the tower, or don't carry just it. Just do it. Just do it. No. Come on, carry. No. Oh! As far as you know, he was. A, as far as you know, he was a good boy. Hmm. No, he was not. <laughs> For different reasons. <laughs> His position is shifted in the bed, I can tell. So yeah, Rayburn is like outside looking at this fallen dragon's body as the body starts to break apart into mana and disappear. What with it being a Dial Clan fucking construct. Would I have recognized that, by the way? Uh, you may know that. You, you don't know exactly what kind of things the Dial Clan uses in that regard, so you wouldn't have immediately I'm just known. just imagining this scratching cheek like, well, you know. <laughs> they would have wanted me to not die, I think. <laughs> exactly what was that thing? I mean, a dragon, obviously. He's, like, referring to Lancer. A dragon, yes, but, like... <sighs> Why are there suddenly dragons? Is my overall question. That thing is about as much of a dragon as I am a man. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm just pale like I was... Alright. Show me your peen. <laughs> Uh, it came here for the ale, didn't it? My ale. Bad dragon. <laughs> he just grumpily walks back in. <laughs> Can't have it, it's mine. Don't think I've had a drink in months. Oh, I so love cute. him. I feel <laughs> so bad for Raymond. He just sits down, puts like, yeah. takes, picks up the tankard, puts it to the side, picks up the barrel, and just holds it above his head and starts drinking from the hole. <laughs> what gonna a good step boy. up toward, gonna step up toward Lancer. Kind of like look at him and be like, "Uh, thanks. You really." 
took a lot of his attention. And then he's just gonna step back. <laughs> Still looking at him. <laughs> Well, yep. way, to, way to go, Lance. I should have killed him better. Oh. Did pretty good <laughs> from what I saw. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> He's just gonna go right here, accidentally having a, having a way to listen to them now. <laughs> it's true. Oi, oi. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. <laughs> yeah, they does it. <laughs> All right, real quick, guys. Before we do anything else, yeah. I'm going to call for second break. Okay, right. cool. I got it. Do it. Woo. Have fun. I cannot wait till you guys all get back together, because, like... Uh. <sighs> so what just happened? How long does inspiration last Yeah, for? I can't wait either. We have that too many encounters whenever we're apart. The, the bardic inspiration will only have lasted the encounter. Um, the proper inspiration that you got from Lancer, that's just an inspiration that's up on your thing. Cool. Bam, 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 Pretty bam, much bam, just I a joke I put in that. Use the bardic inspiration. No. <laughs> oh, my I shoulder. Used it <laughs> I can't yeah. stop popping my shoulder. Stop popping yeah. your shoulder. No, I can't help it. Don't be a butthole. <laughs> no, you. Good one. You did Thanks, it. Babe. No problem. Heckin' got him. Heckin oh God. <laughs> David fucking MVP of this fight. I mean, <laughs> with one spell. Malakus is still trying to guess between what kind of crazy thing Lancer is between freaking ultimate destruction that is Saber or friendly friend that was Ryder. <laughs> it's like, I want to know, what are you? <laughs> uh... Are you going to kill me immediately, sir? Dear David. So far, that's a no. <laughs> Dear David, does your back hurt from carrying the party from that, through that fight? Oh, yeah, definitely. Ugh. It's not nearly dying in a much easier fight earlier. <laughs> totally. I, I think that's the joke, right? Well, that fight, er, the fight they had <laughs> earlier, you know. The fight against dragons they had earlier, they didn't have Malakuts to clean up the Calcut. It's oh. true. I mean, really, is Mal David That's all I hug? do! Is I either kill something in the first turn or I steal the kill at the last turn? Oh yeah. <laughs> like think back to the fucking demon in the like in the in the first incinerator game. Fucking everybody's doing their thing. I just fucking shoot it with the revolver in the fight. <laughs> Run away. Oh. <laughs> I'm back. Also, I, I Sp Spencer knows who this is, and um, Logan might appreciate it. Um, Logan, I'm gonna play a fighter because you inspired me. Oh, good. Fighters what? are fun. They're simple but fun. Yeah, Spence, I'm making Amelia a fighter. Oh, cool. I want to play her. I want to. I want to. I want to play I a battle know. master in the near future. Oh. What'd you say, Logan? I want to play a battle master fighter in the near future. Battle masters are fun. Because I like I'm the gonna... ability to like out of turn be like, you attack. I like the thought of that as well. I know she's gonna be a dex a dex build, uh, because I want to keep her being able to like move real quick and be like, what? Oh, that, that was very big too. What I was thinking. Did you just described a monk? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but she uses a sword. A Kensai monk. <laughs> but I want to play a fighter. Oh, uh, that's fair. That's totally fair. Fighters are great. Mostly because uh, uh, at the table I'd be playing at, they were like, we've never had a fighter in our party before. Dear Boozle, how did you meet the twin's <laughs> dad? Well, presumably he summoned him. Yep. My boy Malaclips, did the Dial Clan warn you about the servant's natural resistance to non-magical damage, seeing as how you're, t uh, how you're trying to kill Berserker? Who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> <sighs> oh yeah, you could be a samurai. It's true. Samurai. Uh, yeah, fighter. Maybe. Maybe. Please don't go champion fighter. I like champion fighters. Fuck off. That's a Hadricus. They are so simple. They are yep. like the the most simple of simple. <laughs> yep. 
I was thinking, because I was looking at the Wikipedia for them. There was something called Purple Dragon Knight. Oh, they're from the Sword Coast Adventure Guide. Yeah. Hmm. I have not really had the chance to look at those, uh, but they're sort of they're like, sort of similar, I guess, to regular fighters. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. But, like, when you use your second wind, you can in, uh, regain hit points. Well, good for you, but they're too fighter. boring. Love Sounds them. to me, Void, like you make boring characters, then. Oh! You're... And, guys, I'm gonna do something that I never have done before. I'm gonna try and have the backstory be, like, two sentences at most. That's good. I'm That's sorry. Right. I am a knight. You could go with, um... You could, you could, uh... Uh, go the, uh, what's it, Molly Mock way of uh, doing backstories where you just wake up in a grave and oh. with no memories of I was your, very your previous much. life. And you're just, uh, yeah. you're just walking around trying to figure out life. And that's what I was thinking as well. I was thinking of doing something that's like, I woke up and I was here and I know I'm good at fighting. But oh. at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. But, like, like, it depends what you want to do, because then yeah. part of the fun of that is, like, the DM being like, here's your fucking backstory. Yeah, because I, I always love when um, Logan or Aaron reveal things about backstories that we don't know. The mm -hmm. problem is with me is I like to color in everything mm -hmm. about my characters, so there's literally no room to do that, I feel, with a lot of mm -hmm. my characters. It's true. And so I'm trying to <laughs> hold back on that. Sure. <laughs> Logan. Oh. <laughs> Red is a tomato, you're not. Oh damn. <laughs> it's true. I'm not trust me, I'm definitely not like that. But Alright, is everybody back? Mm. Uh no. I think so? No. Is Aaron back? Aaron, are you there? Ye. Okay, cool. Aaron. Guess what? Yeah. What? Mm. No. Yo, what the shit? <laughs> Brent. Cheating on me. How dare you? Right what? in front of what? me. <laughs> no hetero! I gosh! Can't. I thought that that was obvious. Wow. Hey, Brad. Hey, Brad. Yeah. Mwah. Ooh, mwah. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that time it was definitely... Full on homo. He's pretty damn gay. <laughs> it was a good time. I'm not lesbians with you. Uh, <laughs> lesbians with you. The sad thing is, I feel oh, like I, before I, Spencer would get mad at me, Logan would punt me over into like a void that's without fair. hesitation. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Mwah. None of that bullshit! Mwah! Hey! <laughs> Hey! <laughs> it's different with Eric. Oh my god, get over here! <laughs> Fucking... Fucking <laughs> <laughs> get ready for SakuraCon 2019. I'm gonna kick your ass. Buddy. Shit. Yeah. I'm gonna that beat the chill? shit out of your mouth with my mouth. Fucking <laughs> 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 What did you say, Diko? Netflix and chill? You alright? Fuck yeah! <laughs> so <laughs> game then. <laughs> It's our game, though. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. And we're back in. Okay. They're so. Telling each other how much of the, how much they love each other. You guys just took Shut down that big old Durgan that proved to not be much of an issue on account of old monster <laughs> working. I can't believe I this cannot is the believe time that he didn't die. Yeah. Like what the fuck? I can't believe I survived. <laughs> And I can't believe one of my spells worked. <laughs> so, group, well, you're at you're at 4 a.m. I will say that, um, although I'm not going to rush you, I do want to jump back to the others soon, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to me to jump back with you guys still so far behind. Ah, hiccups, time-wise. Logan, Logan, I only say it's prudent to maybe switch back because, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be here tomorrow, uh, next week. I That's fair. Mentioned in th that, yes. Yeah, go do that. Oh, well, that's fine. I... I just don't want to hold back the party for too long, and if... <laughs> just kill Diane. My thoughts remain the same. I'd like to stick with them. You guys are currently 12 hours ahead of them. 
Very that. I feel, I feel we should probably at least get done with this conversation. Yeah. Like, the thing is with them, as soon as they start being like, we want to head out of the mountains, that forwards them by like 16 hours. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, I just don't want to hold them, uh, hold back everyone when if I can't make it next week. All right. I'm definitely going to try to. That's fair. Yeah. All right, uh, people, the dragon is down. Rayburn is once again drowning his sorrows in uh, white mint rock ale. Take it away. Cool. Dave is just sitting there on the bed. Are you sitting or laying? Sitting. You should be laying. You're still not healed. I thought... I thought we were talking... Uh, uh, yeah, you can lay down while we fucking talk, whatever. Okay... Proceeds to slowly <laughs> lay down. <laughs> Cautiously lays Cautiously down! Lays. <laughs> Pulls out butter knife! <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment! <laughs> I won't stop you. I just need to know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me! What? Oh. <clears throat> so... Is that everything you've been lying about? <laughs> he, uh... Yeah. He does that, like, looks up, like, thinking, like, is that all? Um... Hold on, I have to look through my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> inventory of I have my fucking, There's like a text document that's list of David's secrets. <laughs> like, you like, say that. It's a oh, long list. <laughs> oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> no, um... Let's see. Well, uh... I think that's it. Besides... Uh, I knew, I knew about Assassin's Identity, um, uh, for a little bit before, uh, but that's mainly it. It's the big thing. Okay. You realize that if I decide to trust you now, and I find out that you've been lying about anything else, I'm going to kill you. Yes, Out of character. Like, not in a, not in a <laughs> ha ha ha, I'm gonna kill you kind of way. I mean, I will slit your fucking throat. Yeah, I know. Out of character. I think... I don't think I'm... Ac I'm... I don't think I have any more secrets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not from Isla. Not for oh. Isla. Yeah, not for you. Oh. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. Okay. I wanted I wanted to know just in case you like you insight me. I'm like, do I have to roll deception? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh yeah. No. I'm I've I've laid everything on the table for you. I uh I don't want to lie to you anymore. So what was that? Nothing. I was out of care. <laughs> I'm. I'm very sorry. Genuinely. It was already so hard for me to believe you. Now it's even harder. I know. I don't expect you to forgive me, or even believe me, at in anything anymore. I just um, just felt like telling you. Did you know that me and Ian basically quit the war? And. A lot of that was because I found out about your sister, and I wanted to help bring her back. Hmm. I wanted to help uh, yeah. you. 
And you just... You were just waiting to kill us. I... Didn't want to kill you. I wanted you out of the war. But... Well, I mean, you got your wish. Kinda. Can't win, but we're still in the war. Yeah. It's true. So, is that the only reason you're telling me all of this? Because we don't have a servant anymore, so we're we're not in the war? It's one of the reasons. So, if we killed Archer, and we still had Assassin, would you be giving the speech to Duncan right now? No. Why not? I like you better than Duncan. I mean, why? He gave you all the tools to have a servant. Seems like he's he done a lot more for you than we have. It's true, but, um... I'm trying to think of a way to word this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> trapping you! You're all right! <laughs> Let's just say, uh, I just, I just like you better. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep, def- that's how I like you better and I'm sticking to my guns. I like you better. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> like you better. <laughs> Brad, shut up. <laughs> this, is such, this is such a slow burn. This is worse than Hadrick and Jolene. <laughs> no, it's. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> You're right. You see, they get a happy ending. <laughs> mm-hmm. I Do would... they? I'll Make say that I don't... Coat. I don't trust Duncan with my life. You've already saved me... Like, twice? In, like, in, a day? In, like, in the same day? Yeah. I don't think I get that from Duncan. Okay. Bit. Could have, uh, could have, e- could have easily let me die and uh, forged a pack with Lancer. Yeah. And we had a truce. I feel like, oh yeah, I could have done that. Stab. Oh fuck. Yo, right. Oh fuck, I could have had a Lancer team. Well, <clears throat> we did have a truce. I didn't know if it uh, extended. Um. Pass you not being masters anymore. I mean, Ian's kind of got a soft spot for you. So. Hmm. Yeah. It's true. What an idiot. Yeah, uh, no, he's a moron. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Hmm. I don't think that we should tell him about this. <laughs> Malakut is like, oh, I'm hearing mm-hmm. things I probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's dropping in like a flower bed under the window. Oh, like, what are we going to do about like, that? He actually looked character. further in, like, oh, this is cute. And then he's like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we going to do about that John character? <laughs> like, I say we murder him. <laughs> I say we murder, murder him. him with death. Um, we just hear outside of the wall, it's like, <coughs> <laughs> um, if, if you are really on our side and not Duncan's, <clears throat> then I don't want you to know about this. You sure? Because he trusted you before. Like, way before I even thought about maybe trusting you. And this is just gonna hurt him. Yeah. It's true. He's the only person in the world that I actually do fully trust, so... I don't want him to get hurt. That's fine. Shut up. (laughs) 
<laughs> Get out of here, Sean! <laughs> You're you guys are making me make a new right. skill. Hold on. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, okay. now that all the cards are on the table, we still have the same problem. What do we do now? Well, you have a meeting to get to. If you still want to go. Hmm. Uh, could, uh... I mean, if we don't go, I have no way of contacting Ian in time to let him know to not go. Not yet. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> so, we should maybe come up with some kind of plan. Yeah. It's, um... Damn. Oh, that didn't show up. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do that unless you click off. Forgot. Roll it again. Duh. <laughs> should, we, should we let Duncan still think that you're on his side? I think that's uh, I think that's the way to go. And try to get him on our side to take down Berserker. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> would appreciate it if you didn't tell him that uh, I told you this. <laughs> but she's just staring at him yeah I deserve this <clears throat> <laughs> it's probably better for all of us if he still thinks that he has the advantage at our meeting yeah what do you uh, you want me just stealthy around being invisible can he see you like do you know anything about like what duncan has like any advantages that he's got uh you don't know don't really think... anything about him yeah okay. yeah yeah don't don't have anything on him like that i don't think he can see uh, invisible things i know archer can see uh lancer if he's invisible but of a different kind. It might be servant stuff, not like yeah, it's magic things. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But can't masters it... kind of sense masters? Oh yeah, uh, can they can they sense them? If they like, look at yeah. them, yes, but they can't tell if they're like invisible. Mm. Okay, so like okay, so like they can tell if they're a lancer if they or if they're a master if they can see them. Yeah. Okay. God, I hate this war so much. Yeah. It's not... <sighs> well, it's not fun. Um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, God! <laughs> it's just Shut twice. Up, moon, moon. It's no. Moon, moon. It's but twice that... listening in on the conversation. But that's no. what it's supposed to be. <laughs> That sounds ah, like yes, a the Holy problem. Grail War. It's yeah. Definitely... Uh, Murder, death. No. Well, then I guess you might as well pack it in, everyone. No. <laughs> I'm Buddy having said it's fun. Not fun. <laughs> David said it's not fun. <laughs> so, uh, so like when they're talking about things not being fun and stuff, like right after they're talking about being invisible and shit like that, I'm just gonna mm. go. Uh, sorry. You gonna burp? Yeah. Gonna, <laughs> I think you knock on the window. Just gonna, just gonna knock on the window. Just gonna knock FYI, on the window. FYI, there's no actual window. Oh. Oh, there's not oh, a window. Like, oh. There's like a hole in the Rayburn wall. can't make glass. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I've, I've got a really good spot then. I <laughs> uh, just kind of like, kind of like is, is looking away from them, but kind of knocks on the windowsill. Yep. You like uh, listening in on our conversation? Uh, yeah. <laughs> really building up that. No wait. Well, all right. Pulls out crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> like genuinely, I'm pointing it at you. <laughs> what are you? Well, what are you listening for? Huh? Information on how to take down Berserker. Seems like you guys. Oh, we have don't a plan. have anything like that. You want to try to get this Duncan guy on your side to try to take him down. But you don't know yeah. anything about him? 
Uh, not really. Yeah, I guess. He's, uh, he's got a demon inside of him or something yeah. like that. Controlling him. It's like a patron. Controlling. Yeah. Well, not con I guess controlling is well, not technically the right word, but he, he worships and is a priest for a high priest for a demon that he basically reveres like a god. I know that he has a lot of cool shit he can do, but keeps fucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about any. I don't know about any demons, but I do know people who do know about them. Yeah. Yeah. And I just thought that. I don't know. It probably helped my chances to let you guys know that I'm here, rather than you guys find out later that I was that I understood what you said. Hmm. Doesn't change the fact that you're eavesdropping on us. Oh, completely. Yep. Understand. But your servant here, probably, he's known that I've been standing here and I've been afra too afraid to move, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. Alright. <laughs> I feel like if I get too far away from this place, I will just die, so... That was a fair assumption. <sighs> main thing I ask, or the main thing I want to say, is there are two people whom I can ask about demons or anything of that nature, if you were to try to sneak in and try to figure out anything about this Duncan person or be invisible around him, I believe I have a subset of skills that potentially could help with that and I would like to make myself useful in any way as to not be deceased <laughs> Oh my fucking god <laughs> Okay <clears throat> What, what exactly can you do? Well, I can be a fly on the wall, as we just now saw. Yeah. Of course, I'm pretty sure most people would have their eyes more open than you two. Hmm. How fucking dare you? We were going through a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, um, were going if we were to a find thing. one of my missing friends. She is a member of the Holy Church. She could tell you much more about demons than I ever could. She was a specialist brought in with me in my first mission with the Dio Clan. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> and I know that this is probably not the best thing to say to other masters, but I also could potentially ask my... I guess I can't call them employers, but people who could be of my employ any other, any other information on this Duncan fellow, if they may have got anything. I want it to be known that I am here of my own accord, not because of them. Uh, did you mention hey. already that you're part of the Dial Clan? Or he mentioned that he he mentioned that he was uh, that he was um, one of the incinerators, which you guys know to be people of the Dial Clan. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Hey. Hmm. Hey, do me a favor. Hmm. You back up a little bit. Pointing crossbow I'm at you. against a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yep, like back up away from the window. Okay. Like back, like back up. Yes, sir. A little more. Uh huh. You keep keep backing up. I'm, I'm doing still pointing the crossbow. Exactly what you're telling me to. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Keep backing up. Do I hit anything? <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, Lancer, does he? Yes. Oh, I... <laughs> okay, cool. I he's love this! Like, he's just like, I I can't. <laughs> Whispers very quietly. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think we should do? You think we should trust him? Think he can help? Think we should kill him? You know? Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> let's kill him! Let's fucking kill him! Uh... Hello, Metal Man. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I... I don't know how long this is going to take, and you are on a time crunch. That's what I was thinking. So... We might just have to, um... See what happens. Should we, like... Should we take him with us? To the meeting with Duncan? Or what should we do? Or should we, like, let him go and, like, get his people and then meet up with us later? I feel like we should... I mean, the more flies on the wall, the better. I feel like for... For your meeting. That's fair. Not but then, much of a chance he'll be spotted. I mean, like, here's the other thing. I don't know 
if Duncan knows that we don't have a servant anymore, and if we go to this meeting, he does. and he probably, but Isla doesn't know that. <laughs> no, no, that was. Oh, you're character. just saying it to me. Oh, that's yeah. fair. Okay. Um, he does. I told him. <laughs> I wrote actually... him a letter. <gasps> Did you? <laughs> oh my god, buddy! I fucking. <laughs> <laughs> now you say that, but if you recall, your shit's not getting delivered right now. Oh, right? Yeah. It's fair. Oh shit! He might not so, yeah. your, your your delivery man is in Paris currently. That's true. Oh, oh. Nice place, by the way. <laughs> you can never mind. Down. I don't not say that. <laughs> kill you yet. Hmm. I feel like if he has a way to, like, see through all of our tricks, if he finds you and Lancer and this Jean guy, he's just going to turn on us, man. Yeah. Then Archer can easily take us out. I want him to think that we have no reason to be angry at him. Well, if he does turn on us, and Ian and Diana there, it is... Five against one? That's the other thing. Oh. Wait. No, Me six. and Ian kind of told each other that we weren't going to tell you or Diane about this unless we absolutely had to. So he might try to sneak away from her to go to the meeting. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Okay. I don't know what he's going to do. What a web we weave. I love it. I love that we don't know what the fuck the other ones are doing. It's the best. <laughs> oh, love we leave when we tell our first lies. <laughs> oh, what a good quote. Oh, first. Damn. You know, being in Kong no, back I know. this long, you're, I, pretty, you're pretty, pretty solid I will dude. Put, yeah. I will put forward in the interest of getting back to the others that there's only Agreed. so much you can predict. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just hope Diane shows up. And yeah. if not, then we're just going to have to deal with it. Still four on one. So you think all of us should just go to the Duncan meeting and try and be stealthy as we can? Yeah, I'll I'll try and uh, me and John will try and keep our distance. Uh, you and Uni and can uh, have your meeting. We'll we'll be there as uh, insurance, I guess. We're not. I don't think we should plan to jump him. Okay. We'll be in the background. Mm. Okay. Well, I mean, the the meeting's tomorrow at 10 p.m. and it's it's kind of a journey yeah. to get there. So we should probably rest, and you should get healed up, and then we should head out if we're taking everybody with us. Yeah. What about call. what about Rayburn? I don't feel like he wants to leave. I can't leave. Yeah. He cannot leave. Who's everyone? He's having their own conversations. Goddamn. <laughs> Why is everyone listening in? Because <laughs> you're in a wood cabin that's 10 foot tall. Yeah. We're whispering. 15 foot <laughs> wide. Okay, we're doing the whispers. <laughs> we're stage whispering right now. <laughs> we're stage whispering. Leave, leave us alone. <laughs> it's like leaning okay. against the solid wall. You are, you are an impressive man. Fine. <laughs> Thank you, right. I guess. <laughs> I guess you can come with. We've decided to trust you for now. Are you still pointing the crossbow at him? Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> he just still We've has decided hands, to like, trust like, you, holds up crossbow. Yeah, right. <laughs> he has his hands like, up in the air, like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... If the we could pick out our seats thing sums up Ian, I feel like saying we can trust you while holding a crossbow at someone sums up Isla. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> really accurate. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hold on. I go over to the window. The fuck and I'm hold on, I'm doing a thing. Okay, fine. Move. Yeah. <laughs> I can scoot. Scoot. And I I use my shadow hand on Oh, uh, no, Sean. Good. Good. Hold on. Hmm. 
<laughs> Holy shit! It's uh, my favorite skill of yours, Malcolm. <laughs> I do. I, I I would probably notice him casting a spell though, right? Like in all seriousness, I'm not, it's not really anything. casting a spell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Especially you this late at anything. night, you wouldn't notice. No. I mean, it's technically morning. <laughs> sure. I'm playing. Why not? But no, he just yeah. kind of sits there. All right. Group. I just kind of point at him. All right. Now I'll know where you are at all times. I mean, he kind of like motions back toward the invisible person behind him. I don't think you would have had too much of a problem with that. Ah, it's just insurance, really. Listen. Limps back mm. over to bed. Ow. Listen. Uh. He says loud enough for you to still hear. I have no reason to leave you guys. You guys are my best bets at saving my friends. I thought you were going to say, you guys are my best friends. No. <laughs> you guys are my best I barely know you, but you're my best friends. <laughs> you can do no, whatever no, no. you that's want. That's Darius. I, that's fine having some sort of lock, like lock on me. I, I don't mind. But if it debilitates you in any way, I just want to let you know, even though you have a crossbow to me, <laughs> let's yeah. over at Isla. <laughs> oh, Not yeah, lowering right. it. I could have left when the dragon attacked, and you would have never found me. Yeah. Eh, it'll make right. me feel better. Okay. So, my friends. It slowly lowers what, crossbow. What is your plan? We're going to long rest, yes. and then start heading towards uh, the church, or yeah. wherever the meeting place is. Yeah, it's a trick, right? Okay. Yeah, okie dokie. That's eight hours, so that's... Two, three, four, well, five, six, seven, eight. Twelve. Eight. That takes you to uh, twelve in the afternoon for the rest. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then I'll... Oh, fuck. Yeah, because 14 hours. Travel. But... Not, inclu not including random encounters. When do you have to be at the, yeah. the church? Uh, 10 p.m. on the 26th. So an entire day. <laughs> yeah, so. it's yeah, it's still the twenty fifth, right? It's twelve p.m. on the twenty fifth. Nine, ten, 11, We could 12. probably make it back and then go meet Ian and uh, Ian and Diane. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, fourteen hours would take you to, um, two a.m. Two a.m. the next day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then we should be like eight hours early. <laughs> yeah. Could we? We just we, we could. I mean, camp out in front. I mean, if you're we meeting should. him at 10 p.m., then you would be. Yeah, 20 hours early. That's, yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. It's oh, fine. Left right. Figure out something to do. Yeah. Should we? Should we go and see if we can get Ian and Diane? I mean, the trip no. back down to Gyarnico is like another 12 hours. Yeah. Wow. Fuck that. And then okay. The, I'm yeah. All right. So, uh, I'd like everybody to roll me survival checks into the tower. Oh, everybody? Like fucking. Like all of you that are there. Everybody? Shit. Uh, that's not gonna be good. Dum da dum da dum da. Oh. Yeah. I didn't think it would be good. Don't worry. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Then let's like oh. Could I do mm -hmm. the assassin thing of being survival check on my way back oh. into the tower? Do, do, survival Logan. into the tower. Oh, uh, I'm casting invisibility on us. Alrighty, and to answer your Thank question, uh, Deco, for you as a normal person to stealth the entire way would double your travel time. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I but I could also bonus action dash the entire time, <laughs> which would break stealth. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Alrighty, so Plus you'd, you'd be exhausted <laughs> nah, I'm happy about. to say that you guys Will make it back with no major incident Yay! Oh thank fucking god uh, huh. Oh cool, I can do that on there Well, while they're traveling I want you to know Isla's way fucking colder towards you Than she was before 
Just so you fucking know. You're getting some cold shoulder shit. Oh, yeah. I can fucking- Oh, yeah. Aw, dude. It's fair. (laughs) It's fair. That's entirely fair. (laughs) Oh. All right. I'll put you guys there. All right, cutting back to the others. Are you there, others? I saw Brad just lost connection. I'm here. I'm sorry, Carrie. (laughs) I don't forgive you, buddy. (laughs) No. (laughs) I still think you're neat. I don't don't know if my trust has been violated yet. You're too neat. came clean. It's fine. Also, (laughs) just want to say, I know how much Isla loves Ian. (laughs) Shut up! <laughs> and I barely met them. You don't know Dick, okay? I know everything. Shut up! He's the only person I trust oh, in this world. I'll kill you! <laughs> Death, Hello? Wait. You're a fucking stranger hey, to me, back. man. I'll shoot you in the face. Hey, Brad, where were you? <laughs> oh, let me just, let me just My go computer ahead and, tried uh... the blue screen again, so I just... Tried. I, I... Tried to hey, hey, it, it, it like freezes yeah. instead of just going blue. It freezes first and then it turns to a blue screen. So I just turn it off in the middle of the blue screening. I'm like oh, bye, and then I turn it back on. I just it's I just rolled fun. for my dog, oh. Harry. I think it's adorable as fuck. Shut up. <laughs> Twenty three. That's pretty adorable. It's pretty goddamn adorable. No. no, none of that. <laughs> none of that. Oh, alrighty. So what are we doing? What's happening? Indeed. So you guys... Alright. You guys arrive at 6.15 to the the show. So the theater is fairly impressive for the Leventina District. Um... It, uh... It's got a... It's got a fairly large auditorium. Like, it could fit a few hundred people uh, in it, which is... How is it... uh, Sorry. How is it compared to venues you think I've performed at? Uh, compared to New York things, not well. Yeah. Like it's it's still, it, this oh. is still Levantina district. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> that said, uh, <laughs> this place is relatively packed. Um, like coming in, wow. it's very hard to find seats in here. In fact, I'd like uh, one of you to roll one d one hundred. I feel like I should roll it because it's my fault. <laughs> Go for it. How how does one roll a one be a hundred? If you right click a D ten, there's a percent button. Ah oh, yes. Okay, let's see how this goes. Ah oh, yes. Oh. All right, you guys. Magic managed... number. Uh, you guys managed to find. Uh, um, not in a particularly great spot. Like you have to. There are like balconies here. Um, like some. There's a second level of uh, seats that you guys have to go up there to find any spare seats because most people seem to prefer the ground area. Uh, you end up finding some next to some reserved seats that are not in the the best place. It's kind of off on the side, not a great view of the stage, but it, it's there, and you expect you'll probably be near some like regular patrons or whatnot. Um, can it be? Can it be so far? Bravo! bravo. Sorry. Oh. Is there anything you guys want to do while you're here, while you're waiting? Because the actual show will start in, like, 40 minutes from where you are. Hmm. Is there anything we need to do to prepare? And just to give you an idea of what this is, this is mostly a, uh, it's a concert that revolves uh, mostly around uh, pseudo-operatic music, and, uh, but Sapphire's performances have always been more uh, dance-oriented than singing-oriented. We're not 30 feet from the stage, are we? Uh, are we? You are probably like 150 feet from the no, stage. No, I can't fucking distance. cast spells on her, damn it. See, this is why we should have come early. I don't I don't <laughs> want to talk about it. You shut up now. <laughs> Silence. Here. That's easy, not. not I know. <laughs> hmm. Mm, I said I wasn't going to do anything bad during the show anyway, whatever. I'm trying to be a good person, I guess. Fuck okay. it. Oh, good. oh, oh, oh. Actually, I I'm just realized I had the spell. <laughs> that would not be, that would be fun. 
But I shouldn't cast magic in front of it. Non so, so I mean, like, what is what is the plan? Do we just watch the show? Like, are are we looking for something? Or? Uh, uh, I was thinking we could perhaps sneak backstage after the show. Pay Sapphire a visit before she goes and does whatever she does after her shows. Okay. <laughs> Could, could maybe so do that. I guess we can watch Mediocre. Yes, I mean while we're while while we're here, yes. Well, uh, we can. I think they enjoy some say entertainment. <laughs> Sorry, what? Uh, that's the thing you wanted to do. So. <laughs> yes, it. Uh, it's, it's been a while since we've uh, been able to have any fun. It, uh, this will this will be good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You you have fun. <laughs> Alrighty, I will Seems be right tense. back. I'm gonna get some water. Um, you guys think if there's anything else that you want to do during the wait. Otherwise, we can just go fast forward to the the end of it, end of the wait. Be right back. Oh, you <laughs> ever see a show like this Fucking before, weird. Ian? <laughs> My God. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, what? You ever? I'm asking, did you ever go see performances with your parents? I wouldn't be caught dead at this something? show. Oh my god. <laughs> um, with our uh, parents? Well, um, you know. I mean, that's just how I was introduced to the arts. Not, the uh, me. not incredibly often. Uh, our uh, father wasn't exactly into uh, what he would consider wasting time when we could be studying or uh, training. No, I I guess I I guess I understand that my um my father was very adamant about me learning the music, so I guess I understand to a degree. Did uh, did you enjoy the music? Uh, Mazin. Yes. Think about who you ask who you are asking about that. I want well, you to I think mean, real carefully. <laughs> are are you really asking the bard if they like music? Well, it could have been something like it could have been like Stockholm syndrome or something like. Wh it, what? It, uh, <laughs> I'm asking. Dude, fucking no. our dad taught us alchemy. Uh, we no, we <laughs> dad. So yeah. <laughs> no, Ian. Uh, it, I cannot wait until the Sorry, that's me again. brain farting. <laughs> no, Mazin, I, I love music. It's, it's beautiful. It's an art form that almost everyone can appreciate, whether you're young or old. It's constantly changing. Um, the different styles that come, um, that are coming out with, you know. <laughs> Just imagine, it's constantly changing. Suddenly steam erupts from a mist machine on the stage and ye old Skrillex, <laughs> and ye old Skrillex steps out. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you know, drop the bass! Drop the bass! Drop the bass! For, like, um, example, <laughs> with, with music changing currently, I mean, we have wonderful people writing music every day. That is changing the face of... I mean, you should see Broadway right now. They're actually writing things with stories. You know, vaudeville's falling off a little bit. Can I be the guy sitting behind them telling them to shush? <laughs> you alright? The show hasn't started yet, you bitch! Turn off your phone! <laughs> it's I, <not> fucking Beagle! <laughs> I mean, if you ask me, Ian, I think we're right at the cusp of <laughs> music changing quite a bit. Um, it, do, it does seem fascinating. It's, I agree, it's almost like its own kind of magic. <laughs> That's cute as shit. Oh my god. She's, she's gonna <laughs> smile and just look at the stage waiting for You guys uh, hear your... You hear the lights go down. Um, the lights <laughs> in this place. <laughs> 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 oh, I, th I think that was the lights. <laughs> the lights. <laughs> You she guys. doesn't mean to, but when the lights go down, Diane does look excited. <laughs> uh, Diane looks pretty excited too. 
It's the atmosphere of the theater, man. You don't understand. As it's going oh. down, as it's going down, you do hear like a, a variety of like people being shushed in different parts of the audience, uh, as well as in particular from up behind you. You, uh, you notice that people of like as the lights go down, people come in. They seem to take their seats at the last minute, uh, and you do. See, we weren't the latest. Um. So the performance itself, like I said, is mostly a uh, it's mostly a dance routine. Uh, it's effectively a play, um, a, a dance heavy. Well, it's basically ballet and opera together. When you get right, right ah. down to it, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, Sapphire. It doesn't take long for you to uh, see Sapphire Rose take the stage, and she actually. I'm going to share a picture of her, even though you guys have seen it. Oh, that's that's hella zoomed in for some reason. I don't know if it <laughs> did that for you wow. guys. Wow. I love all She's those pixels. Whoa. She's <laughs> look at all the pixels. <laughs> look at all the pixels. What the heck happened? I mean, Reset. it's not one singular there. pixel. So. And she has multiple. Every layers, time I guys. try to like change it at all, it like super zooms. What the? That is weird. One single pixel. There. <laughs> Carrie knows. Don't Carrie forget. knows the magnificence of one pixel. It's beautiful. <laughs> Small size. Did I fix it? Oh, no. and Eric. Eric was there for that, too. Yes, Eric also knows it. Good, good. What the heck is going on? It was on exactly the same. Fix this fucking picture, man. <laughs> Resize, original size. In any case, um, and basically, same outfit. Uh, only major difference is the scarf that she has, like, wrapped around her arms and whatnot. She's got, like, a uh, uh, two of those on. One of them is very long and has a floral pattern on it. And um, the dress, she's wearing a dress that's akin to the uh, red part of her, uh, the red and copperish colored part of her outfit um, that covers up more of her legs. She comes out and she gives a fairly enthusiastic um, speech, just thanking everybody for coming, thanking them for their ongoing patronage. Calls out a few people in the audience uh, who uh, she says that she recognizes and thanks them again specifically. She seems genuinely grateful for everybody there. She seems. Uh, relatively cheery. I'm gonna go ahead and roll for her a womp. All right. Um, genuinely cheery. What a bitch! I'm going to roll Damn. my. Gonna roll a perception check on her part to see if she can. Yep, she seems to take a second to uh, look around. Other actors taking the stage with her, which is unusual. Normally, this kind of thing happens after shows. Um, Diane, I'd like you to roll me Arcana. Oh. Oh my god. Arcana. Arcana. So, okay. you can tell as she's talking, um, she doesn't seem to be putting a lot of effort into doing it, but you can tell that um, there is some sort of magical effect like weaved into her words. As she talks to the crowd, you find everyone, including yourself, uh, including Ian, though Ian doesn't recognize it immediately, are becoming like more interested and enthused at the performance. Like, everything else almost seems to be peeling away more until your vision only seems to be the actual stage itself with everything in the darkness oh of the stands God. almost not existing. Um, this isn't anything like when um, I sing, right? No. No, not at all. But it's all very subtle. You also notice, and you've seen her, you've seen her perform before, like, maybe once or twice. After yeah. this happens, she has this, like, almost radiant glow to her. This very, very soft one. Huh. Um, she's an ASMR. Get her. You know for a fact that she's not, but she does seem to have one as if she uh, she was. It reminds you of a certain quality you had before, you know, yeah. things happened. Bitter, bitter, bitter. Ugh. But I'm it's something now. that she probably shouldn't have, something angelic about her that she shouldn't have. Um, That's weird. That's weird. She's just, she's, she's going to debate, like, nudging Ian out of it. And she's gonna try to reject it as Whoa. much herself. Fantasy Grounds, what are you doing? Having fun. That's what Fantasy Grounds is doing. Fantasy Grounds is being weird. You ever consider you're the weird one? Perish. Huh? Hmm. Perish. Hmm. Weird. Uh, soon after the actual performance begins, uh, it the initial, uh, the initial act of this, uh, this play, which appears to be a fairly, by our modern standards, uninspired love story, effectively just Diet Shakespeare, but for this particular- Basically what most shows were back then? Yeah, but for this time period, it was 
It was pretty inspired, especially to the people of the Levantina district who haven't really encountered much in the way of the arts. Where's your butt? Yeah, this is this would be like around the time that. Yeah, yeah, this was not a good time for musical theater. There seem to be some other uh, men and women that are clearly not from the Levantina district that are also acting in this thing. Um, she, like, you can tell, like, by the way they dress and by the outfits that this is all clearly very American-inspired, and a lot of the actors do seem to be more, uh, uh, American than around here. They don't have distinct qualities one would come to associate with the Levantina district, the certain ruggedness that comes with farm life. Um, uh, is there anything that you guys want to do during the first hour of the performance? Hmm. Huffly watch. <laughs> Unimpressed. Huffly. Huffly. <laughs> Can you describe Huffly? Hmm. <laughs> Give me a definition a, of what the word Huffly means. You call that a pure wet? I could do that in my fucking sleep. Damn. <laughs> you could get your leg harder than that. I just think that they're not trying very hard. You know, they're not trying very hard. Better, 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 better. Bitter, yeah, pretty bitter, much. Bitter, 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 bitter. bitter, bitter. <laughs> also, but I will say that she's focusing on Sapphire's expression, especially since Cybele said that she was a little sad. See if anything's causing that. Um, roll me insight into the tower. Yeah. Okay. I'm not great at that. Oh, come on, please. Roll well. You don't pick up on anything like that. She seems happy. Uh, Sapphire has always sold herself on being someone who's incredibly enthusiastic and, uh, and enthusiastic and welcoming. Um, she tends to be seen as, like, kind of perfect in the eyes of most of her audience. A ball, so of, a fake. regular ball of sunshine, and that's so exactly what she fake. seems to be. Uh, if Diane wants to believe that, sure. Yeah. Well, I got this tip Nobody from Slyville. That just enforces it. <laughs> uh, Never Ian, fully dressed without a smile, you know? Ian, Ian, is there anything that you want to do during the first hour of this performance? Um, you said I was kind of, like, under the spell? Uh, you are definitely infatuated with it. You are not, like, um, charmed or anything. But if you let yourself get sucked into the performance, you find it very easy to, like, basically see nothing else. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got yeah, if, 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 uh, if Ian, <laughs> yeah, I, I think at least for the start of it, Ian's just kind of watching the watching the performance and uh, not really paying attention to anything else because he's not really noticing the the magic. Alrighty. By the time the first uh, act of this thing ends, the first hour of the performance, uh, you guys. Uh, seeing how you didn't do anything in particular, um, the lights go back up partway through, and an intermission, intermission. is called. Yep. Uh, you guys will have 20 minutes during that period to do basically whatever you want to do. There is a restaurant attached to this place where you can, um, get drinks that you can ask to be brought to you and whatnot, like wine and whatnot. Uh, beyond that, I'd like a perception check from both of you. Yeah. What kind of perception? Uh, it would be based off of, uh, yeah, hearing's fine. So yeah, advantage for you. Huh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel like Diane just super fairly hyper aware because this is making her nervous. <laughs> All right. Um, if I pick up on anything. You else? notice the people that were sitting in behind you, um, Seem to have left before the intermission. Hmm. Because by the mm. time the lights go up and you'd like mm. turn to see it, they don't. They appear to not be there anymore. Well, that's rude. First off, you never leave mid-performance if you think it's garbage. Did someone leave? Yeah, the people behind us. I wonder what their deal was. Hmm. By the way, she's used. Mm -hmm, I should whisper this to you. Lean, whisper, whisper. By the way, she's using magic. If you couldn't pick that. 
Oh, oh yes, uh, the, the, of course, I, I know. I'm just trying to make it... I'm just well, reminding you, because, you know. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, th yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, you were sitting on the edge of your seat there. During the whole... Yeah, I mean, you know, you gotta, you know, get trying to blend into the crowd, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. <coughs> uh. Do you... Do you want a drink? Sure, that sounds good. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. It's a... We go to get drinks. La, 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 la. Alrighty. Uh, the selection is not as grand as you would hope to expect. It's pretty much, um, they have they they don't have a large variety of wine. I Logan don't know a whole lot about wine, so I'm not going to get into brand names. Um, but um, it definitely doesn't amount to what you would expect from uh, from New York. Uh, what you do I notice, and uh, I'd like you both to roll investigation. <laughs> Yeah! All right, You're, that's definitely high enough to notice it. Where are you? I need to get the name oh. of it because it's important. Oh. Where are you? The die cats. High end signature. Okay, you guys remember that the Die Cats had a signature drink that was called Gaybolg? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, do you yeah. guys remember what happened, uh, what the situation with it was? No. Oh, no. oh, oh, he doesn't have it because the drink, it's not being imported to him anymore. Is yep. it here? The Leventina Hearth Brewery, which is located in Sobrio, which is up to the north of Yorniko. Um, yeah, the shipments seem to have simply yeah. straight up stopped. You do notice, however, that it seems to be something you can order from here. Jack stealing it, the fucker! I'm gonna kill him! Ah! <laughs> I, no, that's that's bread. I hate Jack, not as much as Diane, because man, that boy cute. But <laughs> I, for one, love him. You shut the fuck Me up. Me too. Stop. <laughs> Jack, I got cool. Uh, I did. I've heard stories about his performances. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have, but <laughs> I hate you. Um, Diane's gonna like look fairly pained as she goes up to the bar to do this. Okay. Okay, I can do this. Okay. Okay. Um. Do you have anything um non-alcoholic? Oh, honey. <laughs> a lot, to be honest with you. Uh, we got uh, juices, if that does you in. Do you have cranberry juice? Cranberry juice? Yeah. Yeah, I guess we do. Can you put some uh, seltzer in there? <laughs> some what? They had seltzer back then, didn't they? Yeah, I just, I thought I heard you say salsa. So, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> what a strange thing to ask for! <laughs> well, absolutely, no problem. Okay. Um, the amount okay. that any, like, uh, if you were to ask what to um, pay for it, he would inform you that the price of most drinks, except for some high-end ones, are covered by the ticket cost. Oh, thank grit. Yeah, grit. so... Uh, yeah, just hard so. out for money. Come just so down. I know, um, what what are your high end drinks? No, uh. I, no, you know, you know, I don't want them though. I'm, I'm going. Mm, okay. <laughs> this is what twenty charisma looks like. <laughs> you may Perfect. not like it. This is, <laughs> this is what someone who binge drinks all the time, ordering a non-alcoholic drink, looks like. Whatever you want to color it as. Oh Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get out there, you do that. Uh, the next act of the show approaches. Oh, I should have gotten something. Do you think I have time to run back and get something? No, no. I said I was going to do it. I mean, going to do it. I mean, it's about to start, but, uh, but uh, okay. No, 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 I'm going to sit here. It's going to be fine. I don't... <laughs> She's gonna like it's settle like, in her seat. 
<laughs> I'll assume I got some regular drink. Like, do, do you want mine? It, I, it has alcohol in it. I not in don't offer. Uh, I'll take a sip. <laughs> I just hand it to her, not expecting to ever see it. <laughs> it's baby steps. It's baby steps, okay? I'm not no. having three of these, so it's better. Shut up. Proud of you. No, alrighty. No, don't do that. <laughs> so, second, uh, you guys going for the second act. Once again, there's no major introduction this time. The, uh, lights go down again. Uh, as the lights go down, you notice the seat next to you, which was reserved, but nobody has taken it. Um, you see somebody that's, uh, like, behind you guys, uh, seems to put their feet up on the seat. Uh, and they lean back in theirs. So you just got, like, a <sighs> pair of shoes hanging out next to yours. Somebody. Is it, is it, mm, hmm. Who's it next to? Why don't you which roll me I? 1d100? Okay, cool. So Ian would be the one to uh, okay, it'd be next to. Mm. Okay, cool. <sighs> As the show begins once again, everything seems to fade away. I'm gonna roll another performance check to see how good this second half is. I hope I get high so y'all get to be entertained. Whank. It was pretty good. It would have been a good night for oh, Diane wait. for tips. Mm. The second half is incredibly melodramatic. Uh, the performances are fine. Once again, Sapphire is fairly radiant. Um, this uh, you kind of catch on that this is effectively Romeo and Juliet with the roles reversed, so that Juliet is a more dominant character. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and by the end of the play, everything turns out completely fine. There's not much of a tragedy to the entire to the storyline. Everything just works out because the power of love says that it does. Uh, yeah. that, that's, that's legitimately yeah. sounds like 1920s musical yeah. theater. Despite intellectually being <laughs> aware Assassin that... stands up, bravo, bravo! <laughs> <laughs> shut up, you're dead. No, <laughs> well, shut up. Us all. Despite, <laughs> despite being intellectually aware that this, uh, this play is rather pandery. You find yourselves taken in by it. You you enjoy it on an emotional level, at least. Okay. Okay. It was okay. After the show, Sapphire once again comes out, gives another uh, thank you to the crowd along with the rest of the cast. They do the customary bow to the entirety of it. Uh, by this point, we'd be at... Uh, Time-wise, you guys were at six... You'd be taken uh, to, let's see, there was an hour, started at 7, 20 minute intermission. It's about 9.20 by this point. It, is there a standing ovation for the show? Would you say? Yes, from the, the crowd absolutely loves the, uh, loved it. Uh, as the they're all applauding and the actors are still on stage, Diane's going to get up and start trying to get Ian to leave with her. All right. All right, let's go. Yep. All righty. So, are you guys going to be attempting to get in backstage? Yeah, I'm, and if I can, I'm gonna cast Greater Invisibility on both of us. Oh. Before. Alright. Alright, so... Uh, you absolutely can. Idea. So I'd like both of you to roll me stealth with advantage. Not that it's absolutely really necessary because you're invisible, but I just want to have the rolls. And please do it INTO THE TOWER! Uh, wait, I gotta, I gotta oh, take yeah. off the spell slot. Spell Secret. slot's fourth oh. level. I think it's fifth level if I do. Okay, okay. Dip, 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 dip. It'd be fifth level if I'm casting it on both of us, right? I uh, believe. What level that? spell is it regularly? Four. Then it would be fifth. Probably. Okay. As long as it can be cast at a higher level, which I'm pretty sure it can. So stealth into the tower? Um, You or a creature you touch. Uh, you'd have to cast it. You can't. Greater invisibility only works on one person. What? It has no at higher level. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <gasps> well, uh, wait, I can't cast it on Ian. I can only cast it on myself. You can cast it on either of you, um, but only one of you. Okay, um, I'm casting I it on cast Ian. I can cast it on myself. Oh. Well, this is. Or I could do, like, Pass Without a Trace. Uh. <laughs> How long does that take to cast? I mean, I'm not too worried about me being invisible. As well, uh. No, Both you know what? Acts. Why don't we cast invisibility on ourselves? How does that go? How about that? No. Sure. Yeah. 
All right, I'm doing greater invisibility on the sail. So you don't Doesn't have... Doesn't it only last, like, a minute? So is... That e, it does. Is Ian oh. casting that, then? I we actually might want to go with Pass Without Trace, because that oh. lasts an hour. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to make invisibility your permanent distillation? <laughs> oh, I'd be so good. No! I mean, that'd be fine for me, except I couldn't attack if necessary. Hmm... Alrighty. So then, uh... I'd... Pass without a trace? Alright. Like... Then I'd like another yeah. one of those uh, stealth checks from... Uh, Diane, I still need one with... Ah, it yeah. wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be advantage now. Both of you add the 10 okay. to your stealth, and then um, both of you roll another stealth check into the tower. So do I just put a uh, plus, uh, plus 10 into the modifier window? Uh, is there effect to be applied from the spell, Ian? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just targeting, just... uh... Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay, now both of you roll those into the thing, not with advantage. Okay, uh... Oh, yeah, Boots of Elven Kind. You just have advantage on that. Yep. All right, and you... Damn! I picked oh, yeah, my... I the... Most of my yeah, items very well. As well. Good no. call. All right, so guys, you would be able to find your way backstage pretty easily. People don't really seem to pay attention to you as you go back. Even the security of the place seems enthralled by the concert. Um, what would you like to... Uh, what would you I'm like? looking for Sapphire's changing room. All right. Roll me investigation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shut up! Sure. Have <laughs> me roll. <laughs> yeah, that was what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love Diane so much. <laughs> yeah, that's not Diane reacting that way to needing to roll. That's bread. Diane doesn't know she was asked to roll. Yeah. Um, but uh, you you managed to find it with um with relative ease. Okay. Has she gone back in there yet? Uh, as of this moment, no. She appears to still be outside. Uh, can we wait? Do you think there's a way for us to stealthily hang out here? Yeah, Until you guys could. Visible. You guys. Cool. Oh wait, no, you're, no, you're not. They're not invisible. Okay. You guys could try to hide in the area. You could try to hide in the room. The room's oh, yes, currently the room's like currently locked, mind you. Oh, damn it! Uh, and I can't... Do I have thieves tools? I don't think I do. You have dimension door. Uh, yeah, but I want to wait to use that one, boy. You do not have thieves tools. I don't no. I don't believe and Ian I, does. I don't want to no. risk it. The people with t thieves tools are off. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the point, what? let's... Oh, <laughs> let's... Let's just... Wait... I think I... that we can manage this. <laughs> yeah, just uh, just wait here. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Alright. If you both roll those stealth rolls, one sec, I'm going to... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to go ahead oh, and God. check passes. Oh, God. Can we specify that Diane's staying relatively close to Ian so that if need be, she can grab him by oh, the collar and flip out? No. No! Oh no. You guys start to hear voices coming from like, uh, there's like a, a hallway leading back out to uh, the theater area. Um, there's like a twist and a bend before it actually gets back out to where they'd come from. I'd like both of you to roll perception. You hear voices coming from down there, but I want you to roll to see if you can discern like what they're saying. Okay, so hearing. <sighs> Damn it! Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's not hey. bad. That's not bad. It's good. It's good. It's good. I forgot I had a plus seven in it. Wow. So you hear coming from down there. Um, before it gets too close, you catch the broad strokes of the conversation. You hear a female voice saying that she's uh, incredibly happy at the success of the show and the performance. You immediately catch on that sapphire that you're hearing coming that way. Uh, her voice is relatively distinct. Um... Then you hear a male voice talking to her. Uh, Sapphire appears to be talking about how 
again, she likes the show. She's very happy with the success. Then she starts to express that uh, she'd like to move on from things, and she's wondering how uh, how long they have to be in the area. And the male voice that you hear coming from down there starts just reassuring her that like stardom has to start somewhere. And oh no, <laughs> she's uh, she's doing really good here, and uh, they're making a lot of money, and they basically. Uh, insinuates like in the Levantina district is under our thumb at this point uh, eventually they come down the hallway uh, you see uh, uh, how to handle this describe how you're <laughs> hiding it's a hallway with a couple of doors leading to different changing rooms with one big changing room down at the end oh god uh, uh, Mo just, uh, uh. unlike Sapphire's room um the other ones mostly have like uh, curtain doorways as opposed to proper doorways. Uh, curtain. Behind curtain. Alright. Yeah, it's probably don't have a lot of other options in trying a curtain. Alright, hiding behind it then. Uh, you see the vague shapes of people walking by the curtains. Uh, a black suited man. You hear the foot, uh, several more footsteps coming from down the hallways. Some people seem to walk to it and then stop there. You hear the fiddling of keys and the opening of the door, and these two people continuing to talk as they move into Sapphire's room, and then the door uh, closes behind them. Damn it, damn it. Diane, roll wisdom. <laughs> Just wisdom? Just wisdom. Okay. Ah! Oh, damn! Oh, bitch! <laughs> oh, no! Ooh. Oh! You undeniably oh, no. recognize the voice of Jack Blackwood as they pass by the ah! curtain. She's just gonna step in. Oh, shit. Step into where? Stiffen. Just oh, stiffen. All the, like, her, her expression was serious at first, but it slips into... You can't really place a finger on it. It's... A flash of like sudden anger and hurt and almost maybe even loneliness. Any fear in there? Oh no. shit! A yeah, a bunch. Yeah. Did we duck behind the same uh, curtain? If you wanted Did to, we? she said she was uh, like sticking really close to you, so I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. All right. Just like giving her a look, like okay, clearly something's wrong, but it's like you gotta keep quiet, Wait, but keep keep composed. How are you standing? Are you like shoulder to shoulder or like face to face? They're in like proper changing rooms, so. Ah, damn. Okay. Shit! 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 What the fuck am I gonna do? I didn't think you would come. Of course you would. Fucking stupid, stupid, stupid. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's fucking him. Talk? Yes! Who else would I be fucking talking about? Shit, I should have fucking taken the drink. I should have done something. What the fuck am I gonna do? Okay, we gotta be quiet. Just let him pass. Yeah, like I said, they went by, they went into Sapphire's changing room. And she's gonna, like, peel back the curtain slightly to watch at the door. Uh, peeling back the curtain and looking down the hallway, the door is closed again. Um, it appears to be opened by, like, just a crack. Uh, the other end of the hallway, there appear to be, uh, two men you recognize as members of the Merry Men. Like, you don't recognize the people specifically, but you recognize the way that Jack's gang dresses at the very yeah, least. Yeah, I do. Uh, are guarding their backs or to where you are, but they seem to be guarding the end of the hallway. Just standing there, uh, talking amongst themselves. One of them has a drink in their hand. Tacky. Tacky. Fucking... He always made them wear those stupid outfits. Uh, Jack's men, I guess? I just want to put them in a bar and burn it down. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're called the Merry Men. How fanciful. <laughs> yep, his fantasy is what bullshit he spews. I see he's got her wrapped around his finger. 
And she's like quietly seething at this point. What 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 do you what do you want to do? Like he's, he's right there. He's right there. I could do something and I, I we could take Sapphire but I mean is, is, is Sapphire even like you know, a bad guy? Like, is she a victim? I'm, I'm, I, I know she is. She has to be. I mean, he was talking to her just the way he used to talk to me. Straight for the top. Just as long as he kept raking in the dough, we could be happy. I wonder how long until he finds someone better than Sapphire, and he can just throw her away like she never fucking mattered. It's not okay. Yeah, no shit. Why do you think I'm here? Trying to stop him. It's a cycle. It's disgusting. I, I mean... We can't exactly just start a battle in the middle of... I, I, I know, but that's why I'm pissed he's here. I was hoping I could talk to her and... tell her just how much of a fraud he is. Maybe... Okay, um, what if... What, what, what can you tell me about Jack? Maybe I can lead him away long enough for you to... No, you're not doing that. You're not putting yourself in danger like that. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you hey. realize where we are? I'm already in danger. <laughs> I have never stopped being in danger since the well, second I, I know that, but at least if I'm at this arm's length away from you, I can get you out of here. Do you know how much? I can't be the cause of yet another person's death. We've had enough fucking death for a while, and there's plenty more to come. Okay, and I don't want you to be a casualty of my pursuit of closure. Hey, if I die, it'll be because of my decisions. That's not on you. If you're doing it and to help just... me. Well, that's still my choice. Now, what can you tell me about him? Because I'm going to go out there either way. And it'd be better to have some information rather than just, you know, winging it. You know how good I am at that. I really don't like you thinking about you doing anything socializing. Fine. 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 Um. Uh. What can I think? What can I think? Uh, what would I know about Jack? What would help in this situation? Hold on, let me pull up. Um. He... I guess he was like a manager of mine. I, I guess. Um. He. He likes dr drinking. Um. He smokes. He. He's always looking for more talent, more. More finances to help him in the Merry Men. Okay. Looking always for a foot up. Any way he can crawl up higher and higher. Okay, uh, so like he might, he's always on the lookout for more girls? Anyone to take advantage of, I assume. Okay, maybe Ian, I can work with him. Uh, is there a piano nearby? Shooting uh, talent. Um, <laughs> damn! Uh, hey. Logan, is there is there anything in specific I would know about Jack that would come to mind in this situation? Uh, nothing that I could provide you with, I don't think. He has a weird sense of humor, I suppose. I don't know. But he's always looking for something more to steal, ransack, um, take advantage of. Okay. Um... <laughs> Right, I think I can work with that. Be careful, he's very charming. I know you 
think I'm joking, but he pulls the wool over people's eyes very easily. He's a regular cake walker. Do drop walks takes on him. all those cakes. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I think it'll be okay. I mean, been hanging around you for a while. I'm used to charming people. Oh. You are an idiot eating the Kraken. But good luck. <laughs> I smile and uh, walk out of the uh, the, the curtain. And I'll uh, walk toward the bodyguards. Okay. Oh, no. no! Why are you going over there? Do it! Do it! Uh... <laughs> oh, Ian, we're supposed to have you back here anyway! Are you trying to be stealthy? Yeah. Uh, no, more like I'm trying to look natural, dead. like I'm like just I can. someone who wandered in, like looking for someone. Oh no. Oh, okay. Walking okay. towards them, these uh, two men that you now see are armed. Um, you they turn notice. back and they shoot you. <laughs> one of them is actually carrying a uh, a rifle. The other one you see as a handgun, um, tucked into his belt. Uh, they, as they're, you're walking towards them, they both turn, and they see you, and one of them, like, regards you for a second, looks back, then looks back at you. What are you doing in there? Hmm? Oh, sorry, I, I got kind of lost. Um, I'm, I'm looking for, for someone, no uh, accent. uh... Nice, uh, Ian. Uh, no Jack? <laughs> what? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> um... I, I heard uh, J uh, Jack Blackwood might be around here. And what if he is? I want to talk. I want to uh, talk to him. Um, I have I have a friend who uh, is interested in. Uh, s s she's maybe got some talent that he might be interested in. Oh fuck! I'm gonna prepare a spell from uh, the clothing thing in case this doesn't go well. <laughs> If you're looking to audition, then go through the proper channels. You can talk to the people out front about that. You shouldn't be in here, though. Sorry, I'm sorry again. I, I got incredibly lost. I, I didn't see a sign. Um, there's someone out front I can talk to? Yeah, talk to the people that run the theater. They'll direct you where you need to go if you want to audition any talents, but we're not really looking for new performers. Fucking send your demo reel to this email address, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll um, make sure to look at it later. Avoid yeah. eye contact. <laughs> 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 is there is there any possible way? Like she's only in town for tonight, and she was really hoping to to get a meeting with him. Um. Diane's gonna peek outside of the dressing room curtains. As you do, they seem to be slowly growing more hostile towards Ian. Kid. No means no. Oh, Take a Mason, hint. Wait. Uh, and she's gonna head over it. Cast Charm Person! <laughs> what? I'm gonna try and cast Charm Person on these people. Oh, shit. We are gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and roll one d100 for both of them to see if they are people that were with the merry men when you were. I'm. I'm in disguise oh. though. I'm like. I'm have my true. blonde hair and everything. And that is definitely like something they'll have to roll against. <laughs> yeah. That are one. you proficient with disguise kits? Yes. One Good. of them. <laughs> go ahead and roll me your disguise kit. Uh. Shit. What the fuck? Oh no! Oh, Diane, no! <laughs> Diane! <Well. laughs> yeah. yeah, you're fucking dead. Oh. Her fake nose just... <laughs> oh no! As you Diane! rush out, as you rush out, a hook from what the curtain catches on your wig and pulls it off you as you move out. Oh! <laughs> The one, no. the one with no. the handgun, his eyes go wide as the other one's like, Miss, what are you doing? And the other one's hand comes up and puts it on his shoulder. Diane? Uh, it's been a oh. long time for sure, hasn't it, boys? Oh, fuck, oh my god. Jack, you're gonna want to come out here! 
I'd love to stay in chat, but really, I have things to do and better things to be. And she's going to point, uh, run down to where Ian is, point her finger at the door that Sapphire and Jack are at, and cast uh, Synaptic Static. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. That bitch is getting the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hurt some bitches? What's the range on that? Um... I'm so scared. It's 120 feet. I know, like, uh, oh. what's the radius of, like, the effect? Uh... It's like 20 foot uh, 20 radius, foot! Yeah. Alright, and, uh, this, it doesn't say anything about creatures you can see. Each creature in 20 foot radius. Yeah. And oh. I'm aiming it, like, for the door. Or, like, inside, like, that crack. Right at the crack. To, so, like, pfft. <laughs> you said crack. Well. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why don't I targeted them for you? Go ahead and roll that. Oh God. Oh boy. It's been a good game with you. <laughs> this was. I could have made this more peacefully. <laughs> it's Jack Man. Well, good job with that. Uh, go ahead and roll the damage. Oh no, this isn't gonna go well. Do it, come on, do it. Alright. a lot of sixes. As you use that, oh you hear a God. yelp come from inside as well as a- yeah! Um, and then you just hear very quick like, Sapphire! Sapphire, are you okay? Oh! <gasps> <gasps> oh! you do? <laughs> Diane! The door. <laughs> she was the victim. The door. <laughs> the door. Uh, a couple seconds later, the door bursts open, and uh, dimension door, dimension door, dimension door. You see this lovely man. Yeah. He's so hot. Oh. Lovely man aiming it. A very unhappy expression on his face, uh, holding a revolver in his hand, aiming straight forward out towards you. Who the fuck? Diane. Dimension door. <laughs> it's... Were well, you the one that did that? Go ahead and try to shoot me. That, that is the, probably the least of the harm you've done. That's... Nice. Whoa. Hi, British! What the fuck? It's okay, charisma. you're freaking out. What are you doing? <laughs> 20 charisma. My, my body's shutting down. I'm an inspector hound. Simon, I will kill you for this, Simon Gascoigne. I was doing that's how I felt earlier. I didn't know what the fuck to do. Are you- He like points back into the room. Are you the one that did that? She's just gonna stare stonily. Why, Di? I understand you've had your problems with her, but she's- She didn't deserve to get attacked like- Are you having- Do you- You're having trouble finding work, aren't you? <sighs> ah. My fucking God. You don't need to assassinate the competition, I Diane. I wasn't trying to hurt her. I was. I... Look, do you need uh, money? Is that what you want? No, I don't <laughs> fucking need your. Oh is is she okay? I. Yeah, she's fine. She's just <laughs> dumb as dumb as a doornail for the for a few minutes. But look, boys, put your. It's Diane. Put your weapons down. All right. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why is he making Sorry. like this? <laughs> it's hungry. almost like you've been overreacting this entire no, no, time. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this aside, it's great to see you. <laughs> are you what are you doing in the Levantina oh. district? <laughs> oh my god. I believe everyone that this is what 20 charisma looks like. <laughs> Um, he walks over to you and like puts I one of his just... hands on your shoulder, assuming that you don't stop him, which I feel don't like you will. Fucking touch me! There it is. Oh, there you go. Yep. Mm -mm. <sighs> you like sl you bat his hand away as he comes near you. It... Are you okay? What the hell? You throw me out of my own goddamn home with not a sing- Mum's a fucking word! And then you're going to try and act nice to me. You're going to act like I'm the problem here. What the fuck?! Is that what this is about? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> my god! Um... Diane. 
don't. I was in a rush to get on with some things that I had to do. And I... Oh, I'm very sorry so... that I wasn't able to say goodbye properly. Oh, so I just got thrown away into an alley by your fucking merry men? That's how you treat someone you were with for fucking seven years? Uh, that's not exactly what I told them to do, and I'm very sorry that's what happened, but by the time I heard about how they threw you out, I... You were nowhere to be found. No oh, shit, I was nowhere to be found. I... I... I didn't know what to do. Well, <laughs> the important thing is that now it's all out in the open, and we can put this all behind no, us. No, 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 wait, there is so much, do not give me, hmm, what are you doing with, fuck, what the fuck are you doing with Quantavius McCracken? How do you know that name? Doesn't fucking matter how I know that name. Okay. I made the correct decision of giving up the tickets. Yo, you so fucking. <laughs> what? <laughs> you think I'm clueless to what's been going on? After you met Quistus and Quantavius, all of a sudden I was on the out. What the fuck did you think I should expect? Well, I mean, she was very persuasive. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm sure she was, Jack. Especially with your lack of you know. Look. It didn't Can seem like you really enjoyed our sooner. lifestyle. In my opinion, in my opinion, you didn't enjoy our lifestyle. That's because what I you... saw. I saw that you were unhappy. So I thought... That it was a good opportunity to let- If, look, if I'd known that you wouldn't have found any other gigs, then I would have sent you away with some- I, I was fine! To help. I've been very successful, actually. Actually, Jack. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I... to hear it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're glad. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that you're successful. Yeah, great. I am. Bottom, yeah. bottom of my heart. I'm very uh, happy with- Why, I'm why sure. do I not believe you? Why? why does no one roll No, I believe you! Check? You are a I talented, so beautiful much. woman, no, and I have absolutely- Alright, you're Jack. not a talented, beautiful woman. No! <laughs> what do you want me to say?! Oh, I don't know what the fuck I want you to say, you fucking- I'm just imagining <laughs> Ian just looking back and forth. No, <laughs> yeah. You couldn't just tell me? I got nothing, man. <laughs> oh. You couldn't even just tell me you didn't have time to. Did you, did, what was your thought process on that one, Jack? Yeah, explain that one to me. Well, admittedly, I was sort of in a rush to get on with the job that I, I'd been offered to do, yeah? and I may have overlooked one oh, or two things. I'm so glad you got that great opportunity. Yeah, great. Good job. Listen. Wait for you. No, go ahead. Listen, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Huh. But I feel like you're Sorry. not really here to have a conversation about this. Well, now you're I'm coming off. He puts his hands up. Look, you're coming off as a bit hostile. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't know what to expect going in here. I was so ready to just fucking. <sighs> okay, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't fucking t I'm fine. More to the point, why are you in the Leventina district? And why, why do, you do you know the name Quantavius? Why do you care? You didn't well, care enough to say Well, the goodbye. main reason is you just, uh, you just rendered Sapphire catatonic. So that's, that's the first thing that has well, me you know, concerned. I didn't expect <laughs> that the second, was... the second thing is you got past them, which means that you were probably in here before we got here. Is what I'm thinking. So, I'm thinking this was an ambush? Jack. Yeah. Jack. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest with you, yeah. No shit. So... How do you know? Are you here to... Oh my god. No. Oh, I understand. No. He puts his hand on his forehead. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, yes, but that's besides the point. 
You think that I'm with Sapphire now and you came to kill no! her, didn't you? No! <laughs> <laughs> I would not wish that, Mr. <laughs> Look, we're not involved. If it makes you feel better, oh. we're not involved. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. Ian's like looking at Diane like, is that oh, why we're here? I think so. <laughs> I hope you look. Know. I'm look just acting as like an granted. agent for her. That's it. Yeah, you were my agent too. And then what happened? And then I we had a difference in career yeah. paths, and we went different ways. <laughs> well, excuse me if I don't want to constantly be stealing things. Why did the bar here have a drink that is specific to the die cat meow? You want to talk to me about it. that? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> because I heard that it was the best drink that exists in the Levantina district and is brewed locally, so we're stealing it. Obviously. Why? What you want to do that? Diane, do you remember what we did? Yes. Yeah, I, I get that that's your thing. I understand that, but... Oh my god. No, wait, you never answered my question. What are you doing with Quantavis McCracken? Well. What are you doing being involved with what he's doing? Which okay. I, I don't know if All you right. know, but. Okay. I'll tell you. And this may be a lot. So mm. he like goes into a room, pulls out a chair and puts it in the hallway. You may, if you feel the need, if you're I, faint I'm of good. heart, you, might, you need to sit. No, you, I'm good. Into yeah. that chair you go. Just fucking say it. If you need a drink after this, just, oh, if you need a drink, I'll get you a no, drink. You know, I'm actually this is going drinking. to be a lot. I'm I'm good. All right. I, 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 I'm uh, taking I'm, over I believe you. you. I believe you're good. Um, but but if you need it, <laughs> you see. <laughs> oh my god! I was so god. overreacting. What the fuck was So. <laughs> you made my character a boo-boo. The Diane. Floor. Diane. What? There is this mage thing that's going I... on yes uh, the, I let know me about finish the let me finish look 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 i know, look, look, I know you i know i know you have things to say please let me explain myself okay. there's this mage thing going on <laughs> for the holy grail it's been explained to me that it's not the actual holy grail not like the king arthur oh one God. but it's like mm. same sort of thing okay and Seven people have been chosen within the Levantina, well, from outside the Levantina district, but then they came here to fight with familiars, which you may know more about than me, okay. not a mage. Uh, they're all fighting. They've summoned Jack. heroes from history Jack. to fight one Jack. another, and the winner gets a wish, Jack. and I'm one of Jack. them. I know about <clears throat> the Holy Grail War. I'm involved in it. All right. Wait. Well, hold on. What I'm... did you just say, Jack? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, what did I miss? What did That's I miss? Right. He That's... just said he's a master! He's a master! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm one of them. I'm one of them. Diane, do you understand? He puts his hands up. Do you understand what that means? I saw. I have. I have what is basically a Jack. god. That is Jack. out there fighting currently Jack, to try to kill six mage. other people. What the fuck are you going on yeah. about? Small potatoes. Uh, but I am. No. No, 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 no. That's the thing. No, no. That's the thing. <laughs> That's what Quantavius did for me. See, oh he God. told me that everyone has what's called an origin. This, oh like, central focal point of who they are. Something that has been with them forever. Since before oh they were born. It's a bit, bit high concept, a bit above my head, but he told me that though I'm not a mage, he could awaken it within me. Oh. And it would give me the ability to operate kind of like one. And so he did that. It took a while. It took a lot uh. of... A lot of what basically to me seemed like smelling Is that salts. what you were doing when you didn't come home early? Well, no, is, I, made, is I that, made sure that... I made sure is that, that why you were late to dinner? No, you were gone by the time really this started. What you're worried about? Okay. I was probably robbing okay. banks then, but no. Yeah, that, that's what I assumed, but... I mean, I can't he keep track of all of the me. criminal things you're doing. The which, you know, I don't really think that about... Anyway, continue. He awakened this thing within me, and ever since then, this fundamental piece of who I am has been... It, it, it took shape as, like... I want to call them powers? Is it magic? What is magic? Define magic for me. I haven't been totally clear on exactly what magic is in this context. But, basically... 
I've become like a shadow and taken on certain qualities that, according to Quantavius, qualified me to be the master of the Rider Servant. <laughs> and then yeah. he started summoning demons to help me, and that was very nice of him. But that's besides the point as well. <laughs> the point is, I'm going to be competing for a wish, and do you know what that means? If I win, I could make whatever life I wanted for me and those around me, which could involve you. And your friend here. <laughs> what do you think? You're right. This uh, is a lot to process. Um, so, you you looked for me, but you didn't really look for me because if you did, you probably would have found me. But I mean, you know, I had that's to. That's small potatoes, you yeah. know, or whatever. You, you're a, sh a shadow. Now, what. What does that mean to you, Jack? <laughs> well, basically, what it means is, and he takes a step into one of the unlit changing rooms and seems to just does dissolve into shadow and then steps out on the other side of you guys from another unlit changing room. <laughs> I am a shadow, is what He's it way means. way the shadow monk. My origin, <laughs> it was kind of a complicated concept, but it was something like... Always underappreciated, always overlooked. He told me that my origin was special, in that having been awakened, it would ensure that I never found the kind of success I was searching for unless I won the Grail. But my existence itself has been become something that can't be touched. I'm no longer in the world as much as I can just interact with it. As long as there's as there's shadows, it's hard to explain. But I've become okay, untouchable. Um, so we just need a really big light. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I'm I'm sorry. This is a a a lot to process. Um, you know, up Do until to like go somewhere to talk about this, like a restaurant you or something. What? Um, we have a I'm lot of catching up to do. Bored. We haven't seen each other in what, like, five years? Someone, yeah. that's Sapphire, a, 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 a hospital. Um, At this point, Sapphire <laughs> gets up and like wanders out, her hand on her head, like, what? What? Diane? Kick her. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, she, uh, she tried to kill you issue. because no. she want, tried <laughs> to kill you. Like, hold she her was temple, jealous like a vertebra, that I we're, say. she thought we were dating when not. No, that, she was... that's not why I fucking, I wanted you dead. Jack. Yes, Diane. We need to. Don't. Okay, um, I'm going to take you up on the talking thing, because, um, that's a fucking lot to- Because before we just started talking, from my understanding, you went and found a better bard, and replaced me. So, um- Well, <laughs> replaced, it's not quite what I'd say, but, you know- Oh, wh what would you- how would you say it? A different career paths, different ways. It's business. These things happen. Okay. Okay. I... And look at you! You say you're doing fine. I... Mm -hmm. You say you're still successful. I believe you. Cross my heart. I believe you. So what did you even need me for? Clearly, it was time for you to spread your wings and fly away! Which you oh, did to yeah, here and the found whole time, me again. No, wait a minute. You can't. The whole time we were together, you acted as if I needed you. Well. No, you. I'm not gonna say you didn't. But I mean, you maybe outgrew it. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you made me feel. For a very long time, that I couldn't be independent in my pursuit for my dream, as if it wasn't going to work out if I branched out or did didn't do what you wanted. And yet, you showed me, and here you are, independent, and trying to kill my not girlfriends. 
Can I, can I insight all of this? This is a lot of smoke that's being possibly blown up my Go ass. ahead. Ian, how you doing? I don't know, man. <laughs> 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 The, the entire time I've just been imagining Ian just like sipping coffee, looking back. At <laughs> He's the one that that's the chair that, that one of the merry men just brings out a little yeah. coffee thing. French Jack absolutely everything. seems to believe what he's saying. <laughs> like whenever, like whenever Jack pulled the chair out, Ian's the one that sat down in the chair. That's what I imagine. <laughs> just oh, sipping coffee, God. sitting in a chair. Ah, like, I know. There's so a lot to take in. Oh my I, God. I know exactly. I know exactly. How I can explain to you the gravity of why I had to go. I figured it out. Yeah. So, I'm going to be throwing yeah. this big party next week. Jack, well, I know about the party. I know. Well, what well, gets around, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> I have. I could give you an invite and you could come to see it. Jack? I'm going to be inviting all I of the masters that. and servants Let except for. Except for like one you of them, I'm going to be in, right I'm going to be inviting all of the masters and servants into one place, and then I'm going to be making them an offer. Cause like, the the rules of this thing are that we all need to fight and we all need to take uh, to to kill each other, and the last person standing gets the holy grail. But it has been explained to me that the manifestation of this thing depends on the fighting itself and the length at which the fighting happens, and it doesn't actually require any deaths. So imagine. Just imagine, okay. if all these mages could get along, and if they could all get together, <laughs> have like controlled sparring matches, and just generate this energy that would become a grail that could be used infinitely. In fact, I don't mean to brag, we may have already taken the grail. I'm sorry, what? As of tonight, actually. What are you talking about? It took about? a while. Quantavius told us that he'd have to figure out exactly what shape it was in because it, it apparently it hasn't taken a form, but ever since that big thing appeared in the sky, he said that it had taken shape. And so we could steal it. And so we did. Pity about the nice lady at the church, but uh, she'll probably be fine. <gasps> You want to see it? Are you really asking that? Yes, I want to see it. That makes me very happy to hear. How about you, tiny person that Diane hangs out with? Uh, do you want to see the magical, all-powerful, wish-granting thing as well? Oh why does he? Why does everyone call him tiny? <laughs> He's like five, tiny. Ian is normal size. Ian is my height, you bitch! <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, uh, well, gee, sure, that, sir, that that sounds real. <laughs> <That's... laughs> oh, golly gosh darn, sir. Uh, oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Mazin. Roll deception. Oh. <laughs> That's fair. In the tower? In the tower. Yeah. Oh, like, what's your real name? Not your I've come to murder Sapphire name. <clears throat> it's. I. I. Hit Jack, I wasn't trying to kill her. I just want to clarify that. I'm going to be completely honest. Start speaking Japanese out of my car, self Tanaka. I'm going to be completely honest. If we're talking in front of the others, you may want to just go with that story. Yeah, It'll probably sure. fly better right. with everybody than if you had come to try to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, also, what was your name? Tanaka. I'm Tonica. adopted. Oh. Well. Roll deception again. Speak Japanese, Adam. Get, get, it, get advantage. Do it, do it, do it. Right, well, so, Timmy then. Timmy, would you like to come <laughs> see the Wish Granting Grail? Uh, sure. I mean, that sounds, that sounds amazing. Right. 
In that case, consider yourself both invited. I will have, uh, I will have invites given to you. There'll be masks. Um, I, we have our masks. Don't say that. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! And where did you get? You and have enough smarts to not say that. And yeah, where? And come on, come on! I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. That's a Fredism. That's not. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna let that go. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Why am I so dumb? Even the smartest of people can slip up. No, I do it. <laughs> roll me an intelligence check. No, roll me charisma check. Go ahead. Do it, do it, do it. Nail this shit. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. I mean. If we're deciding whether or not she said something. Uh, why would I need a mask, Jack? I'm not a master. We invited other people. You see, the main problem with this gathering is that all the people that are invited want to kill each other. So, we had to do several things. Uh, first of all, we had to make sure that there would be a surplus of people there who could not recognize one another with the masks on. Uh, otherwise, they would just start using it as, as an excuse to kill one another. Um... So we invited some extra people, we're gonna have some of our guys in there wearing masks, and the masks make it so that you can't tell who anyone else is. When you look at them, you only see the mask, and you forget the sound of their voice right after they talk. You can't see any features, you just remember the mask. We figured it's the only safe way to, uh, get them all in the same place. Except me. As a, uh, gesture of goodwill, I will be the only person that everybody can see. That, um, you've gotten so you'll, rather you know. acquainted with magic, I see. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, this is mostly Quantavius. Mm. <laughs> Except the free goodwill thing. That was me. He, he suggested against it. That's me. <laughs> hey, um, Jack, uh, so, ooh, while we're being transparent with one another, why is Quantavius helping you? Um, that's a very that good question. That seems like a lot of things he did for you. I'm not really allowed to say. Jack. I'm not allowed to say. Come on. No, I'm not allowed it's, to say. It's, it's, it's a secret. It's, it's me. It's a big secret, and you don't Come understand. Come on, you, you can tell Timmy. You don't. <laughs> Timmy. Come on, Timmy you can please. tell Timmy. Timmy, Timmy? Has, you're not one of the merry men yet, Timmy. I can't tell you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh God, yeah. Are there like auditions the or something? Uh, maybe later. Send uh, you down the this email address. <laughs> <laughs> the one requirement for uh, doing this job was that I can't tell anybody that. Well, that and not kill like two people if it came to it. Oh, he he gave me, like, a list of, of, of things I'm not allowed to do. Yo, it's funny. <laughs> Don't kill Ian and Isla McCracken's on the list, but... Don't take over an entire town and control their brewery and lock up their police wasn't on the list? <laughs> which is hilarious to me. <laughs> you know, I that think he... Kind of specific. <laughs> I think he has your priorities in check as well. <laughs> yeah, well. You haven't changed much. Yeah, well. Just everything's on a bigger scale. That's all it is. Don't ever take off that wig. S same game. More stakes. <clears throat> much more fun that way, isn't it? Yeah. Anyways, uh, we'll have masks delivered to you, and you can come. It's going to be big. We've got. We've modified the town hall, of where we are and we put in like swimming pools and there's a bar outside and inside and it's going to be this huge party and it's going to be fantastic you'll enjoy yourself i know you'll enjoy yourself you could even perform if you wanted to you know i might take you up for that offer you but I could um, both perform. you could perform together. together that would be wonderful I will think about it. Imagine. You need to stop. Imagine what the two of you could do working together. 
You'd be unstoppable. Sapphire and I. Yeah, you'd have your differences, but I mean, everyone does. Performers, creative types, whatever. You can see, you get through it. You're both grown ups, mature, not prone to f fits of violence or overreactions. I know the two of you. <laughs> I mean, wow! Like wow! wow! <laughs> and with like the grail I, behind you, you could be the greatest performers who ever lived. Leave a mark on history, unlike anything. We all could. I'll have to think about it. Um, a lot has obviously changed now that um, you're out of my mind and now in front of me. Um, Take all the time you need. I mean, until the party. <laughs> and our way of contacting you? Well... You can come here and pass a message on through my men. Uh, however... No, I don't want to deal with that. Just if I want to contact you. Hmm. That sounds like a charisma check. <laughs> yeah, roll charisma. Can it be persuasion? Yeah, roll persuasion. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jack. Let me find persuasion. Do it. Oh. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm staying. He like take gets a piece of paper, pulls like a notepad out of uh out of his coat, and writes an address down. I'm staying here in Sobro. If I'm not here, because I I have a room upstairs here in this in this theater. But when I'm not here, I'm in Sobro. You can right. visit whenever you want. Uh, she's gonna, like, take it between two of her fingers and kind of hold it thoughtfully. Um, I suppose on a ground level, I'm kind of sorry. For what? Looks at Sapphire. Ah, oh, yeah! For the attempted... Look, Sapphire. No. She just... Who are you? <laughs> Does, uh... She need medical attention, by the way? I, uh... I'm a medical student. She looks dizzy. Uh... After that happened. We'll see, we'll see to her. We'll make sure that she understands what that was. Gotcha. As long as she's okay. Hold Look on. it over it. But, um, I think it's time you both left for now. It might be easier for her to recover if she's not looking at the person who you know. He, like, makes a motion to his head, like, like a mind blow explosion, like a motion to his head as if, like, you blew her mind. And, you know, try to blow her brain up. Maybe he shouldn't right. be around. Right, right. Are, are you okay, by the way? Um, do you need uh, medical attention? Oh, no, I'm fine. It's Ever since this whole origin thing happened, I've become surprisingly resilient. Insight. I uh, rolled into the tower. You believe him? Crap. Does he know where to send... Uh, I their... wanted to kill Jack today, everyone. <laughs> Are you taking off? Would... Uh... I don't know. I'm so conflicted. I literally said. God damn. Does Diane think she can actually take him right now? No, I don't think she wants to kill him at this point. <gasps> um. Her entire character. Shot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm extremely upset. <laughs> well, um, congratulations on your performance, Sapphire. 
She gives a very wobbly, like, nod as if thanking you, but her mind is still elsewhere as of that happening. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful show. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> well, we'll see you around then. She, uh, heads back in. And Jack follows her in and closes the door behind her. Did he uh, ask where to send the invitations? No, he didn't. Ah! And he doesn't intend to. No! If you remember, oh, that's um... That's troubling. I wouldn't... That's not an oversight, don't worry about it. So as he closes the door, you just hear, like, one last, as he's, like, closing it behind him, right before, like, the soundproofing of the room prevents you from hearing anything, all you hear is, like, And imagine what would have happened if not for her noble phantasm. Why, you'd be slam. <laughs> oh my god. And I believe we're going to stop there, because that conversation, that whole uh, event took us considerably oh. over. But, god. uh... Damn! Uh, I'm not gonna be Shit. here next yeah. game. Uh, hey, man! Next next week we can just um, <laughs> focus on the other group. <laughs> I mean, we're through the Jack stuff, so we can have you reconnect with the yeah. others and sort of put Diane on relative autopilot. And we could use yeah. the excuse. Well, I'll, I'll talk to you over this week and ask you what general things you want Diane to be thinking about touching on, but. I mean, we 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 needed to get through that because we couldn't mm -hmm. not do that okay. next couldn't week. Avoid, could not avoid it. Yeah. Right. Couldn't avoid it. Oh, that was, that was so good. good. <laughs> this was this such a good. I just love game. how the joke comes mm -hmm. full circle. It's like in the beginning, oh. like, this is what twenty charisma looks like. By the end, I think we all learned what twenty charisma. We all <laughs> yeah, we all <laughs> learned today. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, holy right. shit! What a complete entire man! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, you've been replaced as favorite. <laughs> Dude, I fucking. Fuck I know. Uh. I love him. <laughs> oh, he's a complete scumbag, but he's great. Oh, he's oh my He man. makes you look like, like the fucking worst. I have been out to kill Jack so, Black with him my entire life. Why, though? <laughs> what, what have I done to you? <laughs> and there was different so career paths. Just no, different directions. Don't be like it. <laughs> don't like be like you're overreacting. Overreacting. <laughs> like, like, he was talking with so much deflecting from the problems that it wasn't even funny. It was amazing. Like, that was some charisma. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that was so good. Oh my god. Oh. So, on the record, Brad, yeah. and I don't ask this because I'm trying to lead you into anything, but now that you've had your first in-character interaction with Jack, how are you? I... I overreacted. <laughs> <laughs> boss yeah yeah who he's, kills he's on the regular fine. like yeah who oh yeah obviously didn't really care that they threw you out on your ass yeah who has a silver tongue like mm -hmm. let's be honest like he can mm -hmm. make anything he says out to be good i still don't i think you may be overreacted but at the same time I don't think he's not a manipulative asshole. The thing is, I will say, for context, I don't think Diane actually was ever going to follow through with killing Jack. Oh, fuck, of course not. <laughs> yeah. I just want to qualify, or specify. And I'd, I'd like to point out that he does, in fact, have 20 charisma. <laughs> of course oh, yeah. he does. Of course he fucking does. Oh. Oh. 
I fucking I, love him. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm staying at my house today because I don't think I can go home like this. All right. My legs are weak. All right, friends. No, at my home. hands are shaking like no one's business. All right, friends oh, at home. Man. Um, I've got Mom's I've spaghetti. got some work I gotta get done, so we'll have to end stream. Oh. Um, toast, okay. everyone. I didn't necessarily expect it to go in that exact direction. I was very much today like, they might just leave after the show, and if they do, Jack won't be there. Uh, they won't meet him. But fucking good! You did God, it! Mm -hmm. I didn't have anything planned, but if Sapphire was alone, that would have been so interesting as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> would have killed my not girlfriend. <laughs> No, uh, she only did that because she thought that they were gonna make Swiss cheese of Ian. Yeah, if you guys want to have basically a post stream, uh, Nat19 spoilers on the Discord, go hang out there. <laughs> it's a cool I'll be there. About what yeah. just happened, people. Bye, peeps. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.